What up, guys? We are live. So you guys asked for more speed dating shows with Marcus. So here he is. Uh, we have Ashley joining us, and then Malik is going to be here in about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, she's uh, taking care of some legal stuff, um, whatever that means. But yeah, so also make sure you guys watch until the very end because I have two big announcements that I think you guys can enjoy. But I want to fucking give you guys a little bit of blue balls. So, yeah, make sure you watch until the very end. Um, all right. So this is going to be a usual speed dating show. Uh, I'm going to drop the link. Me and Marcus are going to be giving you guys feedback. So I think it's a really good opportunity because you get feedback literally from two guys who know what the fuck they're doing. Um, and, yeah, like I said, Malik will join us in 15, 20 minutes. So it's going to be a good time. All right. Let me drop the link. Is it uh is it 9 a.m. over there, Marcus? It's uh 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Okay. We're just opposite yeah. times, dude. 1 p.m. I'm yeah, legit. Sleep. I don't wake up yeah, until like 2 p.m. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I got up literally an hour ago, so mm -hmm. I, uh, I'm the same, man. It's yeah. it's a struggle. All right, guys. Link is below. I remember, guys, don't wait until the very last second uh, because then usually the line builds up 30, 40 minutes in. All right, we got our first guy. Uh, yes. All right, what's up? Well, yo, buddy, you're live. Yo. Hey, yes. <laughs> can't hear us. All right, I'm going to take you off. Can yeah, you hear can you get me back? Uh different time. Okay, you can hear us? This guy's like always having tech issues. Yo. Dude. Oh, yes! That's suspense. This, this, guy has, <laughs> this guy has like tried to jump on like four times and every single time. <laughs> I don't know oh, where God. he is, but I think he also has his uh, own podcast too. I don't know how he does it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Right, let's give him one more shot. Yo. Nope. Still tech issues. <laughs> now it says device not connected. I don't know how. How do people struggle so hard with just like setting up a basic webcam? <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, this guy has been trying to jump on for like. At least the last four streams, and every single time he's having a tech issue, and then he always he also has, has my number. He always sends me a WhatsApp message. He's like, "Oh, bro, my bad. I'll get sorted out for next time." And then next time, it's still Jesus. like another tech issue. He needs like a dry run beforehand. Get, no, his, get his mic working. All right, yo, what's up? What's going on, man? You ready, buddy? I'm ready as always. All right, cool. I'm gonna take me and Marcus off. We got five minutes. Let's see what you got, bro. Ashley, how's it going? It's good. How are you? Is it is it Tay John? It's Tay John. Tay so John. it's like it's like two words, Tay and John. Tay John. Yeah. I like it. How are yeah, you? yeah. Huh? How are you? I'm chilling right now. I just had a a really good workout, actually. A really wow. good chest workout. So I'm rested and I'm I'm here to seduce you now. Are so you? I am. So tell me about you, Ashley. What's your deal? Uh, what's my deal? Yeah, what do you do? What do I do? Um, I do insurance during the day and YouTube at night. Okay. What do you do <laughs> YouTube for? What's your uh, your niche? Um, I just do kind of just uh, open panel streaming, um, debates, conversation. I don't know. Just kind of. Oh, like Alex. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit like that, basically. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Now, I've seen you on some streams in the past. Where are you from, actually? Florida. Florida. Okay. Yeah. I've always like, wanted to go to Florida. I'm like Oklahoma, but I live in yeah. Florida. I live in Kentucky, and not only is the weather shitty, like, all the time, but there's not shit to do here. So the plan is, after college or whatnot, moving out to like Florida, New York, some place where there's much more stuff to do. What are you going to school for? Film, actually. Movies. 
<laughs> no, yeah. What's your uh do you like movies? Please say yes. Good, good. All right answer. Yeah. Um what kind of movies though? Maybe that's a better question. Um, all kinds of movies. I would say like some of my top like <laughs> this is silly, but like one of my favorite movies of all time is probably Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. It's such a good movie. <laughs> I have actually not seen Forrest Gump, believe it or not. That is, I don't know, one of the classics I have not gotten to watch. It's been on my list, though. That's, yeah, I've heard it's really good. We'll have to watch that on our date. I'll add that to the list. What's your favorite movie? It is Baby Driver. It's an action movie. <laughs> You've seen it? No, but that sounds funny. It's hilarious. Well, it's not hilarious. It's kind of crazy, actually. I don't know. I love to watch that, too. I don't want to spoil it for you. Okay, thank you. But yeah, so I'm thinking for our first date, right? Based off what I know, I bring you down to Kentucky. Do you like pizza? Yes. Okay, good. Cheese pizza? It's okay. Okay, sick. We'll do pizza, a pizza picnic, actually. We'll find one of the nicer parks in Kentucky. I'll take you down there. We enjoy the pizza. We might laugh a little bit. And then I'll tell you more about some of the movies I've made. Can you tell me a little bit more about you? In Kentucky, where the weather's really shitty? It's always, sh not always shitty. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you'll get a nice day in a month every once in a while, but I don't know. It, it just feels, bland like i could be doing more you know or like there could be it just doesn't feel lively i guess is the word <laughs> it's, it's, it's nice and cozy down here i'll, I'll give it that oh okay maybe Sorry, i'll come I'm, I'm still kind of warming up myself for for this whole speed dating thing i haven't done one of these in a long time yeah i've <laughs> I'm not the best at them, not gonna lie. <laughs> like, like I'm, I'm, I am like the most normal person as far as not good, not bad. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to improve. The thing is, it's hard doing it virtual. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I, well, I agree with you on that one. In five minutes feels like a really long time. Yeah, or it just goes by really fast, you know? Like <laughs> right when you're starting to, to get into it, the nice and juicy topics, you start getting comfortable, and then Alex shows up and like, nah. That's what it. are nice and juicy topics? Uh, nice and juicy topics, something that you finally connect on. You know, I think a lot of these speed dates are guys, they're like, so what do you like? What do you do? And they try to jump on something, but sometimes you don't get that. And then you might, and then you don't have a lot of time to, to build on that. It's yeah. kind of hard in yeah. five minutes. It is. No, you look really nice tonight, though. Oh, well, thank you so much. You did I don't know well. if I told you that. <laughs> yeah. didn't, but I appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah. So yeah. you don't, what else do you, what are you passionate about? Maybe I should ask you that. I've told you a lot about me. Tell me more about you. Mm. I'm curious. No time for that. See? <laughs> I, I, I wanted to run an extra minute. I wanted to see what you were going to do with that. Um, okay, so. No, Ashley, you haven't done one of these in a minute. So basically what we do is after each speed date, I'm going to ask you, and you have to be brutally honest, would you go on a date with this guy if you guys were in the same city? You're asking me that now? Mm -hmm. Um, Actually, I think I would. Would it be a romantic date or a platonic date? Mm, I don't know. He's pretty cute. So I would be open to romantic. Take, a, take his looks aside, purely based on no. his face. <laughs> Really based on his persona and game. Um, I was a little, I was kind of bored, but okay. You know, no offense or anything. I was, it was a little bit boring. Um, no, yeah. it, I, I, I struggle with that the most. Is kind of, you know, finding I something. Like, nice. I feel like I kind of threw you a bone there with the juicy topics, and you kind of dropped that one a little bit. But yeah, yeah, like, like. Going sexual has been my biggest crutch on these, like genuinely doing it smoothly and not just forcing it. 
<laughs> well, when, when the girl says, "What are uh, so?" When she's like, "Oh, we can. T- what are the juicy topics?" I would say something like, "Oh, we can talk about your sex toy collection, right?" So that's a layup. You can bring up anything, or we can talk about the craziest shit we've ever gotten into. I don't know. There's so many things you can bring up, right? But that is when you kind of get a layup like that. All you gotta do is take the shot. Here's like my feedback. All right, so. There's yep. like a spectrum when it comes to game. On the left, you have just like free flowing, saying whatever is in your head. On the right, you have like super like formal social robot type of shit, right? And guys are typically in one of those extremes. You're a little bit closer to like the free flowing. But I think if you just add a little bit more structure to your game and like have like a little bit of like an idea of where you're trying to go instead of just like randomly asking question, uh, you'll be better off. So just having like a few topics that you can bring up that you know are going to be more fun and more interesting. Right. So typically one that I do is I ask the girl what type of guy she's into, because I know that I can find a way to make that really fun and sexual, sometimes sexual, but always fun. Mm-hmm. So that's like my biggest piece of feedback. But um, I don't know. Let's see what Marcus has to add to that. Yeah. Hey, John, what's up, man? You, what's going on, man? Dude, you're, you're a good looking and you have this very cute, relaxed vibe about you. Right. So I think the minute you came on big smile, you're like, what's up, guys? I think any girl that you go on a speed date with, you do that immediately. First impression, they're like, "Fuck yes, let's go!" Like this guy's. Uh, yeah, man. I think it's just like, no, you continue, continue. But, 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 then you're boring, man. You're boring. You you keep asking, what what are you what are you uh, what was the question? What are you about? What's your deal? What are you passionate uh, about? Tell me about yourself. Like it was just these huge broad questions. Ashley's just come on to speed dating, right? She's like, we're all probably a little bit nervous. And you're asking this big question, like, what's your deal? It's like, how the <laughs> fuck do I answer that? If you just led a little bit and you're like, hey, listen, uh, you look amazing. Like you did later on. You said that. It's going to put the goal at ease. And then ask a simple question. Start with, fuck it, a boring question. You have charisma. Ask it in a cool way. It's going to put her at ease. She's going to be able to start answering. Then, yeah, get into those juicy topics, man. But as Alex said, just a little bit more structured in some narrow ways. It's going to make it easier for the girl to answer a question. It's going to create a little bit more chemistry between you guys. And you've got that foundation of this charisma, man. So you'll, you'll be sweet. Just be a little bit more focused. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Can I ask you all one question? One more? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So as far as that structure, I feel like I'm always saying the same two or three questions, right? Uh, what do you do? What are you passionate about, et cetera? Are you saying it's good to start with those and then just have the blue say, so tell me about your sex toy collection? Or <laughs> okay, like, that one, wait, hang on. That one is only <laughs> given the context of her saying, what are these juicy topics? That's not like a random topic I would bring up. But you, I think what you could do, what Marcus is trying to get at is like you could start off with just like, how's your night going so far? Like something really simple, right? Yeah. Just to get the combo going for like 20 seconds and then you get into the more interesting topics, right? So that would be like a simple question. Like, how's your night going so far, right? If you're just starting the conversation and you see that the speed date stream is just beginning, right? I probably would not ask that question like an hour into the speed date session. But if you're like the first or second person, I think it's totally fine to be like, so how's your night going so far? And then you can kick it off. Gotcha. Yeah. Appreciate yeah, you, you. You do, Tate John. You do film. That's a that's a segue to make it sexual, right? Next time we yeah. go, ask you about film. Say you're super passionate about it, and then you can go into a little R-rated shit. Be like, uh, yeah, look, I'm interested in some actually adult film stuff. Da da da. That's an interesting topic. So th- uh, there's your segue from now on. I appreciate it, Marcus. Uh, use yeah, I had a date a few nights ago, and you know, like I have all this camera equipment and shit. So the girl saw that, and she's like, "Oh, do you make movies?" I was like, "Oh, I make a certain type of movies." She's like, what type of movies do you make? I'm like, it's really cliche. And it's a typical Miami shit. I make pornos. And she was like, oh, my God, you make pornos? I was like, yeah. yeah. Like, be in one? She's like, no, I don't want to be in a porno. I was like, oh, OK. Yeah, you seem really interested. She's like, I mean, that's crazy. What kind of pornos do you do? I was like, listen, like, let's put it this way. You don't want to sit on that couch. And I kept the joke going for like five minutes. She was convinced I was a porn director. And I was like, no, I'm just kidding. I just make YouTube videos. But like, that's like a really <laughs> Way. that's within like i don't know she was she was at my house for like two minutes and i was already like using that role play so you can you can do that with anything that's typically what yeah. i'll do is I'll, like i'll introduce a premise i'll build it up like a troll premise and then i'll drop it eventually i'll be like no i was just kidding blah 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 once i feel like the joke is starting to run this course yeah i'll try that man for sure yeah. cool buddy i'm right, have a good one look who we have mr slave hello <laughs> how are you doing What's going on? Um, yes, I, I want to speed date Ashley. 
All right, let's see what you got. So, Ashley, <laughs> tell me, have you ever been like a mistress? No, I, I have not. Why not? <laughs> um, <laughs> you're so funny. Um, I don't know. I've been thinking about getting into it. What do you think? I, I think it would be terrific. You know, uh, have, have you ever talked to my queen, Nicole? I have. I have. I, she's yeah. Cool. yeah. She, she's terrific. Yeah. Do you think you, I you should uh, exchange <laughs> numbers with her? <laughs> do you think I'd be a good mistress? I think so too, but it, it depends. Do you like the, the massage between your toes? <laughs> that is a d deal breaker for me. Yeah, I like that. I'm into it. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it, it's quite nice. Uh, ha have you ever been to New York City? I haven't actually. Surprise. No? How come? You know, I, I don't know. I've lived I've lived up north and I never actually just I never made it that way. <laughs> Wait, do do a real speed date. I feel like the trolling. Well, me too. With the, with the slave mask or no slave mask? Do it with a slave mask. I right, bet, 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 bet. Okay. Like so, really just just pretending you guys don't know each other and your goal is to fuck Ashley. Okay, got you. Perfect. So all of a sudden, you know, I switched from a sub. Now I'm a hyper dom. Okay. And I moved out of New York City to Philly. So yeah. how do you like cheesesteaks? I actually love cheesesteaks. Yeah. How big yeah. do you like your cheesesteaks? Uh, foot long. Foot long? Extra mm. cheese? Always. Yeah. And the extra white sauce? Meat. Extra meat, too. Extra meat? Ooh. Yeah. Meat lover pizza. <laughs> yeah. So are you like a beach type of gal or do you like uh, like open bars? Beach or an open bar? Or both? Both. Both of them? Both. Hey, good shit. What's like the craziest like uh, bar you've ever been to? Probably in Sturgis, South Dakota. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sturgis, like the motorcycle rallies. I've Ooh. been to, I don't know if you, they used to have reality shows about the bars yeah. in Sturgis, and I've been, I've been there. It was wild. Really? It's you like said North Carolina? Walking around naked, seriously. Yeah, naked. Yeah. Legit. Sign me well, up. they have pasties on. It depends. Yeah. I yeah. love being in my birthday suit. You know, I'm naked right now. If I move the camera any lower, we'd uh, get this video flag. So I have to remain, mm. you know, in the darkness. You like you like to go on speed dates online and just sit there naked? Sometimes, sometimes. But no one really knows until I say it. So right now, yeah. the, the, yeah, you know, the secret is out. The secret is out. What else is out? Well, my sex dungeon, it's in the works. Is it? What are, you, mm -hmm. what are you working on? Right now, we got this uh, platform that it can uh, take you up like five feet and then it'll hang you upside down. What's the purpose of that? Have you ever been um, hung upside down before? No. No? Do you uh, engage in nip clamps? <laughs> I never have. Uh, well, if your titties are sensitive, you know, you might want to be a little careful, but. Mine are yeah. pierced, so I don't well, know. That Mine are pierced, so I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that increases the sensitivity then. Yeah. But I don't know how that would work like with... Oh, your... yeah. Well, we don't want to take those lovely piercings out. You got the bar or like the hoops? Um, I have like... I actually have like diamonds on each side. Diamond study titties? They're kind of... I don't know how to describe it. Like, I don't know. <laughs> gotcha. So when I do my album cover, that's going to be the headline. And then we're gonna blur them out just a little bit, like you'll still be able to see them, but it's gonna it's gonna be nice. Album cover. Album cover, yeah. Have you ever uh, considered a rap career? <laughs> no. Ashley, the rapper, XOXO. I like it. What would I rap about? Oh, I don't know. Uh, all right, give give me three quick topics, like right now, like Philly cheesesteaks, uh, teddy bears, and salmon. Perfect. So we're going to start with the <laughs> cheesesteaks. <laughs> Go straight to the teddy bears and then a side of salmon. That would be a weird ass song. I thought you were. I know. I'm just like. <laughs> so do you like salmon? I do. E exotic salmon? Exotic salmon only. Yeah. Yeah. What's like yeah. the best restaurant you've ever been in that cooked like a mean salmon? Oh. Um, actually there's this place that I really like called So Fresh and they make amazing blackened salmon. Ooh, So Fresh? Yes. Is, what kind of like uh, food is that? Mediterranean? Just, 
No, just like healthy foods. I don't know, Ooh. like salads and salmon. yeah, salads and salmons. <laughs> yeah, interesting. So you're a healthy type chick. Did eat at this amazing restaurant not long ago called Babushkas. Babushkas. Yeah, it was so good. It was mm. amazing. But yeah, I didn't have salmon. No, well, it's Russian food. I'm assuming, right? Yeah, it is. What What you get? You said you got like uh, what was it? Varenikis? Pierogies. Pierogies. Well, That's yeah. It, right. Gotcha. I'm going to have to feed them to you. Like, I'm going to come out in my birthday suit, and you're going to open wide for me, and I'm going to be dropping the pierogies exotically in your mouth. Exotically. Don't mind the mysterious hand that's just floating from, like, nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, that's going to be the perfect first date. I'm having such a hard time talking to you. Like, I know. I was like... <laughs> I'm sure I'm entertaining the chat, you know. Because you look the fact that there's like a hand coming out. You already know everything. Casually going out. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know what I, I don't know what to make of that. Uh, yeah, Mr. Slave. I, yeah. I don't even know. Ashley, would you go on a date with Mr. Slave? <laughs> no. Damn. You would not. Interesting. <laughs> I oh can't no. I thought you were all about the slave shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know how to give feedback since the whole thing was like a troll. Yeah, so, uh, I was like, if there was someone else, I'll see if Marcus has anything troll. to say. Yeah. It's Marcus, right. you, have, you, have, you have any thoughts on this, um, this shenanigan? Yeah, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm trying to process this right now. I, I mean, oh man, w were you trying to game towards the middle and end there? Oh, no, because it really. sounds We're actually you're never trying to get. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't, I can't. I don't have any feedback. I was gonna say that you you did have an opportunity where to take it just very sexual and serious. But if you're just like trolling yeah. and shit, then it's yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that and Greg and I, Greg and I know each other really. Yeah, we're, we're pretty good friends, but I still thought it'd be funny uh, to come okay. on since like. Dude, it was great. I, I enjoyed I it. <laughs> I didn't yeah, know what yeah, was yeah, happening yeah. at first. I was like, this is awesome, <laughs> but. Uh, Hey, hey, cool. Prime time entertainment. All right, thanks, buddy. Hey, Appreciate got you guys. Bye, know. Cheers. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> just get on Q2. What's up? What's up? You ready? Yeah. All right, let's see what you got. What, what's up, uh, random woman? How, how are you, random sir? <laughs> I'm good. You looking real cute in that, uh, that top. Thank you so much. You were like, uh, yeah, uh, what made you pick that out? Um, you know, I thought it was a little sultry, maybe a little sexy. So I was trying to, I was trying to like, you know, have that sexy look tonight. I got you. Yeah. Like make your Did tits. It work? Yeah. Make your tits look great. Thank you very much. No problem. Uh, what, what's, uh, I, I was saying before that you have like pierced nipples with the sensitivity. Did you notice a change when you got them pierced? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I will say, like, the worst thing. So, like, I'm wearing lace, right? Right. Sometimes they get caught. Oh, uh, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, definitely yeah. Like that. So, like, so for your nipples, like, do you prefer, like, can you still get them, like, sucked and all that stuff? Or is it too much? No, yeah, I definitely still can. Yeah. Okay. Cause like I like um, <laughs> the, I was thinking about like there's some people that like get their like the tip of the dick pierced. I'm like, yo, how the fuck does that happen? That is weird as fuck. And, like, I, take it yeah, here you go. Yeah, I have um, I have seen that before. I don't, I don't know. I I've never, you know, with a pierced one. So I don't know. That'd be interesting. I think. Yeah. Maybe. So um, hmm, I'm trying. Trying to think. <laughs> um, so, so I like your hairdo. Appreciate it. You almost look like you have like horns going on. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? Uh, pretty much. Yeah, it's just like having the hair on the sides, like uh, because I, I have like a long face, so like I wanted to fill it out, pretty much. Okay, I have a long face yeah. too. I see. You have like very long, pullable hair. It's good. <laughs> yeah, I do. I've I've always kept really long hair. I think I, like I don't think I've had short hair like since I was probably like eleven or twelve. Uh, I think like for me, like I don't like getting my hair I don't like getting my hair pulled, but like with the hairstyle I have now, like, like no like nobody could do that. I'll get mad if I try to pull my hair like on some shit. But like with uh 
with long hair, it's like a little bit easier. I'm like, I know the the trick, like you like have to pull like from the like the like the base or whatever. You can't pull like the like the like the ends of it or whatever. So like what I'm imagining I now when it when they like wrap. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I mean yeah. That, that that doesn't hurt. I because like my uh put your hand on your head again. The top let's no the, the top like the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I what I that's what I use. It's like um you go under you go under and then like I pull like that. Yeah, like 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 really get at the base type shit. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. I would I would just say the wrapping around. Oh, that makes sense. So, yeah, so what what I'm what I'm imagining now is like um like with when we're making out or something like that, I probably pull your hair and then um pull down like like so like this way and then I like kiss all over your face usually um i'm more of like a tongue person so probably a little bit more tongue and then yeah and I, i'm not sure you have to tell me what you uh feel, how you feel about like little slaps in the face because i'm i'm not sure how you deal with that but that's what i'm imagining now um i think depending on the scenario that might be okay uh, okay that makes sense <sighs> So like, what's your um, in in ter and besides sexual, what are you looking for in like a relationship? Do you do you want a relationship or look for more casual stuff? Like, what's your usual deal? More casual, yeah, for for now anyway. That makes sense. Yeah, so we're we're matched up on that. That makes sense. Um, let me see. I'm trying to think. What's your like in general? I I would say um, what, what was I gonna say. Uh, <laughs> It's it's tough because I know so much about you. Uh, I'm trying, yeah. I'm trying to be like. I'm still just the technicalities you got into with the hair pulling. Oh yeah, <laughs> got very detailed. All right, you one first. Ashley, same question as always. Would you go on a date with Q two? Yes, but platonically. Oh. I just know them well. We're like just we're. All friends. say a prayer for a fallen brother. <laughs> if I didn't uh, know him at all, if I didn't know him at all, I'd probably think the hair pulling conversation was a little weird. <laughs> but so, I know you too. Like I know, you know. Yeah, it is harder when you know the person. So okay, so here's what I've noticed about you, Q2. You always come in strong and then you run out of things to say, like two or three minutes yeah. in. It's like the same pattern every time. So just just be observant of that. Now it's interesting because you're one of the few people who can talk about sexual topic without actually making the convo sexual. Interesting. Which, like, just talking about a sexual topic doesn't necessarily make the convo sexual. So I'm trying, I'm tr going to try to give you an example. So if I'm having a conversation with Ashley, I'm like, Hey, Ashley. So, um, you know, it feels good, right? Like it's really nice with the rectum, right? It feels pretty good. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. But we're talking about sexual topic, but it's not sexual, right? Versus if I'm talking about more of like, so I heard a little rumor that you're into uh, some butt stuff. Is that true? <laughs> Right. It, a lot of it just has to do with your tonality and your pacing, you know, can make the difference between making a sexual conversation actually sexual and not sexual. So while you were talking about something sexual, I didn't actually feel any kind of sexual tension at all. Marcus, did you feel any sexual tension at all or no? Zero. Yeah, exactly. So which is interesting because, again, you're talking about sexual topic. I've had people on the speed date who don't talk about sexual topics, but I can feel sexual tension. Right. So there's a correlation there, but it's not a causation. Just because you're talking about sexual topic doesn't mean there's going to be sexual tension. Uh, and if I had to take a guess, and again, this is because I do know you, I think that you have some shame around being sexual with women or you are worried that it's going to creep them out. And so when you do do it, you kind of half ass it. Your heart is not in it. You're worried about just being a man who just like who's a sexual man. You're just like, uh, I don't want to be the creepy guy. So I think that's. My my guess is that that's kind of something that's in the back of your head that's stopping you from fully committing and being like a sexual man and just kind of making you half ass it. That's kind of my two cents. What do you think, Marcus? Yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna agree with that, and I'll I'll give you some pointers, bro. So uh, number one, I think you did really well for going for the sexual topics. Like that's often the hardest part is actually just doing that. So fucking well done, but. I agree. It didn't sound sexual. So what I'd want you to do 
is read a bunch of erotica. Like you can download it on Audible, listen to it. You can just find it on the web. Just start reading it out loud and practice having more of a sexual tonality as you're reading the actual sexual content. And because it's not actually your words, there'll be an element of shame that's taken away from it. There'll be an element of judgment that's taken away. So practice reading erotica. I think uh, also with authority, a lot of the sexual topics you're so talking about sound like you have no idea what you're talking about. So some of the examples were, do you like your titties to be sucked? Yeah, kind of. You're adding all these filler words on the end of it. Um, I'll kiss all over your face. I'm kind of a tongue guy. So I, I think if you, again, have it a little bit more prepared, have it more practice, you're going to sound like you know what you're doing. So instead of saying, I'm going to kiss all over your face, I might say, hey, listen, I'm going to run my hand up the back of your neck. I'm going to grab a fistful of your hair. I'm going to pull it back. I'm going to wait till you start to moan. And I'm going to slowly kiss down your neck. So that's going to sound a little bit better than I'm going to kiss all over your face. Um, so yeah, there, there are some tips. Hopefully that will help you operate. But you've done, you've got the first step down. So yeah. hold on. I, I would say for me, it's like uh, I have a, yeah, I, I do have a hard time transitioning. Like my dirty talk is okay. Um, but it's like that in between, between uh, the, the comp, like basically just in between a, a platonic conversation and like dirty talk. Cause I'm just, cause like, if I was actually in a dirty talk situation with Ashley, I think I can make her come. But I think overall, it's just about like that transition and figuring out like, like how to have that type of tone without being like turned on type shit. Because it's usually if I'm turned on, it's usually not a big of an issue. So yeah, it's just practicing being able to transition to that without actually being emotionally super turned on, and also really try to remove those filler words, bro. Because even when you're speaking with me and it's tough, I do the same thing. I do the same thing and it's tough, but it makes you sound like you have no idea what you're talking about, even with a simple topic. So it's, it's tough, but really work on that, man. Uh, the best way I would describe it, <clears throat> it doesn't sound like a man talking to a woman about sex. It sounds like two friends talking about sex. Mm -hmm. No, I, I agree with that. I got you. Yeah, cool. All right, buddy. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, too. <laughs> All right. I think uh, Malik said she's about to join. All right, let's bring yeah. on next person we got Rolo Tomasi he finally decided to debate me <laughs> <laughs> what's up Rolo you ready to debate Rolo you look so much younger hello no oh, we got more tech issues yo I'm gonna take you off while you figure the tech stuff out all right uh bring on the next person right, let's see if this guy got his shit in order yo all right I can hear another you can hear us? Okay, good. There we go. Oh, goodness. We're worried about you. All right, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, Ashley. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? What's your name? Uh, Ayesh. Ayesh. Y -E -Z. Yeah. Nice to uh, meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? So. I'm good. How are you? Okay. Yeah, I'm doing great. So, I was just so, we have the, I have vacation today, so, like, just chilling. This is actually in the morning now. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Um, it is almost 10 p.m. And oh, nice. I'm just nice relaxed time. in my room right now talking to you. Okay. Nice. So, like, what do you do actually? Do what? Like, what do you do for work? Or... Oh, for work? Yeah. I do. I do insurance, actually. Oh, nice. So, yeah. Actually, well, one of my friends actually used to do that. He was kind of doing for two years i wish actually was gonna do it uh i was i kind of did the there was kind of an example license i actually did the exam but i uh, haven't gone through it yeah it was like uh, three years ago probably. oh so yeah. like you do life insurance so any other um i don't want to talk too much about what i do online just because i okay don't want to you know whatever i don't want to people to know where i work so sorry <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, yes, no <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the internet, like you know, it's to totally club. Yes, so uh, what else that you do? I heard that you're doing YouTube, yeah, I do YouTube, I have a YouTube channel, um, not your everyday Ashley, and I kind of do I don't speed date stuff, but I do debates and open panel topics and just hang okay, out. Nice. So, like, what kind of topics do you talk about? Oh my gosh, it can turn into anything. Um, sometimes it gets pretty raunchy. Sometimes it's just really lighthearted stuff. So, okay, nice. So I'm not very clear on uh, where you do. Do what? Yeah, like uh, on the topics of your channel, like what kind of topics do you talk about? 
um, life, love, relationships, sex, drama, not drama, friendships. I mean, just kind of the same kind of stuff you would sit around and talk to your friends about. Okay, like uh, kind of normal topics and kind of go around the world. Yeah, just a little bit of everything. Yeah, so like what else do you do kind of, you know, for fun and uh, stuff? Well, um, I live in Florida, so when the weather's nice during summertime, I go to the beach quite a bit. Um, I like to hang out at the beach and like some of my favorite spots are some op like yeah. open beach bar areas, you know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I like to do what? Yeah, it's like... Um... So what do you do at the beach? So actually, beach is kind of one of my favorite places to go, you know, on daytime or in the nighttime, kind of in the evening. It's kind of I I'm very much relaxing. Just, I'm yeah. sorry, I thought you asked me a question. I couldn't tell. Sorry, uh, you, can you hear me? Correct? Uh, I can hear you. Or yeah. Okay, nice. So I was asking, like, um, you know, I was saying that uh, beach is one of my favorite places to go. Usually, like, you know, maybe on daytime or even in like kind of the evening. It's kind of a Relaxing my for most of the time. It is, yes. Uh, that is, I was going to say, yeah, one of my favorite things to do when I go to the beach is literally just lay in a chair under an umbrella and just enjoy it, enjoy the scenery. Yeah, getting tan. So. And getting tan, yeah. I actually don't, I don't lay out. I always stay under an umbrella and I wear a lot of sunscreen. <laughs> but you're like, you know, like you're okay. I'm, I don't want to get tanned, and that's what that's what you're going to. Yeah, it's just not healthy for your skin. Got to got to stay okay. young looking. So. Okay, nice. Yeah, so actually, we have like a lot of sun here, so it's uh, not a kind of common practice. Uh, yeah, it's like I actually just when I go to the beach, I just go for a swim always. That's what I'm going for. Uh, yeah. So, anything else that. Uh, what kind of movies do you like? Oh, kind of. All right. All right. What's up? What's up, Malik? Malik! Hi. You're muted. My bad. Am I here now? Yeah. You You're managed here. to get out of jail? You're not in jail anymore? I, I, I did get out of jail. Good, um, good, good. Yes. Sorry for Just in time to give Ayesh some feedback. All right, Ashley, would you go on a date with Ayesh? No. Okay. Uh, so, okay, I have... <laughs> I wrote down quite a few things. Okay, first one is really easy, presentation, right? It, it blows my mind how guys always struggle with presentation. Camera, bring, this, this is you, right? It's like yeah. half your head is just so much space. Bring your camera lower, right? So you're like right in the frame, right? This is like good, good, good angles, right? Guys always struggle with this. Second thing, lighting, right? It's like half your face is lit, half of the face is not lit. It's like the light is sitting from the side of your face. So just the first one is like presentation. Also, don't move around too much, right? Uh, I think the biggest thing for you is your speech. It's really hard to understand you. And I think you need to really work on clear pronunciation. And I'm going to be honest, if you're serious okay. about hooking up with white girls, I would recommend getting a speech therapist or a speech coach to really, one, help you speak more clearly, and two, uh, do some kind of accent mitigation. I'm not saying you can't have an accent, but your accent is really, really strong. And that's just going to be like, like if, if a girl can't understand you, 99% of them aren't going to give you a chance. So I think that's like really the biggest thing that's holding you back because because like girls are going to be like, what, 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 what do you say? Right. Um, I think the last thing I'll point out is that you smile too much, which is typically okay. a sign of anxiety. Uh, it's okay to smile from time to time, but it's like if you're smiling during the whole thing while the conversation isn't funny, then that just looks like something is off. Uh, so yeah, those are, those are my pieces of feedback, but let's see what Marcus has to add. Yeah, I've got three points. So one was around the speech, which Alex covered. And then the other two is displaying your personality. So we, we got to be honest, man. We got to be honest. The most attractive women are going to need more than your looks and your level of like confidence, let's say. So they're going to have to find out more about you. You're, you're not like a 10 out of 10 model where a girl's just going to be attracted right away. So you're going to start having to think, what can I show the girl that's going to have her attracted? Now you got a podcast or something, right? So start thinking about what can I tell them about myself that is actually going to turn them on a little bit because your whole conversation, nothing, if I'm a girl, turned me on whatsoever. Like I'm not getting attracted from it whatsoever. Uh, the third part is like the nice guy trait, which Alex kind of mentioned with the smiling, is most women are going to look at you 
and treat you kind of the way Ashley did, which was like a little cute friend, right? That, that's the dynamic of the conversation most of the time. So if you add simple things like okay. some profanity, if you came on and you're like, hey, listen, I'm fucking amazing. And you just swore, like something as small as that, people are going to be like, oh, this isn't some nice guy, little Indian boy, right? They're going to be like, all right, this guy's got some fucking attitude. So just a little things like that, I'd start thinking about your perception. So as Alex mentioned, number one is your uh, uh, tonality and your accent and how clear you speak. Number two is DHVing. And then number three is add a little bit of edge to your personality. Okay, nice. Cheers. Cool. Now, like, you have anything to add to that? Um, from what I saw of the date, I don't think anything was that terrible. I think uh, you just came across as like timid um or like overly excited um i didn't see like you asserting your dominance in the conversation that would just be my main pointer okay i mean trt can't hurt <laughs> like i thought the conversation was fine it was just it was just platonic it was just like a chill like like um i believe it was mark who said like a kind of like you're with your cute little friend which there's nothing wrong with that like a lot of girls like that but i i think you need to be more dominant okay I think it's also hard to be dominant when the other person can't understand you. So like, I can't really be dominant in Chinese because I don't speak Chinese. You know what I mean? He was so, speaking English from what I heard, Alex. No, I know that. I'm just saying, at, like, I personally could not understand like 50% of the stuff he was that saying. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> Are you telling me you could understand Val yes. Valak already with the attitude? You got to be kidding me. There is no way you could understand everything he was saying. Yes. Maybe yeah, it's because I'm brown. I don't know. The yeah. thing is, the thing is, Malik, you, you would have had to pay more attention than if me or Alex was speaking. Even yeah, if I, I, I agree you with the enunciation. It does need work. Is, but it I, yeah. I wasn't so terrible like that I couldn't understand. Malik, That's don't, me you, Alex being, Malik, don't you want a fellow really nice. person to finally get laid? Like, don't you care for this guy? Don't you want to see him do good? I, I'm sure he gets laid just fine. Like, he's got a good smile. That can take you a long way. Uh, Malik's, we'll set up Malik with Ayash then. This is perfect. Okay. Yeah. I, I, yeah, great. We, right. I want to check his down. We got you a go. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anyway, thanks for coming on, buddy. Appreciate you. Hopefully, uh, hopefully okay. Yeah. Thanks, Alex. See you. Bye, dude. Take care. Playing five. There's a five. I don't feel like I'm bullying him. I feel like I'm giving him like a, okay. You know what's yeah, more brutal than me? You know what's more brutal than me? Every single girl he's going to go on a date with. Yeah. Yeah. And the worst thing you can do is be like, yeah, that was awesome. Well done. And then give zero feedback, yeah, right? I, like yeah. that's not what he's here for. Like you, you want to, you coming on here, you want to get brutal feedback. You want to improve. Like that, that's what you're here for. So I truly couldn't understand most of what he said. I was yeah. trying. That's that's the, that's what I was trying to get. I, but really, also, I did have a hard time. <laughs> but this is also coming from someone like English is my second language. I didn't really speak English when I moved to America. And like I know what it's like to have a really thick accent where no one can understand you and kind of reactions you get. Like it's just like if you don't care about getting laid. And you're just like, you have a wife, then who gives a shit, I guess. But if you're trying to meet girls, having a really thick accent is going to work against you. Just is what it is. Uh, especially if it's not like a French accent or Italian accent. It's like an Indian accent or something like that. That's like not flattering. All right, let's bring on the next person. Uh, all right, let's see if Rolo Tomasi got his shit together. Yo. Howdy. My there shit's together. So, buddy. All right, man. So, who do you want to go on a date with? Let's do Ashley. You want to do Ashley? All right, cool. Yeah. I'll take Malik off. Dope. Hello. Howdy. How are you this evening out of 10? <sighs> out of 10? Yeah. I'm a seven. Okay. Nice. I'm going to give my evening probably like an eight. Okay. Not bad then. Not bad. Yeah. Pretty decent. Can I, can I be honest? Please. Yeah. I actually am like fucking kind of panicking right now. I think I'm going to just take off. Oh, no problem. Cool. All right. Um, Wait, bro. No, it's okay, man. Just, just try your best. You don't have to take off. What's what's going on, man? You don't see. Yeah. Don't well, see. um, I'm just not like accustomed to doing dates and with like an audience and like a large one too. Okay. I, I well, like your question. I mean, if you're if you're not feeling, you could take off. But I feel like you could. No. Let's, let me your, let me try again for like just a moment. Yeah. I'll take well, off in like good. thirty seconds if I need to. I feel like this could be a good learning opportunity for you to like pass push past the discomfort. You know. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. All right, thanks, Alex. Just, just don't look at the chat. Yeah, don't look oh, at yeah. the chat. <laughs> no, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna check this fucking chat. 
Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, no, my, uh, my day's pretty good. I was feeling myself, I was dancing a little bit around the house, and I'm just feeling pretty good. I think I'm going <laughs> to go to the bar in a little bit, too. Me too. So, what do you do? YouTube or something? Yeah, you, or something. What kind of music are you into? What were you dancing to? Oh, I listen to terrible music, like the absolute fucking worst. <laughs> I'm not even going to say it. Okay, you have to. <laughs> I mean, well, it's not actually that bad. Just, like, fairly cringe, but, like, Lil Peep. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, he's like an emo rapper. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, and you? I listen to a little bit of everything. Honestly, it just depends on my mood. Word. Rock, rap. Uh, well, I don't really listen to country, I guess. But what? What kind of rock? Oh gosh. Um, Good question. Now I'm put on the spot and I'm like, um, uh, classic rock, newer rock. I don't know. A little bit of everything. Like if it's older stuff, I'll, I like the grunge kind of era a little oh, bit. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Into that. And if it's newer stuff, like for some reason, the only band coming to mind right now is Imagine Dragons, but like. Oh, geez. Imagine it, Dragons? Yeah. So kind of Does like. Does that count as rock? Or whatever. Well, kind of the newer age rock music or whatever. Oh. Yeah, so thing, but. yeah, I'm honestly, I'm just going to like assert my needs and I'm going to throw in the towel, but I would like to, um, I would like to hear y'all's feedback um, okay. first before I go. Yeah. Okay. Um, you actually didn't seem nearly as nervous as a lot of the people who are on here. Did I detect a little bit of anxiety? Sure. But I think. I'm going to be honest. I think a, lot, a big part of your anxiety is actually in your head. It's not manifesting. Like, I did not pick up massive anxiety until you said, I'm getting nervous. I picked up a mild amount of anxiety that I see all day, every day. I see people who come on who have way more anxiety. So I think uh, for you, the biggest thing is going to be to actually push through, like, that negative voice in your head that's telling you that you're doing bad, that you're anxious, that you're not going to do it. Because you are you were totally having a normal standard conversation. Like, there was nothing – bad or cringy or weird that you said i mean was it a sexual conversation no but it was a normal conversation uh and you hid your nervousness fairly well so i think this is largely like in your mind you're probably thinking oh my god i'm bombing i'm doing so bad but if you were to rewatch this you would see that you actually were no different than any other guy that's been on the show so i think for you like literally the biggest thing is going to be just pushing through that negative voice in your head that's probably my biggest piece of feedback yeah, that's fair. And that's actually a piece of uh, feedback that I've gotten quite a bit just from like the people I love in life. Um, just that like, the level of anxiety that I feel, um, and that I like think I'm like giving off into the world is like, actually like, way higher than it like seems like I don't like, um, I guess I'm just like, usually not bombing as much as I like feel like I am when I do. Yeah, it's common, dude. I've had I've had situations where I've like done a speech or something like that. And I'm like, I feel really nervous, right? Especially when I first got into public speaking, I feel really nervous. And I, 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 I have this voice in my head, you're fucking the speech up. But like, I, I've already trained myself, so I just pushed through it. And I am convinced in the end of the speech that I was like so bad and I probably started the whole time. And then I listened back to the speech. And I'm like, oh, shit, I actually did really good. Like, this was a solid speech. So quite often in your mind, you make things out to be so much worse than they really are. That's something that I've personally experienced hundreds of times. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, I think I think leaving set early too is something that I could uh, work on, giving it a little bit more time and just like letting the nerves settle. Yeah, guys, always self eject and self, you know, self fuck up before. Uh, that's that's also when I was getting into games. An issue I had is I would like meet a girl and she was into me, and then I would just like get her number and leave. And my friends would be like, "Hey, well, that girl was down to go home with you." I was like, "Oh, uh, I don't know, right?" I was just like self sabotaging myself. And so in order for me to get better, what I literally have to do is to ignore that voice that told me, okay, end things off on a good note and get her number and like see this whole thing through. And that's when I started having a lot more sex and pulling girls is when I started ignoring that voice that's basically telling you like, okay, 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 you're fucking it up. Just don't say anything, right? Thank you for the feedback. Yeah. If it makes you feel better, you did much better than the real role Tomasi ever would have, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. It's totally fake. Fake, cool. Yeah, Roland, man, I, I think... I'd work on your mindset and think about what you want to get out of this. Because right now, what it seemed like is you came into this being like, I have to do really well and I don't want to fuck up. Like that is the pressure it seemed like you're putting on yourself. Whereas right. if you come into all of your interactions, just thinking, 
I'm going to learn something from this. I'm going to go in and that is my goal, right? With this five minute speed date with Ashley, I'm just going to learn something from it. So it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to avoid fucking up. Fucking up is actually how you're going to learn the most, to be honest. So as you're learning, like I want as many fuck ups as possible. So you can actually learn from it. And so start changing that. And then also label that feeling that you have. Like all of us, when we come on this stream, are going to feel a little bit nervous. That's normal. When you go into set, you're going to feel a little bit nervous. That's 100% normal. So when you get that, don't tell yourself, ah, oh, fuck, I'm anxious and all these things. Dude, it's just a little bit of adrenaline that you're experiencing from going up and speaking to a girl. That's all it is. So understand your body is going to feel fucked up for a little bit and then understand you're there to learn and not there to have like the most perfect performance when there's a bunch of people watching and you have more nerves than normal and blah, 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 blah. Right? So next time you can jump on, I do what Alex says, just push through a little bit, identify that you're going to have some adrenaline and just learn something from it. Like we're, we're here to help you out like alex is here to give you feedback so you're only going to get that feedback if you're in the set for longer right so i really encourage you to do that okay yeah i um i'm definitely gonna do this again i think um in general i don't find it like exceptionally hard it's just interesting because i kind of like went into this feeling like it was going to be a breeze um just because generally i like don't have a lot of anxiety around this like um at all at least like when there's like a screen separating me it's a little bit harder in person but but still like it just like i think it just got in my head a lot about like the fact that it was like not like even close to like what i was like expecting um i was yeah i was like holding pretty high standard for what it should look like instead of just like um yeah. doing what you were saying and like kind of uh letting each experience be its own thing and learning from it like in principle exactly. Exactly. yeah man I encourage you to watch this back and you'll see that you probably did a lot better than you thought you were doing. Sweet. Yeah. Thank you. I will. And I'll, I'll do this again as well. All right, buddy. Thanks for coming on. Have a good one. Cool. Thanks y'all. I saw that and like, it looked like it was going fine. Then I saw him like, Oh, I'm going to be, I'm like, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect that. Cause I thought he was doing okay. Honestly. Like I thought he was doing yeah, fine. He was doing well. He wasn't crushing it, but he was doing decent. One out of 10, on a scale of one out of 10, how are you tonight? That was really different i thought it was good yeah. yeah that was good what's up oh shit i didn't even expect to go on let's go well you're here sir well um, all right yeah easy malik because you know i've been waiting to go with malik so easy decision for me okay well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take everyone else off what's up malik how's it going oh you're muted My bad. Damn, full time. I'm doing streamer. well. I'm doing well. How yeah. are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Just got back from the gym. Um, no, what'd you work on? Nope. Just like full body. I don't know. I don't go super do often. So I just, yeah, just like whatever can at least keep me from not getting fat. Um, I feel that. But no, I mean, like, I, I don't do the speed dating thing that often. But I mean, I really like you're my type. So. I was really oh. excited to come on and talk to you. Why is that? Like the personality uh, or like the appearance? Appearance. I have a personality too. You know, you're crazy. So Are that, you crazy? Uh, falls in line. Eh. I mean, uh, you know, crazy is better than boring. So that's true. Um, I'm I'm trying to think. Like, you you're on the East Coast, right? Yes. Which part? The East Coast. Part Which of part the of Coast. the East Coast? The East Coast part of the East the Coast. The state. Yeah. Um, I'm in Ohio, actually. Oh Cleveland. my god, the most boring place. Mm -hmm. Oh, because I, I like I'm in the Bay, but I travel every now and then, and like I, I'm going to New York, I'm going to Miami, so. Um, okay. But Ohio, that's tough. Like, what what is there to do? What do you do for um, fun? Nothing. I, I stay home for fun. Oh, that's why you're a full time streamer, of course. Mm -hmm. Easy work. Um, you, you're my type, but I don't know about Ohio type. <laughs> like you're cute, but I don't know about like going all the way down to Ohio cute. Yeah, um, I feel that. Damn. Do you want to stay there forever, or do you uh, have like short term not. plans? Absolutely not. I'll probably go back to Florida eventually. I don't know. Oh yeah, I mean Florida is way better than Ohio. Mm -hmm. Or you can go live like the streamer life. Go to LA. 
No, so if I if I house, lived the streamer life, I would go to Austin, not LA. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's fuck true. LA. That's a cesspool of drugs. I mean, sure. Austin's I'm sure a fucking massive cesspool too. It's like not much better than LA, but yeah. No, I agree. LA sucks. LA is horrible. It's like I look at LA as being like New York, but just shittier people, more antisocial people, more materialistic people, and like not even remotely the robust transportation system that New York yeah, has. Yeah, New York but is I, cool, but I, I hate the people there. Like, I love I don't know. the people. What's wrong with you? Why do you, you hate love the New York people? They're so cold. I know, but they're, they're like blunt. They're honest. It's like so refreshing. I guess it's I mean, everyone's true. own perspective. Because I grew up in the Bay and like it's the polar opposite. Like people are super nice, super sugar coated with everything. And it's just like, like one thing, I don't know. One thing for me is like, I got a lot of different, um, like when I ask people what my race is or ethnicity, I get a lot of different things. Like I get curry a lot, um, which I'm not. Um, and then I also get Hispanic every now and then. Can I, can I guess? Is that yeah, cool? of course. Of course. Okay. I'm thinking don't like. Even ask. Like maybe, I don't know, Pakistan or Egyptian. Uh, am close, I, am I close? I not know. Yeah, close. I, for a brown girl like you, I would have expected like a little bit better. But yeah, Middle Eastern, Persian. Persian, um, okay. I was going to say Persian, but like Persians are typically lighter skinned. I know, yeah. I got the unfortunate... That's why I went for Egyptian. <laughs> no, no, I don't think okay. I don't think darker is bad in any way. I, I um, actually like guys with darker skin. Oh, perfect. Then yeah, we're already set. Just get the fuck out of Ohio. I like mm-hmm. I'll, I should. We'll, we'll have a great time. Maybe I'll move to um, Memphis for a bit. I've heard that's a cool city. Memphis? Mm-hmm. Come to the Bay. It sucks, but like you'll have me. So Oh shit. Maybe. Yeah. Um what was I gonna say? Yeah, like uh No, I mean, so, yeah, so I'll ask people because I just want to get, like, some data, like, a radar on just, like, people who have no idea who I am. They don't even know my name. Like, what, you know, what, like, ethnicity sparks in their head. Mm -hmm. And, like, it's just hard for people. They're like, oh, I don't want to, like, offend you. I don't I don't really know. I'm like, I know. I just want to know what what's, like, the fucking stereotype that pops in your head. I get Mexican all the time. I I can definitely see that. But, like, if I had to guess... um, Probably like a big mix of like Iraqi or something. I don't know. Is that that's correct? close? Um, a mixed Middle Eastern, Italian, and Armenian. Okay, but what's the? Is there any Iraqi or is that wrong? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, I got the mixed part. Like once it's mixed, it's like impossible to tell. But I knew it yeah. wasn't like one discrete race. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, we got to. We definitely got to make some plans. We got to figure out where you're going, where we can. If, if we we're to make plans, we're like three thousand miles away. So okay, so where would we go, and what would we do? I mean, it depends where we are. There's so many things, but like if we, I mean, right, it's snowing right now, so I would take you skiing. If we okay. go anywhere where there's an epic pass resort, like instantly we're going skiing. Okay. But, um. Do you want me to be honest? Sure. I actually don't ski or snowboard just because of the brain damage I have. I'm not trying to like increase that. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, we don't have to go skiing. Don't worry. I don't want to give you more brain damage than you're already going to get from being a full time Twitch streamer. (laughs) Yeah, I'm really clumsy. I know I would like tumble down the whole hill and like end up. No, I mean, there's, we could go, yeah, we could go sightseeing. We could go get mojitos, go bowling, top golf. I mean, as long as you're with me, we're like, we're going to have a good time. You know, the, okay. the we're, we're there for the banter, not the, a little bit of the mojitos, but maybe you. the banter and like the cute dark boys, you know? Yeah. All right. So Malik, same question as always. Would you go on a date with PD? I think I would. Romantic or platonic? I'd say Romantic. Okay, okay. Like the conversation wasn't really sexual or romantic in any way, but um, we we were saying a lot of like where to live, like ethnic background, and I feel like that could lead up to a romantic relationship. Okay. Um, I actually just have two pieces of feedback for you. Uh, the first one is presentation. Um, your posture is a little poor. You're kind of like like all around. Yeah. So just practice like sitting up, like. I'm not the best example of this. I also do this a lot, but if I'm trying, yeah, there we go. It's so much better. Yeah. Just try to like sit up straight, put your shoulders down. Yeah, there we go. No, um, I definitely have bad posture. It's something I've been working on to correct. 
it's really hard though because it's just like you're you're it throws everything off like you're so used to like i'm used to being like this and like your whole periphery and stuff is different there's, yeah, there, no. there's uh there's things Makes you can sense. do to help you there's uh posture devices go on amazon type in posture devices i used to walk around i used to wear this like little fucking like strap thing it like straps around your whole body and actually forces you to like stand up straight like you you don't actually have the luxury of slouching with that on so you can just do that for a period of time um yeah, also the whole the whole chat is talking about, and I kind of agree. You look so much like Rushvi; it's pretty trippy. Um, I guess we're the same race, but uh. I, I think also the, the other thing I would do is I would get a fresh cut and have your beard lined up. It's a little, it's a little on the sloppy yeah, side. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a while for sure. Yeah, so definitely do that. Uh, one specific thing is when the girl tells you where she is, I wouldn't say, "Oh, you're in the most boring place." I would just not follow up whatever she says. Uh, if you want to get get that point across, you could do it in a more playful way. You could be like, "Oh, I heard that's really exciting. What do you guys do out there?" You know, something like that. But I wouldn't say, "Oh, that's boring." Uh, so yeah, that's my feedback. That's Marcus? really funny. He sounds like a DG. Somebody in, in the offline chat said he sounds like a DG DGGer with decent social skills. That's literally how I found out about Alex's. Because oh. like through Destiny, I am a DGGer. That's hilarious. Whoever said that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, sup, Ed. So, uh, uh, overall, you did really well, man. Uh, I was impressed. I think my my feedback, a couple of things. I agree with Alex on, you know, fixing up your parents a little bit. But other than that, I try to add a little bit more dominance into your interaction because you have the look for it, bro. Like, Malik's probably looking at you being like, damn, okay. That, that's why I think at first she gave you a little bit less shit, to be honest. But I think your behaviors need to match that a bit. She said why am I your type or what about, and you were just like, ah, oh, yeah. yeah, looks right. Uh, it, I'd want to be much more direct. It is X, Y, Z. That's exactly my type. So now you sound like, you know, exactly what you want. You're going for exact. And it's not this superficial. Ah, oh, yeah, you look good. And it's kind of my type. No, exactly. Why is she your type? Talk about her personality. Cause you're like, you're a bit crazy. Be more specific about that because then she'll actually feel like, okay, this guy's into me and he knows exactly what he fucking wants. And even with the plans, we'll go skiing or snowboarding. But listen, I'm going to take you to this mountain. I'm going to do this. We're going to do this. It's going to be amazing. The more specific and dominant you can come across, the sexier it's going to be, especially when you have, I think someone mentioned in the chat, like that LA kind of tonality and accent. You need to be able to mix that up with a little bit more assertiveness. So overall, amazing. I just think that would help out a little bit. Wait, what do you mean LA tonality and accent? It's kind of like, it's like yeah. it totally like sounds like this a little bit yeah, and yeah, it kind yeah. of drags on at the end. So yeah, if I instead see. of that, you're like, you're my type. Instead of you're kind of my type, it sounds like a question. I see, I see, I see. Yeah. 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 Sorry, that was the yeah. worst accent Good in the world. I'm sorry. But... No, 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 I got, I got, I got the point across. across. Years. I know exactly what he's talking about. Yeah. yeah. Uh, That's really bad. I'm trying not to be like that at all. It's so. like, it's, it's uh -oh. kind of like, a, it's, they call it the valley girl accent. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, all right, cool. Well, thanks for, Ashley, do you have anything to add? No, he seemed pretty confident and seemed to be into her. And I liked the, like, ethnic background discussion too. So, good job. Cool. All right, mm -hmm. buddy. Have a good one. Thanks for coming on. All right, guys. Yeah, thanks for the feedback. Uh, let's bring on the next guy. What's up, dude? Hey, Alex. How's it going? Pretty good. Pretty good. You ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm doing good. Yeah. Who do you want to go on a date with? Uh, Ashley. Ashley. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I'll take everybody else off. Hey, Ashley. How's it going? It's good. How are you? I'm doing good. I love your black outfit. Thank you very much. You kind of yeah. you kind of remind me of Bruno Mars a little bit. I've never heard of him. Who is he? Uh, he's a singer, songwriter, musician. Oh, okay. Yeah, I used to do improv in college, so maybe it goes well with that. But can you guess what I do for a living, though? Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I am so uh, lost. I'm in technology. I'm okay. I, was I, like, I feel like that's like the first thing that popped in my head, but I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were just scared of stereotyping me or something. Right. <laughs> yeah. I did. I was afraid to <laughs> no, do that. No, it's very good though. Uh, I like when people say, oh, you must be a software. Well, I think that's a compliment. Uh, okay. Right. 
yeah it means I feel like you are like a nurse or in some sort of management level role or something i do i do healthcare yes you do healthcare okay so i was pretty good, close to that you know you i could do like when i was in college like literally every girl i used to meet who was like super attractive was nursing major so it was i just guessed it like oh, probably asli is also like something nursing well thank you <laughs> i appreciate that yeah totally so what's up what, how was your day though my day was pretty good actually it was relaxing i i took the day off work so i didn't really do a whole lot how was your day um honestly same so you took a day off the work so i bet you must be really overworking during the week though right it can be like that yeah i can yeah. I, if i would stop staying up staying up so late at night it would be better <laughs> so are you a night owl i be, i believe yeah. yeah same <laughs> i think staying up at night is like way more better because you just have the silence in the house and you can just do your own thing right yeah absolutely i agree i agree so you work a lot during the week i i would, I would assume like 50 to 60 hours so being in a healthcare industry is like a lot to like deal with though right it is. yeah it is i don't work i don't work that many hours though i keep it like the regular 40 What about you? I think it's around the same range, 30 to 40 hours. Not a lot. Not a whole lot. But I think my job is more like working from home, so I'm working remotely most of the time, so I try to put myself out there a lot more, but it's it's a pretty chill job though. Have you ever done one of these speed dating things before? Um, no, this is my first time at speed dating. What about you? What made you decide to try it out? Um I think I wanted to collect feedback on uh, my social skills and uh, see how well I do. But uh, honestly just a big fan of Alex. I have seen a lot of his videos. I uh, wanted to also say hi to him too. So that's the main reason. But have you done a speed dating before? Like yeah. other than this live stream? Oh, other than this live stream? No. Yeah. never done this type of thing outside of Alex's live streams <laughs> no i feel like you would be a better fit for in person where if i were to approach you at a bar than compared to online what do you think about that do you do you prefer in person i do prefer in person yeah what would you say if you approached me at a bar i think my opener would be some observation like i would just say like your outfit is like really seduce who are you trying to seduce <laughs> that's pretty good i like that that's pretty good it goes yeah. well <laughs> so what do, what drink do you get at the bar i i bet it's uh it's vodka red bull isn't it vodka tonic you were close vodka t- i was close you were very <laughs> close about a lot of things yeah um okay uh ashley would you go on a date with amog yes platonic or romantic romantic Really? Yeah. Huh. I like him. Huh. What? Huh. Huh. I got I got Mr. Mr. Cockblocker has returned. Oh, kind of valid. You are like judging me. No, no, no. I mean, look, I want to I want to I want I want to I want to I want to see I want to see I want to see the dude do well. I just did not expect that response. Uh you want to know why I didn't expect that response? Yeah, please. It's because I feel like if i'm just being brutally honest yeah uh is that your voice sounds does not sound masculine at all and i'm having a really hard time imagining uh a girl based on this conversation developing any kind of sexual interest that doesn't mean it's not possible doesn't mean mm-hmm. that you couldn't change that but it just your voice sounds very like kind of soft and i don't know if it's the combination of the accident or your tonality i think it's probably both accent and tonality playing into just like a fairly feminine voice and i think if that factor if you could change that which you can you can actually modify your voice mm-hmm. i would suspect that your results would be radically radically different i don't know marcus <laughs> you, what do you think i don't know i'm a little lost right now actually <laughs> yeah i mean look is he got the bruno mars dhv going on so i think that carried him a little bit but uh yeah i agree with you you're you're yeah. muted marcus you're muted. 
your mic cut out. I agree with the voice thing, but I think the date overall went well. I, I think you just speak with your head voice a little too much. Yeah, I agree. Like at first I thought the voice thing too, but then when we started talking, I really liked him. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. I yes. can hear you. All right. Perfect. Um, all right. Yeah. So I, I agree. If you can make your voice sound high volume and lower tone, then it's going to work. But also, mm -hmm. even if if you do just naturally have a very sort of that like low pitch voice, then try and make it sound a little bit smooth and sexy because you sounded very non emotive, robotic. But if you kind of spoke a little bit like, smooth sexy you felt that emotion then i think that's gonna maybe take advantage of your voice it sounds a little bit more feminine than most people uh but overall um the, the other thing i'd add to that is when you have the opportunity amog by the way i love your name when you have the opportunity <laughs> try to sound as optimistic or try to display yourself as best as possible think about it like a job interview so when she asked what you did and you were just kind of like tech and that was it. It's missing an opportunity now for her to know more about you. And there was a couple of other situations in there where you did the exact same thing. So just think about ways you'd express yourself with these simple questions. And that's going to help a lot. But uh, but yeah, you got yourself a date. So well done. Thank you. Yeah. Also to address this, it's not the same. They both have an Indian accent. Indian P's voice is a lot deeper. It's you. Uh, this, this is not a criticism that's just for every Indian person. It's a criticism for someone whose voice sounds very high pitched. So it's uh, comparing apples to oranges, Javier. Uh, but yeah, I mean, again, this is like a meme at this point. The whole chat is going to, you already know what I'm going to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> I recommend you get your testosterone levels checked just in case. It can't hurt because uh, if you if your testosterone is on the lower side, that can affect your voice. And if you want to see mm -hmm. how that affected me, uh, you can watch my videos from 2017 before I uh, when I had low testosterone compared to my videos now, and you will see a massive fucking difference in how I sound. I used to sound like this. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Alex from PWF. You guys want to talk about text and Tinder? Right, that, that literally used to be me, bro. Uh, so, uh, yeah, like you, you might not believe me, but literally you can type in more plates, more dates. Literally did a video on my voice transformation, how drastic. I've seen some of your old videos. So Yeah, so, and like that's, yeah. that's the difference that just having the right amount of testosterone in your system can make. So at the very mm -hmm. least, I would say just go and get it checked out. Maybe you're fine. Maybe you're not, but it doesn't hurt mm -hmm. to check. So I would start uh, I would start with that at the very least. Mm -hmm. For sure. Welcome to playing with fire. Get your tea levels checked. Welcome to playing with fire. Do you guys want to sound like this? <laughs> Malik sounds alpha. Alex has uh, Malik has some good tea levels there, I reckon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now Mal Malik does uh, some TRT. Yeah. I sent her some of my vials. Yeah, I do. Yeah, no, I do. Yeah. We're getting her more TRT so, so, so she can amog all the amoggers. That's it. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks for coming on. Thanks, Alex. All right, buddy. Have a good one. I'll be honest, like 90% of the time I can predict what the girl's going to, uh, what the girl's going to say, but like 10% of the time I'm off. And this was part of that 10%. Did you, were you expecting a yes, Marcus? Uh, I, I wasn't sure to be honest. I was 50, 50 because the, the initial reaction was very good. And then it just went a little bit downhill after that. So yeah, I was, I was hinting no, but I wasn't so surprised. Oh, okay. Yes. I was quite surprised. Um, okay. Let's bring on David. What's up? Hello. What's up, man? What's going on, dude? Uh, oh, there we go. That's the kind of voice I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So who do you want to go and do it? You said Malik, I think, right? Yeah, Malik, yeah. All right, cool. I'm going to take everyone else off. Slave, we'll get you on after that. Hey. Hello. I like that little gash on your eyebrow. Thank you. I got it glued back together when I was like two years old. You You got it what? I had it glued, like, like there's a big, like, blood out of my face, you know? Because someone mm -hmm. scratched you, a cat or a dog? Yeah, a cat totally scratched me. Ooh, pussy cats. Mm -hmm. I gotta watch out for those. Yeah. I wanted to test uh, the fact that you're super bratty to all these UFW <laughs> guys. You want to test me? That's, 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 that's not a good idea. I want to test your brattiness. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> I I don't I don't think you're you know what you're getting into, but okay. <laughs> Anyways, 
I I was wondering why you started doing live streaming, because you know it's not your usual job. I started doing live streaming because I live in an area with absolutely nothing to do. You're you live in the woods, kind of. I do. I mean, personally, I I also live just out of society. How is this testing me? You you brought up the most boring topic you could have. Ooh, there it is. That's what I wanted to hear. No, like you did. Like, don't come into a day and get me all excited that you're gonna like test me and like I get the chance to degrade you, only to fucking say, "Oh, why'd you start streaming?" Like, l you clearly are a fan of the show, and you hear me answer that question on literally every date I go on. Literally every date I go on, I answer that question. So why would you ask that? You already know the answer, unless you don't pay attention to the show. You know what? You're right. Yeah. Yeah, of course I'm right. You're right at the fact that you are super bratty. I never said that, so... Mm -hmm. You're you know stupid, you? too. That's good to know. <laughs> I love this. It's only funny it. if it's true. Um... Yeah, I guess I guess you you your brightness took over. Damn. I wasn't being bratty. I was just being honest. It's real. It's real, y'all. Like there was nothing to be bratty about because you didn't tell me to do anything, so I didn't have the opportunity to say no. I just had to put you in your place because you were insecure. Damn. <laughs> uh, dude, you you should just like quit before it gets anywhere. It's like. I don't think there's any recovering. I like uh, I like Slifeline. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys got to stop provoking Malik. And then you get I love this. When you get exactly what you bargained for. This is what, this oh, my is God. Of someone that goes to the zoo, jumps in a cage with a bear, starts fucking, like, chasing the bear around and poking him with a stick, and the bear finally flips down, like, whacks him in the head. It's like, oh, well, I don't know why this bear is fucking attacking me. Where's the bear over here? I feel like this is, like, just I see this time and time again. Dudes come on with Malik, and they're like, yeah, yo, Malik. I love that bradness. I'm gonna put you in your place. So anyway, um, how long have you been uh, doing live streams for? What's your favorite passion? Do you like uh, movies? Yeah, I don't know. I just see this. I feel like, okay, if if I was going on a date with Malik and I had a little bit of information, like I watched the show, I would not bring up the bradiness thing unless I felt like I was extremely, extremely equipped to handle. Capable. That. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's less than 0.01 percent of people. If I'm being honest. <laughs> so. Yeah, and then yeah, the don't give me that much credit. <laughs> so okay, so David, what, what just I guess maybe you can walk us through what were you thinking when you said that? I, like, I was so oh as soon God. as I said it, it was almost like it was in a frame from the from like a sexual tone, and we could talk about her being bratty, me being trying to you know slap. Oh, his wife. Like I don't think he was thinking, to be quite honest. His, 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 like, internet modem or whatever, internet company is like, okay, we, we can't let this happen to one You're of our uh, customers. <laughs> They've got his back. Yeah, let's go. Good job. <laughs> someone in my chat just said it's so sexy when I roast people. I knew that was going to happen to you. Uh, I said to him, I said laughing because I was like, like You're, you don't know what you just asked for. And then, yeah, and then uh, he, like, didn't know what to say also when you were like, he was just like, um. Huh? 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 Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this is like the equivalent. Okay, like. Oh my god. I don't know. Like, okay, try. I'll try to give another analogy. I have like no experience rock climbing. That would be the experience of me fucking going on like Mount Everest with no ropes, no guides, and just fucking no clothes. Oh, shit, I'm Mount Everest now. Okay, slow down, Alex. Slow well, down. you're the you're the Mount Everest of uh, fucking being a brat, I guess. Yeah. But anyway, okay, I guess his internet is just crapping out. But anyway, David, uh, appreciate you trying, buddy. Come back, you know. Try that stuff. was trying? Yikes. I want to leave it off on a positive note. Uh, I don't. You brought the guy down enough, okay? You're giving me shit for Look, giving he's going to cry himself to guy, sleep. That's what, That's what he asked you for. That's what he asked for. I gave him you what he asked for, Alex. You for being mean to a guy about his voice, and you just literally just obliterated this guy. You he asked him. for it, okay, Alex? He asked for it. It take him weeks to get over this. Alex, I will give you shit if I want to give you shit, okay? That's what you get for inviting me on. Well, I will give you shit if 
I also want to give you shit because okay, and because I want to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's bring on the this next person. Mr. Slave. Fuck you. Oh hi. Oh, my God. What's up, Mr. Slave? Uh, hey, you- terrific. Uh, hey, Ashley. Uh, I'll go with Malik, please. Wait, didn't you already go with Malik? Never. I've never oh, seen her before okay, today. Okay. okay, you're good then. All right, cool. I'm going to take everyone else off. Yeah, but I feel bad because we did. I feel like I, I want to, like, with the last guy, I did want to, like, I always like to end it off on a positive note. And I feel like I didn't get to do that. So, yo, dude, if you're watching this, just like, uh, just do, come back. don't off yourself. It's okay. It's going to be okay. <laughs> no, no, come back to the stream at some point and I'll give you more feedback. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Let's take everyone else off. <laughs> I feel like I need my ski mask now. You want to put on a ski mask? Yeah, I feel like I need it. I forgot where I put it, though. I used to keep it, like, right on my computer, so I could just, like, whip it on whenever I needed to. Wait, you use it for, like, speed dates? Um, I plead the fifth. Oh. Um, wait, so, actually, when you started attacking him, I started laughing. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I was sure was he funny, was going to... funny, wasn't it? Right, it was really funny. <laughs> And he, and he was unprepared. Mm-hmm. Are I, you prepared? I could not. Be, I couldn't believe it. It's really strange. What, can can we also try this? Could you could you do this to me too? Are you are you prepared? Like I don't want to make everyone cry tonight. Like one man crying is enough for a night. I feel like if if you make me cry, that's like my fantasy. Oh, it is. So you'd be turned on by it. See, you just made me, like, have no interest in ever bullying you ever. Like, now I don't want to. I don't want you to be, like, get pleasure out of it. I want you to, like, cry. Like, yeah. be sad. Tr- do, I want do to, it to, to hurt inside, not, Do it. You know. Do it. Try, please. Can you do it? <sighs> first of all, you want me to? You're Okay. Why the fuck are you wearing a ski mask, first of all? You're insecure. You're wearing glasses because you can't even see. Bad genetics. I would never have kids with you. You're smiling because you're nervous, and you know what I'm saying is fucking true. Um, Your background is the most disgusting shade of white. I don't know if it's the color of your paint or the lighting in your room. Your shirt looks like an extra large. I don't know if you're obese or not. Can't really tell when it's just here up on camera. Um, You're laughing, so that means I'm right again. Your hair is also most likely disgustingly horrible because I can't see it. So I just have to assume the worst. I don't know what the fuck you have on your arm. It looks like your dirty cum sock tied around it. Maybe you cut off the tip and like just put it on your arm and like tucked it up. So, so it's like there, like for when I like bully you to your peak and you feel like you're going to like buzz, you can just rip off the like cum sock from your hand and like, no, 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 there's no interrupting me. I'm going to like make you cry before. Oh, you're laughing? You're laughing? Why are you laughing? Is this funny to you? Are you getting yeah. aroused? I'm actually going to stop. I don't want you to get too turned on. Amazing. Wow. Wait, this is natural for you? I mean, what? what, what... I, I was I was just telling you exactly how I felt about you in the most blunt way I could have. Interesting. Also, that green fucking glare on your glasses is disgusting. It makes you look kind of like a frog. Like a lizard, like a, almost like a fucking ninja turtle, like just reversed, you know? Wait, but is this you? Is this the real you or is this a fake? No, I, this is actually like a llama that I found off the street. And, you know, I put in my in my room in my desk instead to talk for me. I mm-hmm. see. Yeah. yeah, it's so funny, isn't it? You keep you keep laughing. No, I'm 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 actually just curious. I'm I'm curious, like, why do you do this? I mean... Why do I do what? You asked me to bully you, so I did. It wasn't right. a hard task. It was easy. That's why I did it. Okay. Anyway, so... um, But di- did you enjoy yourself? No. I, I'm actually, like, low-key pissed because, like, that was too easy. Like, you weren't challenging at all. Like, if you were at least good-looking with a good voice... And good hair and a good outfit. Maybe it would have been difficult for me to think of how to roast you, but I could have gone on for another hour. And enjoy yourself? No, it's I. It pisses me off that like there's men like you in the world. Wait, wait, I'm like wait. I'm disappointed that like I didn't have to try to roast you. I just was stating the obvious. Okay. No, but the, the qu- does it turn you on to? No. For the 20th time. Are you also deaf? 
No, so why do you do it? Maybe the ski mask is like clogging your ears, or maybe there's too much wax in it. You should get that checked. Okay. You should also okay, get now, your G levels checked. Okay. 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 So now I'm curious. So could you answer the question? Okay. So let, let's pause the bullying. I, I'm, I'm honestly curious because this is not right. Not, most women wouldn't behave this way, right? This is um, like, okay, let me ask you a question. What are you trying so, to say? Like, stop stuttering. Just say what you're trying to say. Okay. So naturally, are you are you dominant or are you submissive? Obviously. Again, obviously. I'm dominant. dominant when I'm around submissive men. But does it turn you on to be dominant? No, for the 30th time now. Okay. This so, is not some kink. It's just me being pissed off at the reality that you're an insecure pussy thinking you have any sort of chance speed dating me. Like at least, at least put the bar like here. Like it doesn't have to be here, but at least put it there. Like my guy, like no. Wait, you think that I don't have a chance dating you? The audacity of that question blows my mind. That's all I have to say to that. Okay. I mean, I personally usually if I'm challenge if I'm put to a challenge, I usually succeed. I, I would be surprised. Do you usually succeed would... at challenges? Take off your ski mask. That's a challenge I have for you. No, not not that. Oh, challenge. so you fail at challenges. That's what I thought. No, like like So not only are you a loser, but you're also a failure. Congratulations. Yeah, copy me because I'm dominant. I'm leading you as what to do. I see. Wait, but no, uh, a dominant woman gets turned. Wait, what? I'm laughing at you. Okay. I'm laughing at you. Like, your face is just so dumb. Uh, but continue. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, the, the definition of a dominant woman is that she gets turned on being dominant with a submissive man. Yo, is you? that? Hey, Google. <laughs> What's the definition of dominant? The definition of dominant, most important, powerful, or influential. So, what were you saying? No, like, in, I, like, are you sexually dominant? Are you? I mean, no, because I would never sexually be with a submissive man. So you're not dominant. So you were. I am dominant. You don't know the definition of the word. I thought you were well, listening. Okay, so. If I, if you were with a dominant guy, would you become submissive? Why what are we saying a hypothetical? You're not a dominant man. It doesn't matter. Yes, I would be with a dominant man who's not you. Right. So you're not a dominant. You are submissive. You're a submissive woman. Right. You enjoy. You get sexually turned on being submissive. You don't get sexually turned. on. Do you on know what a record being... player is? Do you know okay, what the so word you... repeat means? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you do? I do, yeah. I do. Okay, well, calm down. Let's let's stop okay. doing that. Okay. Um, by the way, <laughs> you, you, are, you are beautiful. I know. Um, no, you're not? I said I know. I'm, I'm aware. Like, I love myself. The, I'm hot. Like, move, move why the else would I love closer. myself? Your mic is away. Your, no, your I'm, I'm not going to turn you on. I know you get turned on when I speak that close into your ears. Oh, okay. Wait. Yeah. Um, I don't know if anyone ever asked you on, on the speed date to to show your full body. Would it be okay? If no, I'm not going to show you anything. Your full body. No. Alex, let's end this. I don't want to speak to this pervert any longer. Uh, <laughs> Oh my God, we had, you, you You don't realize, we literally had 100 extra live viewers during the speed date. This was prime time entertainment. Oh my God, I am dead from laughing. This was one of the top five highlights of my career. Honestly. Okay, let me give Malik uh, my response. She doesn't, I, I don't need to hear her response. Okay, Malik, that's enough. So Malik is not dominant. Malik is a submissive girl. She needs a dominant guy, and then she behaves submissive. 
what she did was finally you're so, learning i'm actually proud okay, of you no, no like, let, let me tell you, you 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 said enough our date's actually so, over but enough. we can continue okay, thank you thank he's you. actually doing pretty good right now this is what you should have done during the date mr yeah say this to your date i'm not interested <laughs> mel can come grovel i am not interested in her she's not dominant she is she's Unfortunately, she's a little bit psychopathic. The way she Obviously. spoke to me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so the way she spoke to me, I mean, she is, uh, I would say a dangerous person. To, I would never be with her. She's obviously a dangerous person. I mean, the way she spoke to me, that's literally how my father used to speak to me for hours i'm sorry i triggered no, internal no, trauma Alec, you said enough you said enough. my apologies good enough, sir enough enough we heard enough of you thank you man. i mean she is a psychopathic possibly murderer <laughs> anyway i gotta be honest this is a fucking ski mask bro i've never seen you i've never seen you be so adamant you're almost like giving some boundaries no 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 what, what she i mean i'm sorry you're i know no, no malik that's enough that's enough malik oh, i malik, heard enough i heard your enough. voice i heard your you voice did enough. hear my voice a lot enough enough of your voice no more enough of your Any, voice no no do you no, think you can tell no. me to shut the fuck up you insecure little twat there you go there you go yeah a there i do go a complete psychopath anyway i am a psychopath and she you has are wearing a fucking ski mask. She so has what does that make children. you? She is when I have children, abuse, they will be better than your children because my genetics are better. Use her children. Just stand in front of them. I don't them need and glasses. I have hours, good eyes. Talk to them like she spoke to me for absolutely no reason in the world. She I'm had no so reason sorry in the world that I triggered the bad like relationship that. that you have with and your father. Not, even that sounds I like a you her, problem. So and I you should probably her, seek therapy. Shh, shh, Quiet, quiet, quiet. No, you don't get to tell me to be quiet. Just keep speaking the truth. So I asked go on. I'll her, let you speak, though. You know, I asked her to abuse me because I enjoy being abused by a beautiful woman. Yeah, because but you're in an abusive okay, relationship Malik, with your father. Like Malik, 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 let him, Malik, Malik, let him, let him speak. I'm curious what he has to say. So I asked her. You know, because when she attacked the other guy, I started laughing. I said, wow, I wish it did that to me. It looks like so much fun. And then she started going at it with me. And then I wanted her to stop. And I wanted to, you know, it became really interesting. And I wanted to have a discussion. I wanted her to stop. But she was unable to stop, like an actual psychopath. Anyway, <laughs> so an actual terrible experience for me. I'm glad. I'm that honestly. Uh, so thank you, thank you question, so much for ending it like Mr. that. Slave. That made me so happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mr. Slave, sorry, I, I've I've never seen you on the channel before. I'm sorry, my man. But so, do you mind sharing with us what your sexual kink is exactly? Like, are you a sub? Is that how you define yourself? Yes, I am a sub. Okay, this, this is this is a topic we've covered on this channel, like. <laughs> 20 bazillion okay. times mr okay, slave is sorry. like a full-on regular no it's okay right, this, this like the short story right. i guess no no it's fine I, I was just curious because uh you you seem experienced sexually right and i think the issue here is malik isn't right i, I don't think she's very experienced in the kink scene whatsoever and so you came at this with a okay she's perhaps a dom and I'm going to enjoy getting degraded for a little bit. And what you're used to is clear boundaries where you say, okay, enough of the degrading now. Let's have a conversation and let's move on from that. And she wasn't able to. And that's because she's not experienced with this, bro. Like, she's a bit of a brat. Shut the she, fuck up, Mark. Malik, let I'm me speak. She's, she's a bit of a brat. And she she likes to give guys shit and get that shit given back. And she is submissive, right? You you did pick that right, especially at the end. But I, I don't think she's at the level of sexual experience that you're at. So you can't expect someone like this to be able to say, okay, hey, abuse me. And then let's, so I don't think she's a psychopath. I don't think she's going to be a bad mother. I think that's a bit far. I think she's just a little bit sexually inexperienced when it comes to dom sub dynamics. That's all. Yeah. I would just add, she's also, she's not a dominant because there's no such thing as a dominant no. woman. They're, they don't exist. I've met countless dominant women. They all turned out to be actually submissive. So you're, what you're looking for, Mr. Slate doesn't actually exist. There's just, levels of women who think they're dominant and they may think they're dominant but even like your your dominatrix nicole like who was dominant with you like she has said that i prefer to be submissive 
with a dominant guy. So every single woman prefers to be submissive. That's just human nature. So uh, you're looking for something that doesn't exist, unfortunately. Ashley, what's your opinion? <laughs> well, you know, you know, I love you, Mr. Slave, but that was pretty, that was terrible. It was entertaining, <laughs> but I, it was, I, guess I would agree. Pretty cool I would entertainment. Agree with, it was fun. Yeah, I would agree with fun. Marcus that, um, I would agree with a lot of what Marcus said that, um, you know, you probably mi misjudge that situation, excuse me, you misjudge that situation, you know, and then what, what Alex said is kind of true too. When I first came into this kind of content, I thought that I was really a dominant woman, but I think he's right. I think, I think most women just are dominant with weaker men, but not necessarily something that we actually are by nature and not what we want probably. Uh, let me add a little bit more feedback. I mean, if at the end she didn't, she didn't just abruptly end the date and call me a pervert, then you know it, 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 we could have had maybe a potential conversation. But instead, she decided to bail, which is bizarre. Because I'll always I didn't you. bail. I dropped the mic. There's because a she was going a, a brat has disdain for guys that she doesn't view as alpha or dominant. She views them as, she almost develops disdain for them. The more the more Brad speaks to a man that she considers submissive, the more disdain she gets for him. So it's almost like, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, it's almost as if like a homeless guy is trying to hit on her. It's like, get out of here, right? That's, that's how Brad's view guys who are not dominant. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fascinating paradox. Now I'm sorry, I, have I just wanted to for chuck you. in. Sorry, bro. I, I just wanted to quickly throw in Mr. Slade. No, no, hold on. I, I think... No, no, okay, hold on, hold on. Malik, can you answer a question? Sure. Were you abused as a child? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God, I'll do that. All right, Marcus, proceed with your question. Yeah, I, I was going to say, you got to take some responsibility here, Mr. Slave, right? <laughs> no, hold because on. No, no, always... no, wait. No, let, wait, let me no, finish. No, let me finish, no. bro. <laughs> no, 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 Ma Marcus, hold on. No, Malik, what's the answer? You know how I'm going to answer your question? No. Okay. Look at that yeah, smile. Marcus, go ahead. Look All at right. that smile. Okay. going to answer, actually answer a question for <laughs> once no, in, no, in a not. blue moon. Impossible. All right. Like when you come on these things, bro, and this is the way for everyone listening, is if you want to get better with women, it's like you have to take 100% responsibility every single time. So even we, we're sitting here and I'm going to admit I'm biased, right? I'm going to blame the fault on you way more than anything else because that's the way we all learn. And so you said if she didn't end the stream and you're kind of putting the blame on her. And then you said if she, if she answered this, you keep putting the blame on her. I'd think about what were some things I could have changed, right? So let's say you're right. Let's say you're dealing with a psychopath. What are some things you can change, right? Think about it that way. That might be helpful. And you asked her to see her body right? You asked to see her body when she wasn't really into you at this point. So I would never do that. I would never ask to see a girl's body or ask for any type of compliance, ask for a number, ask to see her if she's not even into me yet. So the things that you said when the stream ended, which was, you're not, you're not a dom, you want to be submissive. All these things are actually amazing. And I think would have built attraction with her. Now, the problem is, it's just not what you're after. Like you're talking to a girl that you're not into essentially that Malik is, and that's what you kept asking. But you, you were dominant. You describe, you're, you're hoping that she's saying yes. So you got a situation where you got a girl that you're not into. You got a girl that's only to you. And now you're asking her to like show her body to you. It's just not going to work. And so that's why she called you a perv, which is a bit, a bit much. But that's why you just didn't have the compliance for it. And I think as all, all of us as men, we need to take responsibility and think like, what can we do better next time? So yeah, that's all I, can I, say. I agree with Marcus on that one completely ultimate responsibility um all right cool awesome thanks mr slave i appreciate the content as always thanks for coming on dude all right, night, night. dude that guy is like the biggest character ever you've never seen him before on my channel marcus no i've seen um i've seen like a picture of him or something but i've never listened to a convo or anything like that to dude, be honest, so. oh my god he's he's literally become like a character in the pwf universe Oh, so like you know how like in the Marvel we'll verse there's like different storylines. Slave yeah. <laughs> <laughs> storyline. Yeah, I, I think I saw him with his mistress on yeah, one of the yeah. streams, so, but I don't think he spoke. She's uh she's an interesting one. All right, let's bring on the next person. Court Yo, Kaz. thanks for waiting. Um, all right, you said you want to go on date with who? Ashley. Ashley. 
All right, cool. I'm going to take everyone else off. Yo, Ashley, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm uh, phenomenal right now. Got my wisdom teeth pulled out yesterday. I'm feeling like fucking fantastic. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah. So how's your day been? It's been okay. Um, kind of relaxing. Um, this is an interesting way to end it. Yeah, it is an interesting way to end it. Yeah. Is that like you have a nightgown and nightgown on? You about to go to sleep? Yeah, I kind of do. I kind of have my my nighty outfit on. Yeah, with the leopard pillow in the back. Do what? With the leopard pillow in the back. Yes, with my leopard pillow Ooh. and my teddy bear. Ooh. So you got a <laughs> night light too? Uh, no, just the ring light. Oh, just the ring light. Ooh. Okay. So, 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 what do you do for fun, Ashley? Well, what oh. does Ashley do in our late nights? Uh, YouTube streaming, basically. YouTube I'm streaming happy. with all uh, raging tomato. <laughs> Yes, with the tomato. Yes, I do a lot mm. of content with her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like a little bit of different stuff than that. I, I'm in the military. Okay, what branch? Army. Army. How long have you been in? It's about to be going on four years now. Nice. Congrats. Thank you. So, what you ever talked to a military guy before? Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, I was I was in the Air Force. So, oh, Air Force, it's more yeah. like Chair Force. Yeah, that right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so what you do in the Air Force? Were you like a mechanic? No, I I would just admin paperwork stuff. Pretty boring. Like, just sit on the desk all day. Hey, we need this done. Ashley can get this done. Pretty much. Pretty much. Laura uh, secretary. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm in combat arms, so so we kind of just like fix our vehicles and then go out and stuff. That's really what we usually do. Yeah, how are I'm you not... feeling with the with the wisdom teeth thing? Yeah, I got like fucking chipmunk cheeks going on right now. Yeah, <laughs> you kind of do. Have you been icing it? Yeah, I've been ice. I've been icing it all day today. It's been fucking hurting like crazy yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I I had mine taken out when I was I think I was 27, so I was kind of older when I had mine taken out. It was painful. Yeah, it wasn't that painful. They had me on some pretty good, good, pretty good dope. <laughs> good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> huh. So, so Ashley, what kind of guys are you into? Um, guys that probably like most women, guys that are a little more dominant, um, like you know. Um, I like guys that are smart. I like guys that are funny. That's a big one for me. Humor is, is one of my favorite things, uh, especially sarcasm, witty humor. What about you? What kind of women are you into? Say I'm into women in uh, black nightgowns with night lights <laughs> with a uh, with, uh, little cheetah print clothes, so stuff like that. Just stuff yeah, like gonna, that. Nothing, nothing yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nothing specific at all. Mm, no. Okay. <laughs> I like it. How old are you? Older than you, babe. I doubt it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm 23. 23? Yeah. I am 37. Ooh, I like it. You like older women? Yeah. Yeah, you age like a fine wine. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. It. <laughs> yeah, so, 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 will you have any kids? I do. I have two. Ooh, awesome. Boys or girls? Uh, I don't want to talk about my kids too much on stream. Oh, understandable. <laughs> so, understandable. <yeah. laughs> people be weird out there. People be weird. Yes, people be weird nowadays. Understandable. So, uh, so what kind of board games are you into? Board games? Yeah, board games. Oh my god, it's been forever since I've played one. Um, what do you mean? You got to get out more, man. Yeah, you got to have some fun. And I do. I need to. Probably Yahtzee. That's a fun one. I like cards more than board games, though. Yeah. You ever play Cards vs. Humanity? I have. That one's fun. Yeah, I was thinking we could play some Cards vs. Humanity. I could beat you in a few games. You could beat me at Cards uh, against Humanity? Yeah, Cards vs. Humanity. You never play that? I have. Yeah, I have. This is, this is a, like an extremely one. Do what? It's like an extremely fun one. Yeah. Your poor cheeks are so small. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
It's kind of hard to talk right now. <laughs> Hurts a little bit. Yeah. You need someone to nurse you back to health. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need some motherly love. A little cringy. Yep. A little bit. Tad. <laughs> Sounds better in my head. It probably did. <laughs> Yeah, the whole the whole mommy thing's not really for me, but yeah. I get it. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit. It's a little bit, kind of a little bit of fetish, but no. For you specifically, or just in general? Oh, uh, just in general. Okay, not for you specifically, though. No, not me specifically. Okay, well that's that's good to know. Hmm. All right. Oh, everyone's back on. Hey, everyone is back on. All right, Ashley, were you going on a date with Cortez? No. Okay. Here is my feedback. Um, I wrote down quite a few things. So, uh, okay. So when you're asking her about, uh, you're like, have you ever talked to a military guy? A much better way of phrasing that is, have you ever been with a military guy before? So what typically what I do, I'll ask like, uh, when I'm talking about like, yeah, I'm actually like, oh, I haven't known, really known many Russians. I'm like, oh yeah, you've never been with a Russian guy before. Not talked to, but been. Uh, when she said, um, I was Air Force. Again, that's a perfect like opportunity to kick off a fun little role play. I'm like, oh, you know what they say about uh, Air Force and Army, right? And you just like come up with some like fun little thing. She's like, oh, no, what? You can be like, well, you know, I, well, you just make a sort of shit up. Uh, okay, another missed layup. When she was like, uh, you need someone to nurse you back to health, right? So I've been like, yeah, perhaps. Why? You got a sexy nurse outfit, right? So there's just like so many missed opportunities for like role plays, right? The conversation felt very shallow. You never really went in depth on anything. You're just talking about like, oh, do you like board games? Oh, do you like, you know, what do you do? Like, there's no like, you really got to pick a few topics and go in depth on them, right? And explore them. And you also want to oscillate between having like a serious get to know you conversation and keeping things very playful and sexual and humorous, right? And when you get that combination, that's when you have really a good type of uh, you know, combo, I would say overall. But yeah, that's my feedback. Yeah, I think uh, another missed opportunity was when she said she liked dominant men. Like that you could have like been more dominant in the conversation at that point or followed up on that, not just said, okay, and moved on. Yeah, I agree with that. I, yeah. I think one, one of the red flags too, for Ashley might've been, you, you mentioned you liked older women. There was like almost like a mummy role play at one point. <laughs> uh, so I, I agree with Malik. Like you heard she liked dominant guys. I, when she said she was 47, I think it was, Ashley, like, I, I, would, <laughs> say, I would say, was it 57 it's or no? 37. Uh, I'm, I'm just trolling. So mm -hmm. I would say, listen, uh, you, you, you seem so much younger than me because you're, you're young, bro, right? You're young. And so whenever a girl is even one year older than you, always the way you want to respond back is that they seem so much younger than you, right? Be like, ah, listen, you, you look like a little little girl compared to me right like really emphasize that because ashley's not going to find it attractive if she's chatting to someone that seems super young or has a mummy role play that they want to invest in maybe i'm wrong maybe ashley secretly likes that i don't know but uh it's uh it might be a bit of a red flag the mother comment i that was probably where it, i yeah. lost it <laughs> yeah no offense or anything but <laughs> that's all right mommy don't worry about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right cool um thanks for coming on cortez appreciate you yeah appreciate you coming on yeah for sure buddy have a good one all right let's do like two more people let's bring on jay don what's up, oh, what's up? how you doing good can you guys hear me well yep all, all right awesome cool. so who do you want to go on day with i'm not really sure ashley seems pretty nice and uh malik seems a little intense you want to do both girls? We haven't had anyone do that yet. Yeah. That's Why not? Question. You know what? That seems pretty ballsy. Why not? My man. All right, cool. I'm going to take me and Marcus off then. All right. How y'all ladies do it tonight? Doing good. How are you? You sure you guys are doing good? I've been having some uh, interesting conversations for the last, like, hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> do you think that, like, men like that have an effect on, like, our personal emotions, though? No, might make okay. it interesting for you. I've been having a good laugh, so it makes my night better. Just exactly. Watch you, you know, Malik, I love those uh, totally non-basic LED lights in the back. Thank you so much. I got my... Uh, love the sarcasm. 
I got my basic little stickers in the back mm -hmm. for decoration. What's your tattoo of? This one right here? Yep. It's, uh, it's two snakes. It's a white one and a black Gosh. one. Oh no, she don't like. Why this. does so many guys have fucking snake tattoos? That's hey, like I the biggest red it, flag to me. Hey Malik, I got meaning for it. I Why? didn't get it because it was cool. I got it because I believe in uh, yin and yang, balance in life. And so that's snakes how I like to live my life. is the best way to represent the balance in life. What do snakes do, Malik? What do snakes do? They, they have shed venom. Skin. They sh they shed. So skin, you're a right? fake person, and like you're gonna take off this no. friend later. No, it's you're gonna that's shed like, your bad skin. It's called being reborn, and you shed that skin. So I, I personally reborn. don't need to be reborn because I'm already a good person. Oh, you're perfect. Um, I don't know about you though. No, I didn't say perfect. I said a good person. Oh, a good person. Yeah, I don't need to be reborn. I mean, I think people, you know, through life need to grow and change, and to be. So you've done people. shit in your life that you're not proud of. Of course. And you want to shed off the past, which is your snake skin. I don't <laughs> regret it though. Every, you don't regret the sh bad shit you've done. You think it was good that you did how bad, bad, do you think, bad How bad do you think I've been? I don't know. I mean, you're wearing a white beater with two bad. snake tattoos and some fucking <laughs> stickers on your white wall with not a single fucking picture on your wall. You don't like the stickers? I no. like the stickers. They, they look, look like holidays. my seven-year-old little sister put them up for you. <laughs> I feel like you're dissing your seven-year-old little sister. I feel like she did a pretty good no, job. No, she, she, she does amazing. I don't know why you dissing family like that. I would never diss my family. I'm saying that you're an adult, oh, and I would good. expect you to do better than a I'm child. I'm confused. Did she do good or did she do bad? I'm confused. She here. did good for a did seven year Did she do good? Or did she do bad? She she didn't. She was never in your home. That's stop. That's weird. You know what? I think she did amazing for just in general. I I, I actually I think she did. Should have done your talking about that. my little sister like that. Oh, you're uncomfortable. You brought yes, her up. Yes, I so am. I'm not sure. Yeah, I did bring oh, her up. I didn't give problem. you consent to talk about her. Oh, you didn't give me consent. Okay. No, I didn't. Personally, I need consent, so I just want to put that out there. I'm not. Oh, about, at least at, at least bad. we got that out of the way. The bare minimum. Yeah, I'm not that. I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad. <sighs> Jaden, Jaden, Jaden. Uh, you know what? You can call me Jaden. Depends. I I I go with Jaden. Some people call me Jaden. It's up to you. Whatever rolls off the tongue. Got JJ too. JJ, I don't like that one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna laugh about the you're wearing a wife beater and have snake tattoos comment for the you rest. Know what? That's it is yeah. pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie, but it, it's it late at funny. night. I'm ready for bed, so the wife beater I feel fits. That's what you wear to bed. Pretty much. Actually, I'm just kidding. I actually sleep in my underwear. So. What kind okay, of so... But boxers or briefs kind of guy. Um, I'm a briefs kind of guy. I got my champion on ones right now. Briefs. Okay. Yeah. You know, keep it real simple. Sometimes when I get a little excited, put the G string on, you know, and that's the only one I'm feeling like it. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. Hammock. What's that? The banana hammock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only one it's like that kind of night. I don't know. Malik, any comment on that or no. you okay? No, I don't think you need my I feel like that there. was like some content there. I don't know. No, I guess not. All right. Uh, tell me something interesting about, uh, see, Ashley, tell me something interesting about yourself. I hate that question. Um, I'm sure you got a lot going on. Something interesting about myself. I go on YouTube at 11 o'clock at night and speed date guys and wife beaters with snake tattoos. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. You know what? Um, that is pretty interesting. It really I'm not is. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Is that a um, is that a plushie? Yes. What is it? What animal? It's a bear. You know what? Actually, I don't have a plushie, but um, don't look at my ass, Malik. But uh, I got a monkey. Oh, I love it. What's his name? You know what? I don't have a name. Let's come up with a name. George. That was really smart. I'm not going to lie. Thanks. George. All right. We'll go with George then. I like it. What's his shirt say? Hugs. He loves hugs. <laughs> Give him some hugs. 
just like this. Mm, this is great. This is great. Yeah, we both got our plushies and everything. All right. So, Ashley, would you go on with day with J Dawn? You know, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Would it be a romantic or platonic date? Right now, platonic. Okay. The, the monkey and the briefs, kind of. Mal, how about yourself? Alex, I'll let you answer that one for me. What do, what do you think I'm going to say? Hard yes. Malik is involved. We Jada <laughs> has broken through to find the soft little girl who's just looking for love. Good job, Jada. You've, you've done it, buddy. Awesome. Uh, uh, Black Pill took a little bit of an L tonight. That's okay. Uh, okay, Jada, I'll start off with a positive. You have a very uh, calm demeanor uh, mm -hmm. and a very soothing voice. And you don't get riled easily. And that that's actually – those are pretty big things. So you're able to talk in a very calm, collected, grounded type of way. You don't really get riled. So all, all those are good. So you're starting pretty good. You know, you're a pretty decent-looking dude. You got a decent mic setup. So you got a lot of things going for you. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the snake tabs, but, you're okay, without a side, I think you're – you got a pretty good starting point. I think – I think you're, the biggest thing is you got to get a little bit better about dealing with shit tests, which I think is something you're probably new to and you haven't really experienced. I think you did a decent job at it intuitively, but I think if you could watch some like videos on shit tests, I have a lot in this channel. I'm sure Marcus has a lot on his channel. Uh, that would probably help you a good amount. That's really like the one area where you just kind of struggled. And yeah. that, that, that was, so that's kind of my observation. What do you, what do you think, Marcus? Yeah, overall, yeah, calm demeanor. You seem grounded. Uh, there's a couple of things I want to give you feedback on, right? So number one is you've got two girls here. So you can start thinking about using your attention as a bit of a currency. So when Malik is testing you out, giving you a bunch of shit, you could simply just fucking ignore her, right? Just ask Ashley a question. Tell Ashley, look, you look amazing. I love your plushie. It's a sick teddy, mm -hmm. like whatever it is. Do what you did more at the end. Give her okay. all the attention. Just focus on Ashley. And then Malik's going to be sitting there like, fuck. Like, oh, this guy's okay, going to be yeah. talking to me. <laughs> then you can be like, Malik, do you have a teddy bear? And now she's going to have to be a little bit nice. Because if she's not, guess what's going to happen? I'm gonna you're just going to okay. fucking ignore her, right? And you're going to speak to <laughs> Ashley and be nice to Ashley. So yeah. you can use the attention a little bit there. And then um, my last point is just be careful about perception. Right, because you you are sitting there cuddling a teddy bear, which is cute. It's super nice. Like some girls are gonna be like, "Oh, that's so sweet," but you need the polarizing end of that, right? So you need to be a bit of a badass, a bit dominant, and then show that side. So it, it is good to show that side, but you you want to make sure that you have the I'm a guy that fucks a lot of girls perception first before yeah. you introduce the cuddling of the teddy bear. But overall, man, I I liked it. You got a very calm demeanor. It's a good foundation. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. I was just going to say about Alex talking about the shit test was um, I'm like fresh out of a relationship. Oh. So I'm like, I'm so in that zone of like, that was the only person that I was talking to. And so then when I'm out of it and I'm talking to new girls and then they're giving me shit, I'm just responding to it how either I would respond to it in a relationship or it's like, doesn't really matter because I'm in a relationship. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's like you're going from like Switzerland to Afghanistan, right? Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Shit. A little Where bit. Yeah. Fuck am I? There's like fucking shots being fired. There's like little <laughs> fucking children running around. There's like fucking yeah. animals everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, man. I think uh, I think I think you got a lot of potential. So if you uh, if you practice and you uh, uh, kind of learn some of that stuff, I think you could be you could really crush it. Awesome, man. Yeah. Thank you. All right, buddy. Take care. All right. See you. Cool. All right. Let's bring on one last dude. So, hi guys, can you hear me? Yeah. What are How we? How you guys uh, doing tonight? What are we doing today? Oh, uh, I was thinking we could go with both of them. Okay. Uh, I will take everyone what, else. Off. What? What was that elongated? Okay for Alex? Nah, man. You do your thing, buddy. Okay. Let's go. Hi, ladies. How you doing? Great. Great. How are you? You guys just said the same thing. Your minds are <laughs> like connected after last night. I watched that stream <laughs> and I heard that fanfic that you were reading, Malik. That was really funny stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Ashley, what did you think about that? I had a good time. I, I'm glad I got to know Malik. She's a cool chick. She is a cool chick, you think so? Yeah. Where would you rate her on a scale of like one to 10? 72. That's way over yeah. 10. It is. I graduated with a degree in calculus, so I think I would know when it goes over 10. Can you stay within the confines? <sighs> Wait, are, were you seriously asking me that? Yes. Uh, Indubitably yeah. so. I, I know, I know um, my numbers. You said 72, though. Can you stay within 10? I can. Just for honesty's sake. I can, but I'm not going to. All right, Malik04, how are you? I already answered. I'm, I'm doing pretty good, but since you asked again, I'm oh, actually thought, a little annoyed. I thought, I thought maybe uh, you have a different word this time. No, yeah, I do. I guess, I don't know, annoyed. You didn't learn anything from that vocab usage from... Uh, that Mr. Bowman guy yesterday? No. You didn't learn anything I don't. From I that? don't learn anything from Wattpad. Wattpad? What's Wattpad? That's um, right, he wrote it I thought it you on. were watching the stream. Yeah. I'm just unfamiliar with that. I like to use Microsoft Paint for my writings. They're like little child's drawings, you know? I tend to scribble sometimes. Do you guys like drawing? No. I do. Malik, you hesitated. Mm -hmm, because I thought about it, and then I remembered <laughs> most people draw with, like, colors, and I don't like colorful things. I like everything just dark and black. And people typically don't color with, like, Sharpies because that would make you high from, like, the fumes <laughs> if you color too long. So, like, I actually don't like it. Did that happen personally? Mm -hmm. I tried coloring with Sharpies one time. And I got a headache from the smell of the Sharpie. What were you trying to draw? A black hole? Um, no, a BBC, How long were you actually. using that thing? A what? You heard me. I actually didn't. Well, that sounds like a you problem. It was It was a black hole then. Okay, cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Ashley, what, yep. do you, what did you draw? What do you like to draw? Mm -hmm. I, I like to draw people, actually. What kind of people? Like, what what kind of setting are they in in your drawings? Uh, usually, I just it's a photograph of someone, and then I draw it with pencils. I like I'm I'm with you on that one, Malik. I don't do colors a whole lot. Yeah. So you're like a you're like a sketcher. You're a sketcher. I think he's. Why well, I like to wear sketcher. I like to wear sketchers sometimes, but oh, I mean. Shit. <laughs> you, you that see them, at they at least up. surprises me. Which part? The sketches part? Oh my god. No. Sorry, earwax. I didn't hear yeah. you last time. I didn't hear you this time. Do you like shove Q-tips in your ears or some shit? Yeah, isn't that how you clean ears? Yeah, of course it is. Everyone knows that on the box it clearly says the use for Q-tips. That's what my mom does. I, I learned from the best. I thought women I thought women knew best. That's a no, pretty that stuff. You should you should Pretty sweet haircut you've got going on there. Thank you. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Do you cut hair? Nope. I have, though. I have before. What if someone paid you $100? What if What if you charge $100 to, to give a haircut to someone and you've never given a haircut to them before? You have no, you have no repertoire. What do you think about that? I think that would be, that would be pretty shitty. Me too. All right. Um, I just have to say one thing. What happened to you, bro? I remember oh. when you what happened. What happened to me? I remember when you first started coming on this channel. You were this like Chad in training, and now you got you got that haircut. Who, who are you talking about? Started working with Coach Whitehill. I think I think you got the wrong guy. Is this is this where Coach Whitehill gets you? Hang on, hang on. Let me see a little bit better. I think you got the wrong guy. Uh huh. So what's, what's Can you just give me my criticism, Alex? I didn't I didn't come on to get shit on by you, okay? I want some help with these ladies, please. <sighs> Marcus, I'll let you handle this one. I just I I I, I, I don't oh, have any words. 
Th- this comment explains exactly how I feel. Who, who's the <laughs> CWP guy? I've never heard him before. Oh, God. I would have liked more nerdy speak, actually. If I'm going to be critical, um, there wasn't enough. There wasn't enough. <laughs> what do you think yeah. I could have done better? What? what could, I, I, thought thought being, I, thought, I thought being you nerdy on dates was bad. No, you could have yeah, been a bit more nerdy. You didn't realize you just ended Coach career, right? It's, uh... <laughs> I still don't know who that is, Alex. I don't think you know who I am. But Marcus, continue. I like this. Yeah, I think if you threw in some algebra, uh, that could have been okay. helpful. Like um, the quadratic equation. Mentioned... Like... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Like you're, you're living in your van, but I don't think you really mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. But you didn't tell the girls yeah. you're living in your van, right? So I would have gone with that. Maybe you haven't shouted in a week. So these are some little tips that maybe will help. Next well, it was it was so, two weeks. Like it was two, two weeks. Okay. Sorry. But, yeah. This is um, three. Just for the record. Three what? Oh, boy. Anyway, thank you, Hugh. Uh, Again, guys, this is what uh, Coach Whitefield uh, training does. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) I still don't know who that Hugh guy is. I'm just the guy that's living in his van. I look forward to those those, uh, infield videos I was supposed to get uh, at some point. But, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Um, I'm actually friends with that Hugh guy. He said he went on vacation, so he's gonna get those to you as soon as possible. He forgot. Okay. All right. Yeah, sorry about that. He'll uh, be, he'll be back to regular programming next week. Okay. All right, buddy. Um, I wish you the best. And may Jesus be with you. And uh, yeah, salam alaikum. All right. Oh my God, so, Alex, you'd have at least one good dude for me to date tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm actually so disappointed. Like, can I just like I don't know what, at this point? This, you can do one. I had one. Uh, yeah, this, I this is. I don't know what happened to Hugh. He used to be so good. I feel like he's just been going like down and downhill ever since he started working <laughs> with Coach Whitehill. Alex, is, this, you've repeated that joke five times now. Well, it's not a joke. It's I'm the dead truth. Serious. No, he's yeah. actually he's very concerned. I'm not trying concerned. to be funny. Yeah. I'm like actually yeah. being serious. Like, yeah, what the listen, fuck we, we need to have intervention. Alex, next time you get him on, let's have a chat to him. Okay, this oh, is this fucked up. Sure. All right, let's bring on uh, Nor. Well, Malik hasn't that. had one good guy. He said that oh, I the- did. I, there was like that pet guy. I guess I had one good date. Okay, well, there you go. Okay, Nor yeah, told me backstage that he can crush it. Let's go. <laughs> Nor. Uh, can feedback. you guys hear me? Yeah, but there's feedback. Um, really? Um, are we still are we good now? Let me see. Uh, yeah, you're good now. Okay. Um, hey ladies, how are you guys doing today? You guys seem to be right. having a wonderful night, right? All right. I hope you're gonna crush it, man. Hey. I'm take me. They've been asking for the best, so I came in last. Okay. Last is the best, right, ladies? So I've been told. True. So how you guys been doing tonight? Good night. Yep. Mm-hmm. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, huh? I'm guessing Alex Ashley's having a better night. What's the occasion with um I see you all suited up today? All nice and pretty and all. What's the occasion, Alex? Ashley? Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I really I couldn't understand you at first. Um oh. you know. <laughs> Um, I was asking you what was the occasion. I see that you are all suited up. Uh, yeah, you know? for uh, thank you for looking prepared, you know. I appreciate it. Kim looking all soggy for you too. Well, yeah, you look nice. Can I ask you a question? Thank you. Oh, go ahead, my lady. Are you insecure about where you live that you feel the need to put a fake background of like a big home behind you? Oh, no, no, no. It's just that like, the way no, I have a tip for you, actually. If you're going to use a fake background, like you have a lot of like yellow lighting in your background, like at least have like a yellow lamp in front of you so it looks a little more real. Thank you. I'll take note of that. Next time I'll try not to talk to myself too much, you know. Okay. With the yellow lighting. Mm-hmm. What about you? Are you really proud of where you live? I'm curious about that. Um, I, I'm i not not proud of where I live, but I'm definitely moving because I live in the middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere? Where are you coming to, Florida? I used to live in Florida. I may go back. I don't know. Come back. We're going to miss you. We'll be a nice time. I can show you around a little you bit. You miss me? Know? I've never met you in my life. I didn't say we missed And I, I would hope I that I didn't I because I left Florida when I was a child. I didn't say I miss you. I said we. I was in Florida. I miss you. We would love to have a pretty girl like you here, you know? 
We can have all the good ones going on. Ashley's away. already in Florida. I am. Oh, you are? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, man. I would love to ask where to see if we can, you know, do anything crazy, but I ain't trying to duck you today, huh? Thanks. You're welcome. Let me ask you this, though. Are you a little bit adventurous? Who? You, Ashley. Am I adventurous? Yes, I'm curious. Seems like, yeah. the, you know, that already knows what he wants in life, you know? What? You seem like the type who already knows what she wants in life, you know? Somebody who's, you know, a little experienced, seasoned. Yes, yeah, seasoned. Something I could, <laughs> something I like, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm adventurous. Yeah, I'm always open to new experiences, going to new places, meeting new people. Definitely. Really, really. By you. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. We can always meet everything we want to know, you know? What about you, Malik? Oh, to living Sorry, life? what was the question? I wasn't listening. I was asking if you're up to living life, but I guess you're not that interested, huh? No. Really? That's cool, though. That's cool. Well, like, dude, I'm going to be honest. Like, I, I gave you, like, high expectations. Like, you came in saying you're going to crush it. And then, like, I don't know where the crushing is. Like, your your tone is so low and timid. And, like, there's no dominance in the conversation. You can't entertain both of us at once. You're having to single me out and then single Ashley out. Your lighting is shit, quite frankly. Your background is fake. I don't even know what your hair looks like because you're wearing a hat. And you're sitting down with a backpack. Like, I'm just confused. I'm kind of tired of all the same questions over and over and over and over and over. No offense, Nor, but I mean, it, it really, I feel kind of exhausted at this point. Like, literally, like, every person has been like, how are you doing tonight? What What about you? What are you into? It's like, it would just be interesting to have somebody come on and do something, maybe. Okay, then better question. Um, do you like being smack and choke and having your head step on? Do you I can't like just go from, you, no, 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 hold on. I'm going to interrupt you. You can't just go from us to giving you feedback to, oh, can I choke you out and step on your face? You can't I never said that. I was gonna do it. No, but I like you, you can't just like 180 the conversation because that's gonna not only turn us off, but it's gonna actually disgust us. Well, better than you talking about something I cannot fix right now. I cannot fix my light. Um, okay, so that's fine. So, t- how about you work on what you can fix, not what you can't fix? Like maybe the tone, maybe maybe the the vibe in the conversation, maybe the questions you're asking. Something to look into. Kind of- to talk about stepping on my head. Sorry, I was being a little crude right there. Yeah. All right. Uh, that probably was a little harder than you thought it was going to be, huh? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, but yeah, you know, it's your first time. You know, props for trying. Um, I do think that you guys set yourself up for success. So part of that is not having a fake background or having a backpack on. I do think that you did kind of set yourself up for some of those uh, uh, jabs that Malik took at you. What, what is the deal with the fake background? Like, why, why did you do that? Um, kind of the location I'm at right now is kind of, you know, extremely messy. I think it's anything, whatever your location is, is still going to be better than the fake background without a green screen. I'm assuming you don't have a green screen. Oh, uh, no. Ultra, this ultra- was improv. Yeah. I just really like action. I was like, you know what? I could give it a shot. I like older women. Yeah, no, but I would just say that I would have, uh, I would use a real uh, background. And also, why are you wearing a backpack? Um, I broke my leg so I can't carry a lot of things. So, and I was going to be going out and I usually have the backpack to carry all my stuff. Oh, okay. It's, not a, yeah, it's, not just, like, it's more like a fainty thingy. You could have okay. told us that and like we would have. Yeah, that would have been a good conversation. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about my motorcycle accident like that. Yo, that's your shit up. That's way better than whatever the fuck you guys were discussing. <laughs> First of all, motorcycle accident sounds pretty badass. It does. Even, I'm not yeah, curious. Yeah, it like, does, but that's not what I'm thinking about trying to go to with two girls that I met. You know. I mean, do you think what you guys were discussing, which is Malik just like fucking coming at you for five minutes, was better or worse than talking about your motorcycle accident? <laughs> You know, I was expecting a lot of, I was expecting to get some shit, but the level of shit that I got was way, way higher than what I'm usually yeah, dealing yeah. with. Yeah, At that point, you. I probably would have left. Yeah, I, I, feel you. I, I, feel, I feel you on that, man. Yeah, Malik is uh, quite spicy. Um, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I think, I do think you guys set yourself up for success and uh, don't use a green screen. 
Uh, don't wear a backpack. Take the backpack off. Take the hat off. You know, while you're doing the speed date, like just make yourself more presentable. Yeah, there we go. That's, better. that's the reason, though. Like my head, my hair is short right now. Yeah, like, but dude, short. every single girl knows that when a guy wears short. a hat, that means that he it has hair loss, right? Like, you're, trust oh, me, no, you're my hair is great. Oh, okay. Well, trust me, you're not tricking girls by putting on a hat and like, oh, like this guy must have a full head of hair. He's just wearing a hat for aesthetic reasons. So yeah, that's that's my feedback. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, what about you, um, Marcus? I'm curious. Yeah, bro. Um, got a couple of things here. I, I agree with Ashley. Ashley had some good feedback during the date where she said people are asking the same questions, right? So you need to. I'm getting some. I'm getting some feedback, but you need to essentially ask. You need to essentially ask a question that's going to be exciting. So you can ask a boring question in an exciting way. Right, like someone said, okay, tell me guys, how was your night going from one to 10? So it's a little bit more interesting, but be careful with these questions, which are just so broad and difficult to answer. So tell me about yourself. It's such a fucking lazy ass question. Like you, if you're a little bit more specific, the girls aren't gonna be so annoyed answering it. And then my last point is be careful. This isn't a typical situation you're gonna face with you know, two girls giving you a little bit of shit. I think it's the, the you're one of the last guys who so you're copying it, but try not get so reactive or confrontational. It, it, you know, when she said, uh, you know, you worried about where you live, the first thing you said is, what, you worried about where you live? Like, you, you're not proud of that? And it sounded just a bit butthurt. It wasn't playful. It wasn't like, what are you talking about? You live in the most boring place in the world. You say it on every stream. It wasn't playful in that sense. It was kind of a bit butthurt. But yeah, that's kind of my feedback. Um, you by the way, I'm not on the phone. I wasn't sure how to... You could also just like play into it. You could be like, "What are you talking about? Look, I have this beautiful piano behind me. Clearly, exactly. I live in a fucking castle. What the fuck are you talking about, up. Alec? You could also. There's yeah. two ways you can handle a shit test: is you can you can flip it on the girl, or you can like playfully exaggerate it, right? So either one of those would have been fun. Um, but yeah, does anyone else? People in the chat are saying you look like Long Beach Griffey, and I kind of agree with that. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you've heard that like five million times. Judging by your reaction, so, uh, I've heard more of the basketball guy because I had long hair before. Oh. Uh, okay. Does anyone have anything else to add? Um. Also, before I do leave, um, actually, um, on the stepping thing and the kinky thing, I said, um, kind of reactionary thing. I just said when you said that, and just popped in my mind. My apologies. If yeah, you, like, it was it was butter, right? I'm not you're like, just like no, it was you were like fuck you guys. You want an interesting question? Well, how about I have water? You want to be choked, right? It was you knew you weren't going to get a good reaction. You knew they weren't going to be like, oh yes, thank you for talking about this. This is what I love. Like, I mean, it was a little bit butter too, but that would have been okay if there was a better transition. <laughs> yeah, the transition was, was really fucking rough. It's like, hey, Ashley, so your grandma passed away. That's rough, yeah. So anyway, you want me to uh, fucking take a big <laughs> shit on your chest and fucking defecate all over your face? Like, it's just like that level of crazy transition. It's That's like hilarious. a complete 180. Yeah. Uh, Thank but yeah, you. Dude. Apologizing, though. You, you seem like a really, really sweet person. Thank you. 100%. Yeah, yeah man. Just next time, change your name to Long Beach Griffey. You can get some status before you come on. Facts. I'll definitely do that. Thank you, guys. I would take her. You know what else people in the chat were saying? I was laughing at this. They're saying this is a fresh, fresh Prince CEO's dad. <laughs> <laughs> kind of does look like him a little bit. Oh my god. Uh okay, that was fun. Marcus, do you want to do a demonstration of what like you would do in a situation with two girls or one is being a brat or if you're feeling it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, cool. I think we should end it off on like a positive note with like showing good game. All right, I'll take myself off. All right, what's up, guys? What's up? How are you doing? <laughs> this is so hard. It's like, okay, artificially be a brat to me, even though we kind of know each other, but we'll give it a go. So, uh, all right, Malik, my first question's for you. Are you ready? All right. Before, when you were on with Mr. Slave, I threw a comment in there that you were a little bit inexperienced, but you disagreed. Inexperienced in what way? In conversation? Sexually. No, sexually. You're very, come on. We weren't. It's a conversation. It's your job. I meant sexually. I said in this like dom well, What do you mean when you say the word experienced? You, you don't like know just because I have a low means. body count doesn't mean I'm inexperienced. Okay. What do you mean by that? Like I was in a relationship for over a year. I meant with kink though. Are you experienced with kink? With kinks? 
Yeah. It depends what we're talking. Like, um, yeah, I mean, I, so I don't really about, understand the nature of that question. That's my point, though. That's my no, point. No, like, like, it's not bad. It's okay. Like, you're, it's you're, okay you're, you're, you're projecting and assuming that my relationship hmm. with my ex was vanilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I haven't shared any of that. No, it's what I can read from you. But if I'm wrong, you can let me know okay. if I'm being wrong. No, no. Yeah. I mean, you can keep assuming, like, if that's your thing. So it's right. Yeah. No, it's actually very wrong. Okay, then tell me. I what don't want to share like? that. No, I'm, I'm not going to talk about okay. that. All right. No, it's fine. It's Listen, it's hard to, I guess, come on a stream and get someone to say, like, hey, you seem inexperienced. And then to be like, absolutely, I am. You're right. I don't think there's anything wrong with being No, and, and I agree with you. I agree with you on right? that. But yeah. I'm I'm just saying I'm not. So I I okay. I feel like when a lot of guys say experience, they mean high body mm. count, and everyone no, does have a low body no, count. No. But because low body can, count listen. doesn't is not equivalent to like inexperience. Yeah, sorry, Asha, I'll get you in on this in a second. But what I mean, because you can have guys there. There are some guys I know that are being with a fucking hundred girls, and they have no idea what they're doing right? Completely inexperienced. Now there is a slight correlation, right? Because you will have some girls, as you mentioned, that have been with like three guys, but one of those guys was in the BDSM scene, introduced her to it. She's completely wild, experienced everything. But my question to you then, if you're, if you're happy sharing, right, is what is your experience like? Well, what do you like in the bedroom? Is it just around, okay, I like to be dominated. I like to get choked a little bit. I like to be slapped. Or are you going to sex parties? Are you sharing? Are you having threesomes? Are you getting tied up and spanked? Like, what what level are you at at the moment? Is what I'm wondering. Wait, are you asking Ashley or myself? I'm asking you, Malik. Don't avoid the question. No, I'm not going to sex parties and having threesomes. Like, okay. huh? Like, I I All got right, so, so thrown off by that question. Because that's what I would consider experienced, right? Okay. But what what do you consider experience then? I consider experience knowing what you're doing in the bedroom. Like And what do you know how to do? Not like Why why are we continuing on this sexual path? No, look, we don't have to, we don't have to talk about it. I'm just curious, we're clearly right? No, not I brought it up. On it, so I don't know why I, we keep listen, like digging no, the hole you deeper. Don't, you don't have to you don't have to talk about it. It's just I brought it up before and you were like Marcus I'm not inexperienced. Da, 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 da. So I was like, okay, let's let's explore that a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, but I don't know but how don't... bringing up experience, whether high or low, was relevant to the conversation I had with Mister Slave. Like he asked because me to bully him, and I did. Like that was the no, conversation. I faced value. Can I be honest? Can I be honest with you, Malik? Yeah. Yeah, you did a really good job with that. Thank you. I know I did. Yeah, it was impressive. Yeah. Yeah, you know how to. Uh, how do I say it? You know how to go for the jugular, right? Like, you don't fuck around. I don't. Yeah, you're very confident. Obviously. Yeah, obviously. No, it's nice. It is. It is. So you got, like, nothing else to talk about other than, like, sex and king speeds. I don't want to I was waiting for you to ask a fucking question, to be honest. But, like, you're was, here to date what, me. If I want to... Okay, Marcus, honestly, yeah, let's, let's flip me, it. Mark. Let's pretend that, like, I'm here yeah. to date you, not the vice versa. Okay. Yeah, and we and we here to date each other. Isn't that how it works? Well, like, no, I thought you were here to date me. Like, oh, okay. Like you hadn't, right. you haven't, you hadn't gotten me interested. So like, I was just like waiting for you to like get me interested, and you didn't. You so weren't interested. I'm just gonna, Malik. I'm just gonna pretend hypothetically I'm so interested in you and want to date you. All right, tell me. So, Marcus, what are you like mm. doing for fun? Yeah, tell me how how interested are you? you very interested. Is that, yeah, is that I actually here? think your voice is like really attractive. And uh, one perfect. of the things that turns me on the most is like a deep, like masculine voice. Okay. All right. Perfect. What What else? Is it just my voice? Is that all you're attracted no, to? No, I think you or have very good else? facial structure. You seem very okay. experienced, both in okay. conversation okay. and in the bedroom. And yeah. um, you seem like a very interesting and masculine man that I would like to perfect. get to know more. All right. This is great. See, let's start over. Okay. I think we start off on the wrong foot. We already okay, started over when I said we right, did. So, so what's I your like question? I like your smile too. Thank you so much. You have a good smile yeah. too, Malik. Thank you. All right. Like your smile is like contagious. Thank you so much. So I Malik, genuinely mean that. Your, I genuinely mean it too. Thank yeah, you. you. Have a great smile. <laughs> 
Yeah. What's uh, what's your question? I asked you, what do you like doing for fun? Ah, okay. So there's a few things. Okay. There's a few things. Number one in the world, and I think I've answered this before on stream actually, but number one is diving. You put me out in the ocean and let me dive. That is my fucking, that's my heaven right there. It's so peaceful, oh, relaxing. Shit. It's chill. That's number one. Right? Are you good at number swimming? Number two? Yeah, yeah. I used to be a swimmer back in the day, but now, now I'm probably shit. Number two, techno, right? Are you into, you look like you're someone into techno music, no? I am, I All am. Right. All right, fuck yeah. So put me in a techno party, maybe with some uh, maybe with some acid or something on top of that. Then the best. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Don't I don't judge. know about the acid part, but that's something. Don't, hey, don't, shh, don't judge. Don't judge. Trust me, it's the best. I'm not judging, then, but like, right, I ain't going there. Good. I ain't going there. No, you don't have to. You don't have to. And then number three is, is rope. So shibari, which is like Japanese rope bondage, that's also a place. Like when I'm with a girl and I'm tying her, Time me she up, daddy. Gets, exactly. Oh, mm -hmm. See, you are a good little girl, right? Yeah. So I am. if, if I you're tiny girl, girl for you. oh, there you go. See, it's so sweet. Mm -hmm. But it, that is uh, that what is what turns me on the most. When I have a girl that's able to like surrender and let go, that's where I'm at. So then my yeah, look at you. Have you been tied up before? Yeah, I have. Okay, you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. All right, that's perfect. All right, so now my question, Ashley's asleep. So now my question back to you, Malik. What do you like to do for fun? What do I like to do for fun? Honestly, working out is like so much fun for me. I like staying fit. Like, and I, okay. like a lot of people are like, that's an odd hobby. Like people usually hate it, but like I genuinely like love doing calisthenics and like hand balancing and like core workouts and all that. Thank you. So you do have a good body. If uh, I do. All right. It's good to know. Do you work out is your it? booty? Or good is to it... know for what? Good to know for what, Marcus? Good to know for me, Malik. Good to know for me. I, I like good bodies. Do you have I'm a good body? Uh, I'll let you be the judge of that, maybe. I would consider my body to be good. Yeah. Okay. But I'm not a, I'm not a looks max black pill 10 out of 10 shad, if that's what you're So asking. when would you let me judge yeah. your body? When will we see each other? I don't know. Mm. You'll have to tell me. When do I you think? You. Well, listen, I'm I'm in Australia. So unless you're willing to catch a flight, it's not going to happen. So you're going to have to wait. I'm going to have to fly to you. I thought you're the dominant no, one. No, I said, listen, Malik. You should I come said, to me and like to show wait. me how much of a man you are. Yeah, but you're going to And then like, take me back to Australia with you. We'll see. We'll see. But you, ha you have to wait. Are you patient? I'm very patient for you. Oh, good girl. All right. That's amazing. Well, then you can wait till later on this year when I come visit America. I'll come say hi, and then you can check on my body then and tell me what you think. Yeah, sounds good. All right. I might bring some rope with me, though, just in case, you know. Well done, sir. I enjoyed that. Uh, that was the uh, fakest I've ever been on this channel. Oh, no, okay. shut the fuck up, Mallory. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Although, I do wonder why you didn't uh, talk to Ashley. That's, that's what I was thinking. I'm sorry. Ashley fell asleep. I was, you're I was your, your your it, poor Ashley, Marcus. Come on now. Yeah, I do. I'm an well, asshole, Ashley. I'm so sorry. Like, you know, I'm so shit. sorry. I am an asshole. I, I, I'm an asshole. I'm so sorry. That's true. Oh, right, Malik, when you said that was the fakest I've ever been, what did you sorry. mean? Expand on that. Well, like, like real and myself and then like he just wasn't clicking so i was like okay because you guys went on a speed date in the be once before and it went completely differently so what was different this time what was different this time was that like he's if you go on a date with a girl and you start by i know you're inexperienced like elaborate or prove me wrong like what the fuck is that yeah, i had to oh sorry don't go I was gonna say, Matt, like, is that like a pain point for you? Is that like a like a trigger, no. like something that you don't like when people bring up? No, I think it's fine. I just think it's a bad way to start a date off. And if someone started a date off with that, I would respond how I did to Marcus. Uh huh. Okay. I mean, I personally didn't feel like it was bad. Like, I thought it was like it was like a playful, challenging type of way. Uh, you responded pretty aggressively to it, so I'm just curious why you responded like that. The only reason I can think of is that this is like 
it's like a sticking point of yours. It's something that annoys you when no. people bring it up. Like for me, it is like my hair. Like when someone comes on, it's like, hey, Alex, by the way, have you ever looked into like hair fucking transplants? I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ, here we go with this shit again. So I'm just wondering if that's like, no. if it's, it's not. Okay. There, there are a few things that like get to me and piss me off, but obviously I'm not going to share that on your channel because that's ammunition. <laughs> um, but I, I can say that's not one of them. Okay. I don't know what to think. What do you think, Marcus? Yeah, so th these are my thoughts, right? I came on, and I mean, you you wanted like, okay, how to handle Braddy. Me and Malik have already had a speed date, and we already got on pretty well. And yeah. I, I think we clicked that, and we had chemistry. So it, if I just came on and was like, hey, Malik, how you been? You know, that's great. Like, da-da-da. And we just chatted. Number one, I think it's not that entertaining, and it's not very – it's not going to explain anything which all the other guys face, all the other guys face shit. So I tried finding something that she'd get a little bit triggered with and maybe give me some shit on. And the only thing I had was during oh. the whole time I spoke, the whole time I spoke, the one thing she didn't like was when I said inexperienced. So I was like, all right, let's, let's go with that a little bit and then try to turn it around. Oh, and so I think to purposely provoke her. Yeah, I mean, okay. a little bit. I didn't think it was going to go that far. And then I was going to try with the, okay, let's start over. But she already did that, actually. Like, she kind of stole my line with the, okay, Marcus, this isn't, we're not clicking on this, let's start over, which is actually a really good technique that I think anyone can use. And and then the energy changes, right? And she even threw in a compliment, like, hey, I like your smile. And so, yeah, I think it was actually well done. Yeah, because her, I flipped honest, it from you failing at dating yeah. me to I'm going to try dating <laughs> you now and succeed. Like, I missed you. I missed you. This is great. Uh, but yeah, 100%. Okay, Malik, when you said that, do you think you could have done anything better dealing with the yeah. cloudiness? Like, what do you think you could have done differently or better? At the second or first half of the date? The first, the first half. The first half, I wasn't trying to date him. He was trying to date me. Right, but what what do you think he could have done better to, or if, is there anything he could have done differently or better? I think once I made it clear that I wasn't vibing with the combo, he should have immediately dropped and switched topic. Okay. But uh -huh. his goal was to try to, to try to provoke me, so I guess he succeeded. I don't know. But in terms of dealing with your shit? There was no sh I didn't have the opportunity to give him a shit test. And he didn't have the opportunity to fail because he didn't give himself well, that. You didn't necessarily give a shit test, Malik, but we, we got confrontational, let's call it. Yeah, got right? we, so did, we, we did. We were having a conversation that was challenging you a little it bit, was. let's say. And so you were not necessarily having a traditional shit test where you're used to, where you're like, Marcus, what the fuck's with your background? Why are you doing this? Why are you, why are you wearing your pajamas on stream? Or, but you were saying, what, what the fuck? What do you think experience is? Just because I haven't been with over 50 guys. Yeah, and you did answer that well. You did answer that so well. So you, you were still giving um, attitude, I call it, right? You gave a lot of attitude. Right. And then it kind of switched halfway through. But there was definitely um, maybe not a traditional shit test as you, as you think about it, but definitely attitude. So, yeah, so the question is, what do you think? Like, do you think is there anything he could have done better or differently to deal with the attitude? Because the, the whole point of what Marcus was trying to do, which, he, yeah, like that's kind of what I was hinting at is like, okay, let's provoke like some shit. Let's provoke some attitude and then show guys how to deal with it. So my question to you is, did he deal with it optimally or is there a better way he could have dealt with it? I, I don't think he dealt with it optimally because uh, like Marcus said, I was the one who changed the topic. Like he should have beat me to that, uh, first of all. And... I don't know, like when when you ask a girl a question and she's clearly not vibing with it, like just end that combo as soon as possible and move on. Like you don't keep pressing something that a girl doesn't want to talk about. Yeah, even in hindsight, I, I didn't mind that I did that, in all honesty. Yeah, and that's right? fine. I didn't mind. But as, I'm as just saying if you're trying, if you're you're trying to get a second date. Yeah. yeah, as long as you're turning it around. I think uh, uh, you're right, uh, by the way. Like I think it falls a bit quicker with that, okay, let's start over as opposed to you doing it. But if you noticed, I also changed my attitude there. I was like, oh, that's amazing. Hey, I, I, you know, I missed you. Hey, you have a nice smile as well. All right, what do you want to talk about? What should we do? So, and I think even though you yeah, want to be a bit sarcastic well, about yeah. it, there was, yeah, the, there was a change of energy though. Yeah, 100%. Like you did well after, after that. the best date I've ever been on. Sorry, Ashley, I'm an asshole. We know I'm an asshole. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think a lot. I think a lot. I just you weren't gonna give a shit, Ashley. I think a lot of you guys in the chat are reading way too much into this. 
this was like a fun, ta- fun spontaneous little demonstration to show how show. you would deal with a girl giving a guy shit. And like, again, you guys are going to say I'm coping or whatever, but like Marcus is not like, I mean, I like Marcus, but he's not like some like deep friend of mine. I'm not like, I legitimately thought that like not getting reactive, staying calm, like not really like getting riled up, but at the same time, not backing down. Like he did a pretty decent job of it. Should he have changed the topic earlier? Yeah, probably. Sure. If that was his goal. But I think his whole what he was trying to do is provoke her as much as possible to give you guys the demonstration. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Take it Alex, in. we have to go on a speed date one day. You and I? <laughs> mm-hmm. With someone else hosting. With someone else, like Mark is hosting or some shit. That is a great way to ensure you and I never work together again. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great way to just completely demolish our friendship once and for all. Is that what you want to do now? Once and for all. Are you saying we're already, like, clashing? No, I don't. I think I think uh, you know you're you're my boy as a girl, but uh, yeah, you're my I boy too. My little I don't boy. Know. Uh, boy. We could we could try. I don't mind trying it. I feel like that's going to be a recipe for disaster. <laughs> I feel like it. I, I, it think would, it would be, I think it would be a lot better if we if I did it with one of your friends. I, I mean, sure. Like we, yeah. I, honestly, I think that'd be fun. I'll get one of my girls. I, th- I think we're gonna butt heads like like crazy. Mm-hmm. But anyway. Um, all right, let's do. Uh, we're gonna do a after show. Uh, obviously, y'all are welcome to stay on. Marcus, you want to stay on? Malik, Ashley, yep. For a little bit, yeah. Honestly, before that date with Marcus, I would have said fuck no. Um, but honestly, I'm in a better mood now, so sure, I'll stick around. Oh, so Marcus cheered you up? There we go. No, I cheered myself up by talking. To oh, him. shut up, Malik. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you stayed around there. Um. <laughs> But come on, Malik, you got to admit, at least like my YouTube guys are a little less cringy than your, uh, your uh, whatever, what do they call Twitch guys? No? I mean, I've gone on an actual date with a couple people from Twitch, so uh, I don't know if I'd agree with that. It depends. I, I, I think some of your people, okay, the difference between Twitch viewers and YouTube viewers is YouTube viewers are people you'd like meet in Walmart. Twitch viewers are people... <laughs> you would never find existing in the real world. Like some, some are absolute gems and some are like, what the fuck is this even human type shit, you know? But like your people are just like regular dudes who go about their day are insecure, need, need a fucking dating coach, which is why they watch you. Not all of them. Some, some come on, um, who kind of troll around. Like they already know they got good game. They know they get girls and they try to just fuck around for the show for entertainment purposes. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, what, what the one time I went on your channel, what I saw was like half the guys were like fairly normal and half the guys were weird as fuck. Yeah, so, that's like, really, yeah. Like, like, half the guys were like normal dudes who I would like have a conversation with. And half the guys were people that would walk 20 miles away from where I saw them walking down the street. They're like mm-hmm. fucking neck beards, the fucking, I don't know, like living in their mom's basement Cheetos on their fucking stomach <laughs> fat type of dudes. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, time. you have some gems and you have some what the fucks. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wouldn't say gems. I would just say like normal people, like just normal dudes who are like, yeah, like whatever. They're fine. They're chill. Um, all right, cool. Let's bring some people on. Q2. Yeah. What's okay. so, up, buddy? Uh, all right, let's bring on your favorite Johnny K. Yo, what the I fuck is that? Johnny, actually. You said what? Funny. I get she, no said she, she said she missed you. Oh really? I almost went on with you, Malik. Damn. Aww. You're gonna I be you, Johnny. I love that. Uh, Mal- when you were saying the Ohio thing, was that a reference or was I like reading too much into it? Everyone reads way too much into the bullshit I say. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know how, I don't know how you guys haven't figured it out. Malik doesn't want to tell her location, so she just makes up a state because she doesn't want to tell you where she lives. Like, yeah, I've said Tennessee, I've said Texas, yeah. I've said Ohio. I don't know how people yeah. don't know Ohio. Yeah. Like when you when you ask me where are you from, and I say East Coast, and then you say where in the East Coast, and I say East Coast part of the East Coast, and they say what part of the East Car- Coast part of the East Coast, and then I say Ohio, which isn't even on the East Coast. What do you think? Right. Yeah, the issue is like when it's like a speed date thing like this, people are are so nervous that like, they don't really pick up on uh like little subtleties like that. Cause like if I was I don't thinking think about that's it, subtle. Like me personally, I don't think that was subtle. You, know, you, you yeah, you probably just underestimate how nervous people get when they're doing stuff live in front of the audience. No, like, I understand they're nervous, which is why I say something dumb and no, they're not gonna pick up on it and they're just gonna move on. Oh, so you're trolling now. Of course. Got it. All right. Makes sense, yeah. 
I mean, I, it's so obvious. She just doesn't want to share her location. Like, I don't know how people haven't caught on to that. Like, she said that like 20 million times. Like, I don't want to tell my location. Oh, where are you from? Oh, really? What, what city are you from? No, like, she's like, 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 what city? She gives a new state every single time she's on. Yeah. Either she moves around every single fucking time and manages to have the same exact background somehow miraculously. Like she lives in a van and then she just drives her van. To a Guys, I, or, I didn't want to be honest. I'm actually in Alex's basement right now. Please, this is a cry for help. <laughs> no, don't free her. If that were true, Natty would be next to you. Yeah. Natty is actually. Natty, don't come on camera. <laughs> hey, stay there. Stay put. <laughs> stay there. Um... The real Mr. Slave is here. The real Mr. Slave. Oh, I, I, I promise you guys an announcement. So I got two announcements. One, Good Looking Loser is going to come on the show. He agreed. He said, give him until February. So that's going to happen too. Tomorrow, I'm going to be on a panel with Destiny and uh, Pearly Kings on Value Tainment. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So tune in. Oh, cool. I, don't Dude, I want to watch that. What time is that? 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know what the fuck is going to happen, but we'll see. Yeah. Looking forward to that. So, Marcus, what do you have? What tips do you have for, uh, like, being in that zone of like basically faking being turned on? Because that's a, that's the toughest thing. That's is my biggest issue. Oh man, I don't think I don't think you should feel like you have to fake it. Like, if you're in a conversation with a girl that you're into, and you're mm -hmm. moving it towards something sexual then you should start to feel turned on. Now, there's a couple of things that are going to hold you back from that. One is nerves and judgment, which Alex spoke about in your feedback. So when you start to remove that a little bit, you're going to free yourself up. And two is you don't have to expect yourself to have like a fucking rock hard dick while you're talking to this girl. But you should at least be thinking, okay, this, this girl's cute. Like I kind of want to move this forward and something happens. So when you do move into even look even if you're asking questions like asking malik what her address is you you can say it in a more central way like so malik tell me where, where exactly you're from and that way yeah as i say you don't need to be like fucking rock hard but at least you should be into it and you should be you know I got wanting you. Yeah, something for, out of it yeah for me like uh i had the opposite issue because i used to look up uh poa stuff so like i used to uh overdo it in terms of being like talking down and trying to be sexual and you know, <laughs> yeah. all that stuff. But then it, yeah. I try to naturalize it. Maybe my natural voice is, maybe I do like have like a natural nerd tendency and shit like that. So it's like finding that balance for me uh, is probably uh, better. And also too, um, online, I think, especially on the like, YouTube chest, I'm like more cognizant of like filling up space. So like a lot of that is me trying not to get cut off by the other person. So I'm like using filler words and shit like that. The way you just spoke to me right now is 10 times better than when you're on a date. So I think a lot of it is that going through your mind, is trying to fill the space, is being a little bit nervous. When you start to alleviate that problem, like you you spoke with not many filler words at times. So I think it was I think it was a lot better. Yo, yeah. I just realized Nico's gonna be on that panel. This is gonna be awkward as fuck. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't, Don't worry about, about it. it. I'm just imagining what is what the conversation is gonna go like. I'll be like, yo, what up, Sneeko? He's gonna be like, you don't have to be friends with him. <laughs> I, I doubt he barely thinks about you. It was just like a weird thing where like you were like, talking to him online. But I mean, in real life, I mean, he's pretty chill, I'd assume. Why is he on No, so but like the, the video that really? Alex made about him being cucked probably didn't go over too well. Yeah, Yo, everybody yeah. makes videos about Sneakle being cucked. I don't think he takes it personally. Uh, well, we'll Probably find not. out. You uh, should. I'll, 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 let you, I'll let you guys know how it goes. But yeah, that should be a fucking juicy ass debate. Uh, we'll see what happens. It's funny because they, they actually mentioned that. Not that I would have given a shit, but yeah, it's funny. Wait, Alex, can I ask you a question? Yeah. You guys see so, that? Wait, hold on. So, Alex, I mean, you said you had a video that Sneeko did not cuck. So, I don't understand. I mean, obviously right, he yeah. did. So, what's going on? You, you're no, like in I, denial. What? No, dude. I said, I said Sneeko did get cucked. But he's not actually a cuck. A cuck is someone who gets off on watching their girl get fucked by another dude. He describes it as a traumatic experience, which really begs the question what he was doing. So he got cucked, but he's not actually a cuck because, again, the definition of a cuck is someone who enjoys, who gets off on watching their girl get fucked by another dude. Wait, Marcus, are you familiar with uh, cuckoldry? Yeah. 
What, did, did you see the video with uh, Sneeko, how he explained how he got cocked? Uh, no, nah, I didn't uh, oh, shit. know what you guys are talking about, to be honest. It's all Wait, good. You, Hugh, did you see that video? Are you familiar with the case? Yeah, I used to watch Sneeko when that video came out, so I, I, I definitely heard that. I think that's when I stopped watching it, too. Wait, Alex, are you, what, you think Sneeko is, what, not, not, I mean, I've never done cocking myself. I mean, that's like next level to be, to be in that situation. I mean, he is a cock. I don't understand why you were in denial. I, I think you, what he's oh. saying is he didn't enjoy it. it it's like yeah. if, it, it's like if you were to spank a girl and tie her up, it wouldn't make you a dom. Right? <clears throat> it's just, you, you did it once. Right. Exactly. But he recommends for everyone to go through this experience. I yeah, heard him it's, say it's, it. Yeah, he, he's, he's a dumb fuck, which really begs the question why he does <laughs> that. But that doesn't actually make him a cock. Like, again, like if I'm just being charitable, I don't actually like the guy. Like I have no reason to like defend him at all. In fact, I think he's kind of like a little bit of a punk. But uh, again, like I think he – if I'm being charitable and I take what he says at face value, this was the most traumatic experience of my life. That's not how a cuck would describe – their girlfriend getting fucked by another dude. You know how they would describe it? That was the best experience of my life. I enjoyed that. I oh love that. Oh my God. That's how a cuck would describe forced, that experience. So cuckold, that dude. really begs me to think that he's just a normal guy who for whatever reason just thought it would be a good idea to have his girlfriend get fucked by another dude in front of him. I don't know why anyone would think that's a good idea. I certainly have never had those thoughts. Like, you know what would be fun? Friday night, it's a little boring out. Let me let me get another dude over here and have him fuck my girlfriend. I don't know. But yeah, I guess for whatever reason, Sneeko thought it was a good idea that day. Wait, but Alex, he recommended this experience literally for every guy in the world. Mr. Slave, I think what he was trying to say is that more guys should experience the like um, life reevaluation that he experienced after that moment, not the moment itself. No, he recommended going through the yeah. same experience. He, I, mean, I think I that think was dumb, if that's what he why meant. Are you I hope, guys I'm trying to be charitable by saying I, I hope he meant this. that more guys should reevaluate their life. I don't understand. I mean, obviously, he's, Maybe a he's cock. in the forced cuckold. He's probably dream. submissive. I don't understand why you're running defense for him. Like, I'm not. Like, I think it was a stupid statement. I just wait, hoping. No I'm no trying to be running, charitable. Mr. Slave, no one's running defense for yeah, Sneeko. Not, everyone I'm everyone collectively man's agrees man's that cucking is pretty gay. Yeah. Yeah. I, think, I, think, I, I don't want to say cucking's gay, but I, I no, think you don't the support those opinions. No, I don't. I don't think being a cuck has anything to do with your sexuality. Also, Mr. Slave, you're the no, last I, person who should be like fucking king shaming someone. Like, yeah, what the fuck? Exactly. <laughs> if I say, Alex, strange. if I say that you're king shaming exactly. Mr. Slave, which I don't also agree with. I'm not king shaming him. You're saying he's, he's the he's... last one who should be king shaming, implying that he has a kink that you are shaming. No, I'm just saying he's, he's like he, he's like the he's, he has like all these like kinks and shit. Like he's into the whole like fucking being super submissive thing, walking the leash, barking like a dog. He has a lot of kinks. So it's just funny when someone who has a lot of kinks is attacking someone else's kinks. This would be like someone who has a fucking bakery and just fucking makes pies all day. And he's like, oh, look at this fucking baker over there. What a fucking loser. He's just baking pies all day. It's like, dude, he's Why do we have a child in here playing with snow? Who is Sorry it? for cutting you off. That was just like triggering me. Who? What was triggering you? You what throwing? You uh, never mind. Never mind, honestly. Alex, I don't know what she's all I'm about. saying, Alex, all I'm saying is that in that video that you made about Sneeko, you said he's not a cuck, but he is a cuck. You're you're denying reality. That's all I'm saying. I, I, I'm, uh, not, I'm definitely I'm not I, shaming anyone. Not you. I, not. I, I, I don't anyone. know how you're having such a hard wrapping around your mind around the idea that someone could do something, but it doesn't make them that person. Like going back to analogy, Marcus gave. You could you could theoretically tie a girl up because maybe you read it in a magazine you thought it'd be really funny, but it doesn't make you a dom or it doesn't make you a dom. You know, if you if you if I tie a girl up and I say that was a traumatic experience, I hated that. I hated bondage. I hated being dominant. Right? That doesn't actually make me dominant just because I did it. Alex, I have never tied up a girl because. It's All right. Anyway, next topic. This is pointless. Let's yeah. Keep going. yeah. <laughs> She's just uh, lacking understanding of that. This is not going anywhere. What's up, Lindbergh? Uh, so what are we talking about? This this guy thinks everyone should get cucked. <laughs> oh Alex, oh, actually, that's um, sorry to sorry to jump in, but yes, Alex, um, we've all decided yeah. that you need to give me one of your goals, and you need to watch me fuck yeah. her. 
Oh, that's fuck them. Alex, 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 I want to see you. I you see wait, you wait, go with wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. You know what I think he's doing? I think he's like trying to frame it so he can fuck your girls easier. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Listen, so Alex. Mr. Slade. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Slade is trying to inch closer to Natty, Alex. <laughs> he wants well, you to he wants you to get cut. Well, he, he woke up at like a zero percent chance this morning. He still had zero percent chance, but no, no, no. I <laughs> promised Natty never to meteorologist hit Alex on her again. Chick. It's behind us. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> I find it pretty funny how you thought you could like take my girlfriend away from me, Mr. Slave. That was very ambitious of you, but uh, yeah. I took it as a challenge, and Natty asked me to stop. That she's it's sure, embarrassing yeah. her. Fucking so beating Mr. Mike Slave, in a boxing where match would be a challenge, too, but I probably wouldn't embark on that. Mr. Slave, where are you located? I'm in New York City. He doesn't want to dox okay. himself. Oh, it's a it's nice, uh, it's nice basement. <laughs> No, my rule is I dive, di divulge, 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 yep, that's right. Divulge uh -huh. any information that I have previously already divulged. Alex, okay. ask him how tall he is. Ask him how tall he is. No, what, are you, what, are you, what, are, what are you trying to say? What am I trying to say about what? Yeah. With what? About the divulging, like what are you trying to get at? I'm trying to not dox myself. Okay. He doesn't want to be stalked. Okay. Okay. All right. I don't want my life ruined in our in our modern who? who's, day. Who's gonna ruin your life? Who's gonna ruin my life? You just yeah. need one crazy person. Doesn't even need to be an evil person. One crazy okay. person can ruin my life. That's what makes life fun, though. Just uh, my life fun. Is fun. Uh, yeah, that's that's fun. Sick, fun. I don't want that kind of fun. No, thank you. Okay. Here, Alex, cool, you can bring in Johnny. My balls are freezing, and I'm a, I gotta go eat. I'm on vacation, so I'll catch y'all later. All right, peace, awesome, bro. All right, you. Good night, you. What's up, guys? I'm back. My computer died. Uh, it's funny. Oh, that makes man. life ten times more fun when you don't give a fuck, though. I tell people. Wait, I Johnny, did you ever go with? Did you ever go with uh, the chick that was on the show today? Wait, what? What happened to Malik? Did she just dropped off? She yeah, she pieced out. Yeah. Oh. Good. I don't know. Oh, we got another yeah, girl. He's afraid. There we go. Hey, Johnny, did you ever go with her? No, I didn't. I didn't. I was going to do your uh, your whole bit, Mr. Slave. I was going to wear the mask, see if I could get a yes, but nah, probably uh, not. Greg actually tried it. Yeah. Uh, but he didn't, you know, it was a weird game. So it, it wasn't a slave game. It was like, I don't know, Alex. Alex, what did you tell Greg to do that he switched his game halfway through? I told him to stop trolling. Oh, okay. Yo, real quick, um, Alexander Lindbergh, I'm Johnny K. Nice to meet you. Hey, um, Johnny K, oh, what's yeah. up? I remember you, you guys did like, like a stream or two ago. Yeah, you guys are awesome, man. I I love your uh, content. You're awesome. You know, I was <laughs> rooting for you on this good night. Yeah, I appreciate it, yeah. man. Yeah, man. Yo, Lindbergh, we got to get you on a speed date one of these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, we'll definitely do it. I mean, it's, uh, it's like 6.30 a.m. here, but uh, definitely in the future. I'm down. It'll be fun. Yeah, for sure, dude. Wait, Alex and oh. Marcus, can I ask you a question? Of I got a question after that. Uh, okay, unless go ahead, maybe right. talk about yeah, so No, no, you can, you can go first if you want. Okay, my question is, so wh what happened to me today, this was basically my entire childhood. I was always being abused nonstop, and there was no way for me to stop the psychopath attacking me. Just there was no way to stop it. And there was no running away. It was just that 24-7, 365 throughout my life. That's what I had to deal with. So it's really fascinating. So how do you stop that? How do you stop a psychopath in a psychopathic attack? Well, if it's, if it's a girl or what, what's the context? They're talking about with your I mean, dad you, or... saw, you saw a girl having a psychopathic attack. How do you yeah, I mean, that's, that's not what, what I saw. Yeah, that's you not asked what I saw. At all. I, I saw a guy getting more exactly what he asked for, and then yeah. more than he handled. That's what I saw. You asked you, for it. Did you not realize that you asked for it? You literally requested it. You were like, "Please, please." She said she didn't people. want to, and she just caved. Yeah, yeah. And then she started doing Dude, exactly what you asked for. I mean, is awesome. No, and, no, and then you were like, "Why is she doing that?" 
No, but then I asked her to stop and I wanted to have a conversation and she wasn't able to do that. Yeah, How I mean, you... I explained okay, this fine. in the feedback. So, Mr. So fine. You ordered Let's steak, the waiter brought steak, and now you're complaining? Okay, I'm, I, I just I don't get explained. it. I'll explain again. So I asked for something, I got it, then I said, okay, enough, let's now discuss it. And she refused to stop. So how do you stop it? Yeah, so I, you need to realize. I, don't, I don't think you can, I, I don't think you can stop something like that once you get it rolling. Like if you no. request something, especially from a girl, like she's gonna go in tenfold, especially Malik. I don't know, I, I didn't watch that part, but if it was Malik, like, you know, she's gonna go in tenfold. Yeah, I think like you, you if she if she stopped it on command, then it wouldn't actually be authentic because then it would not be her actually degrading it. Her it would just be her putting on a show. So by the fact that she didn't stop it actually makes it more authentic. So yeah, I mean I just feel like you got exactly what you asked for. Yeah, but then I, I, I want, fine. At one point, I wanted her to stop and have a discussion, like Marcus okay. said. Dude, well, dude, we, right. we, I, I think that's what we, like, we, do what we want. I, I would like it. I would like it if, like, one of these, like, fucking floozies on my stream shows me their titties. But you can't always get people to do what, what you want. Like, we have, like, people have their own autonomy and their own free will. Like, I don't know what, like, you can't get just automatically get people to do what they want at all times. Like, oh, damn, I want this girl to, like, suck my dick and she didn't want to. Like, oh, why? Why couldn't I do it? It's like, well, you have to be tactful with getting what you want. You can't just be like, I want you to do this. People often are not going to want to do what you tell them to do. It's like somebody's you know, echoing. But 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 also with yeah, that, on. too, Mr. Sarah, Slave, like, if, if you Sarah, don't have frame to... or something. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Nothing to do with anything. Someone is echoing. Yeah, yeah that's what I was saying. Everybody is talk, mute let me, when they're not talking. Okay, hang on, go ahead, hang on. Sarah. I'm going to try to figure it out. Hang on a second. Okay. Uh, I don't hear any echoing right now, so let's unmute Johnny. I hope it's not me. Okay. No, I don't think it's you. No, wait, it is you. Wait, oh. unmute yourself. Yeah, it's you. Damn. All right. Can I ask a question and then I'll leave? Yeah. No, but first Tara was talking. <laughs> what the fuck, Mr. Slater? Just let him ask his question. I can wait. I can wait. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you a question about dating. So, like, uh, more recently I've been – um, noticing like I used to only cold approach and so when I talk to girls it's girls that I approach and more recently girls have been coming up to me at bars just because I've been increasing my social circle and stuff and they'll come up to me and like already be interested and it's completely different it feels completely different like I don't know how to really handle it so I was just gonna kind of ask like if you could give me a little like tip or like a template how to handle when girls approach me instead of me approaching them in general, for any of you three uh, great dating yeah, coaches, okay. are, I, I don't get approached, bro. The, I will say, if, if, if the girl is approaching you, uh, like it's going to be pretty easy to get her to chase, is what I'm thinking. So first of all is, I don't want to give away like uh, too much power early, especially like when she's the one approaching. Like I'm not going to be doing a lot, right? I want the girl to be running her game on me, which is like, you're not going to be able to run your game on her at the same time. Right. You're just gonna let her like do her things. Johnny, mute yourself, dude. Your fucking your your, your like, audio is so bad. Is it my audio? This shit. No, no, no. no Johnny, no, no, go ahead. Okay, okay. No, that, that that's what I was saying. Like, if the girl is approaching you, you need to let her run her game. Don't interrupt her because I see a lot of guys doing that. It's like a big mistake. The girl approaches them, and the girl she's she's like trying to do so. She's trying to bait like a certain response out of you. But you're usually caught up in your fucking like PUA mind that you start throwing out the next line, the next routine or some shit. And you're not even paying attention to what she's trying to do. Uh, so, th so, that, so that's like the number one thing I would say is that she's starting off in the chasing frame. She should still be in the chasing frame when you put your dick inside of her at the end. She should, should never be uh, like reversed. Nope, I got you. So basically just keep her chasing the whole time. I yeah, mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's so it's a bit more complex than it than it sounds, probably. But it, it, essentially, yeah, that's what you gotta do. How do I do that without like? Would I still lead the conversation too, or I don't understand? Yeah, because that. you can you can lead her in terms of getting her. For example, um, if you want to get her to like qualify on like on like a certain thing, right? That is still like you leading the the conversation, but she's gonna be doing like ninety five percent of the work. 
And that's not, I'm not, I'm not telling you that you should let the girl just take it in any fucking random direction that she wants to. You can still guide it and like influence where she's going to take it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you. That shed some light on my dilemma. I appreciate it. You are welcome. So I'll let you guys get out of here. It was nice to meet you, Alexander. Marcus. Absolutely, yeah. man. He's Johnny. 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 Yo, Lindbergh, I got a question. Why did you shave your head? Why did you shave your head, Alex? I don't know if he's. Oh, I didn't shave it. He he gave me he gave me a short fade, a little a little bit too short. Oh, <laughs> it's a very short. It's not even a fucking fade anymore. It's not even a fade anymore. But I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of liking. You like that, dude? I don't know. I feel I think I I I think you look better. No homo. You look better with the longer hair, from what I remember. You yeah, think I look better with longer hair? But how long are we talking? Are we talking like this or like, you know, like that? What, whatever that? it was when, when I saw you in uh, Budapest, whatever it was that you had there. I think oh, that was shit. I'm okay. Yeah. In that case, you're probably the only one thinking that, to be honest. <laughs> but I appreciate <laughs> it. I appreciate it. Wait, wait. Marcus, what do you think? Do you think? I think I think you look better with I, longer hair. What, what do you think? He, I, I prefer the just shorter hair, but not so fucking bold and serial killer. Shit. Yeah. The long hair, he, it's he, hard he, because he, when he, he had long hair, he was fat yeah. and ugly. So it's, yeah. I, I think long hair is fat and ugly with Lindbergh, but you, you, you yeah. can have the longer hair without being fat and ugly. <laughs> that's yeah, true. But, but that's what the, I think uh, about when I think about Lindbergh with long hair. Like I just picture him uh, like that. So. <laughs> the short yeah. hair kind of reminds me of like those, American those history were, Those were the days, man. Fuck, life was good when you were like, when you were fat, fat and ugly. It was fun. Wait, Sorry, what'd you say, I have sir? a question. I have, I have a question. So Alex, you say and 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 Marcus agrees that all women are submissive, but what if it's because you guys are dominant? So it's got nothing to do with well, anything. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. The universe I mean, is. Yeah. No. I mean, yeah. Of my, course, that's gonna be claim, like it's gonna no. be like a big part. Of it. No, no, but let me ask a question. What's your question? My okay, my, okay, my yeah. claim is that women are neither submissive nor dominant or both and it just depends on the guy they'll just try to mm -hmm. play with the guy or placate the guy or play with the guy so whatever the guy is yeah. they'll it's like a puzzle piece they'll reshape themselves to fit so if the guy's submissive they'll become dominant what okay. do you think sarah mm -hmm. may i um so oh, yeah. I, I, I've actually in, like been really thinking about this a lot lately. And I think that like, I have a very, um, kind of a very masculine dominating type of personality in a lot of ways, but I really do want to be submissive and it just takes a more masculine type of male to calm me the fuck down. Right. So if he's like more masculine, um, then I will submit like a freaking like i'll be on my knees you know what i mean so i think that a, i think a guy just has to be more alpha than anything in order to make a girl more submissive but the more beta he is the more masculine she's gonna be like if she's already there in the masculine world like you're you're already screwed if you're beta by any means does that make any sense I'll, okay I'll, I'll it does i'll explain like this the natural order is for a woman to be submissive for the man to be dominant and that is when things work the best. A woman can be dominant if the guy's feminine, but that's when intersexual dynamics break down because you have situations yeah. kind of like what you saw on your speed date, Mr. Slay, right? That's that's kind of what happens. Uh, that's a more extreme version of it, but that's like that's that's that goes against the natural order of things and things break down. So yes, a woman can be dominant, but it's not a good thing for the relationship for the dynamic. It is a much better dynamic when the woman is submissive because deep down inside, that's what she prefers to be. Every single girl I have ever met, and there's been countless, has always said, yeah, you know, I'm dominant, but I want to be submissive with the right guy. They always, always want to be submissive with the right guy. And that's yep. a guy who's really alpha dominant. Yep. You, like, knocked it out of the park. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Yep. I spend a lot of my time. Yeah, but, the, but the, there's no evidence for that. That's just your opinion. <laughs> okay, let, let, me, let me answer this. It's literally me telling you that, like, everything that he just said is what <laughs> I was trying to sum up. I just didn't have the words for it. Like, it's me the, trying the to say, the evidence of course is the I'm dominant because I'm more masculine. Let, can, can I answer this, Mr. Slate? Yeah. So, yeah. firstly, I want to say, uh, if I was you, I would reflect on 
how you receive the answers from people because there's been multiple times on this chat where it's like i feel like you ask a question or wanting an answer and it was just evident in your speed day when you kept asking if she was dominant you ask a question and want an answer and then when you don't get it you don't listen to it or change your opinion or adjust like alex clearly described before that he doesn't think the guy's a cuck because that's not his identity it's one action that he did and it, I, I feel like you just ignore it like it's a very simple thing to understand but you kind of ignore it and same with this like I, I think look yes there's probably some women in this world that love to be dominant and there might be a couple of girls out there and they're, they're, they're the mistresses that you might meet but for the most part right in the biology of things in every woman we've met polarity in a relationship or in a sexual dynamic is going to be more pleasurable it's going to be more optimal it's what people crave if you want data and stats look it up they do a bunch of surveys mostly on college girls to be honest but a bunch of surveys asking what their fantasies are what their kinks are most of them are rolled around ravishment fantasies around being dominated um 90 there's a say like 95 percent of women when you list out dominant traits in a man that's what they will go for most so there are a bunch of studies on this you have guys here that have slept with a bunch of women that know women that are telling you the same thing so yes there's probably some outliers that like to be dominant but for the most part 100 percent women want to be submissive and i'd reflect on like how you take in that information is let it sit with you for a while and maybe look up those stats look up the data but i feel like you're asking questions and listening to the opinions a lot of the time Yo, if that makes sense marcus uh I gotta say, today is not a very good look for you. You know, I don't know how you can. Okay, get okay. Oh my God, looks for Al. Oh my God, not again. Oh my God, this is. <clears throat> okay, looks for Al. Forgive us, please. Looks, for not. You, you need okay, to go speed it with Malik. Let's just, let's just say whatever looks for Al wants to say. Okay, it's all looks. It's all looks. It's all looks. Done. Wait, wait, my boy. Yeah, yeah, we got the we got the argument out of the way. Yes, sorry. Here, let me let me tell you about an actual case study that I had. So, I met a girl in my travels and. This was the most uh, BDSM dominant, uh, I mean, submissive girl that I've ever met in my entire life. She asked me from the first time we, we were together to call exactly. I mean, she wanted me to, she wanted to call me daddy and she wanted me to explain why I'm spanking her. And of course, I had to spank her really, really hard that my hand was hurting and it wasn't enough. Anyway, so she, that's the only type of sex we had for a couple of, you know, a long duration. And then I met another girl and she was into being dominant. And I went back to the first girl that was submissive and I told her about it. And she asked me to, to explain what it means. And I said, well, I, I really like being choked. And she said, okay, show me how. So I took her hands, I put her hands on my neck, on my throat, and I explained to her, okay, choke me until, we were both standing, so choke me until I collapse. And she did it, and she was getting wet. It turned her on. So she mm -hmm. discovered that she can be dominant and really enjoy it, at yeah. least as much as being submissive and really enjoy it. Why are you so guys not maybe, together right now? Wait, what? Why are you guys not together right now? Uh, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not really, you know, it doesn't matter. I mean, I, I have... Uh, the relationship fell apart. No, actually, the, the, it was literally at the airport when I was leaving her country that we went through this and there's probably footage. The airport probably has the footage and they were watching and they were probably going crazy. What's going on? This woman is choking this guy again and again, and he keeps collapsing again and again. What the hell is going on? And then yeah, I, I, I was went to say how to blast for that. <laughs> I mean, Mr. Slave, you, you can have women that are very submissive, enjoy being submissive and then like to do a little dominant behavior yeah. act sometimes, right? Like, because, I mean, there's a lot of men that are probably very dominant that is similar thing. A girl's like, oh, I want to try this and lay down. And they're probably going to enjoy that maybe once or twice. Like, I'm not saying they won't. Uh, I, there are a lot of women that I know that 
uh, do do that, right? They do enjoy being dominant with some guys, but they're like, fuck, but the best thing, the best kink of all, the thing I love the most is being able to let go. I just love being submissive. So you will find many girls that you can actually find that are happy to switch and that you can practice or, you know, enjoy practice, probably the wrong word, but play in these scenarios where you're the sub and that, that's not an issue at all. Like you, you'll be able to find some girls, but what we're saying is for the most part, for most women, they're going to want to enjoy being submissive and being able to let go more so than anything else. So and you, can, you will find I, points to, to go against that. Sorry, Sarah. No, that's okay. I, I interrupted. Um, may I just add the female perspective in there? It's fun to have a little dominance here and there. Like, not going to lie. Like, I've choked out a few dudes. You know, like, it's fun. It's enjoyable. It's, it's fun to have that moment. But at the end of the day, if he's not the leader of the house, if he's not the leader of, like, us, if he's not the decision maker at the end of the day and things like that, like that choking out moment of pleasure is not as fun. It's it, if, if I know that I can own you, it's not fun. Yo, it's sleep, not fun take because some then, notes. then <laughs> I, if I know that I can like make you do anything or everything. And I just like a little flick of the wrist kind of thing. Like it's not fun. It's not fun at all. And it just makes you kind of like, man, if I can make him do this, what else can I make him do? And then it actually kind of gets into like, it's challenging for a little bit, but then it gets boring because it's, it's not, we're not chasing you anymore. Now we're just telling you what to do and it's not fun. End of story. So that's Wait, this is very happened. interesting. This is very interesting. Okay. I mean, I mean, I was fully in control of the relationship. I mean, she was madly in love with me, and you know, we're, we're still in touch, and she's still chasing me across across the world, <laughs> literally. But oh my god, bro, dude, Marcus! Looks, well, it's Ooh. all looks. It's all looks. It's all looks. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Marcus, you need to help this guy. You need to help him out, bro. I mean, looks, fuck. looks. Please mute yourself because you're not adding any information to the conversation. Bro, I just want to learn. Looks, it's all looks. It's I want to learn from you and okay. your insane game. Sarah, what you said is actually phenomenal. So you're saying it's so it gets boring. So if I'm a, like a one-trick pony, then it probably maybe it's the other way also so if i'm always dominant it's all it also gets boring could that be possible stop Was stop yourself right there stop stop <laughs> okay somebody <laughs> said something earlier i believe where they said that women love to chase right it's not fun if if um the guy's chasing us it's more fun if we're chasing them and, and this holds true like in a lot of relationships i've been in there are relationships i had to kind of earn um per se um, like it didn't just like happen. It wasn't just a like little click of the wrist and ooh, you're mine. Oh, that's good. No, it was men that I had to earn. Um, so I like challenges. Most women like challenges, especially in men, like especially if they challenge us. So if you come to us so easily, like, and you're kind of beta style and you just do any and everything like we pin you down easily we know it we see it we, we're like okay i'm gonna put him to the back of the list but i know he's there right so you're always the last on the list like i literally i remember a time in my life where there were like five dudes that i was talking to each one had their own different like purpose right like there was one to fuck there was one for the nice dinners there was one for cuddling there was one for talking to and there was the one that i ended up marrying right he was like the bff um because he was old reliable right that's what they end up being um so like the old reliable ended up being like beta maxing at the max of max of max and and now we're getting or where we're divorcing like so the beta maxing thing only gets you so far um but but like the dude that had me on the leash the dude that like made me fall for it the dude that made me want it the dude that made me like oh god would you just freaking give in to me like he's the one that still like to this day is in my like the, the, the back of my mind like god like if i just I don't know what I could have done to have gotten this dude, but like, I still want him, you know, like make us chase you. End of Was story. it Niles? Oh God, no. But my, my mom Jesus. loves Niles. 
She loves Niall. Yeah, we were talking she about watched, this. She watched she watched the speed date competition and she's like, Why? Oh, damn, now she's going straight Niall? to the score. She's like, fuck the daughter. I'm going for the mother. <laughs> oh my god. He's like, Is now the guy or... that bangs your grandma, bangs your mom, and then he goes for you. Yeah. But yeah, we talked oh about god. it. Yeah, her mom's my mom rides in motorcycles, like, dude. My mom's remember. pretty badass. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Hey guys, she's pretty badass. Is it just me or does Sarah sound like a very fun wing woman? Yeah, she'd okay. be the best. Well, yeah, probably would yeah. be. Yeah. 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 I, want, I want her by wing my woman. side in life. Oh, wing woman. Sure. I, I didn't hear. Yeah. I did not hear it. I'm sorry. A very <laughs> what woman? A wing, uh, woman. wing woman. A wing woman. Yeah, a wing would be a good wing woman. woman. Yeah. Oh yes, dude. Yeah, dude. My my little brother. Let me tell you what. Let mm -hmm. me tell you what. Like when when um. We've gone out to bars like when, so my, my two brothers, I have one older that's two, two years older, one younger by two years. So I'm right smack dab in the middle. But uh, when, when I've taken my little brother out, um, I am like the wing woman at the far max to the point okay. where I have to say the word mom really loud so that any females within our vicinity hear that like we're brother and sister, like we're talking about oh. mom. It's cool. Like, you know, I got to get the point of like, we're not an item or of any sort. Like, this is my brother. It's cool. Like you can Mac on mm. him. And then, um, you know, I like, he's macked on all of my friends, every single one of my friends. Oh, it's, Damn. it's and I, I, and I pull weight for him too. I'm like, bro, like, I'll tell my girlfriends, I'm like, hey, my brother's like macking on your heart. He likes you, blah, blah, blah. Um, so but yeah, talk, no, I, mean, I think that framing is pretty decent, but there's actually a better framing. And that's that I used to fuck this guy, but I could not handle his humongous schlong. So I'm going to Oh my God. Else. No, I could not say that. <laughs> yeah, that, that actually brings a very good question, Sarah. How oh do you God. talk him up? How do you talk your brother up? Oh my God. Oh my God. That's so. Oh my God. Alex, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's an unremovable mental image. Yeah, you're you're crossing lines, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, no, my little brother, um, sweet as pie, very gentleman like, very mature. Um, he's two years younger than me, and I still look up to him. So when I when I feed him up to my friends, my hot friends, like I feed him up very well. That's for sure. Um, so how, yeah, how ultimate you, wing woman. How did you describe Ultimate her? wing woman. <laughs> yeah. Ultimate yeah, wing right. woman. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> I'll tell you a story. How did you, how Here's did you the describe story. her? Here's the story. Here's If it's a new, if it's a friend who has just met my my brother, um, I typically like to tell the one story where he, he borrowed my car once. Um, he was, well, I can't say that because it's too doxing, but um, he was in college at a very predominant university and um he borrowed my car one night to, to take a girl out on a date right mm -hmm. and the next morning i came and i went to like get in my car and i was like grabbing something out of it and there were so I, many magnum condom wrappers all over the place <laughs> actually actually alex there was a box a whole box half empty of magnum fucking oh, condoms sure. on the the bed of the, the the car floor, and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I don't need to know this. I don't need to know, I died, I fucking died. Um, yeah. So anytime there's like a new hot friend of mine that my brother was, well, he's married now, but at the time yeah. that he was interested in, I'd make sure I'd drop that story in. I love this, um, <laughs> this uh, that, that's actually a really good story. Yeah. The, weird, the weirdest family yeah. story I have was my mom was, this was actually like a year ago when I was living with Indian PE, my mom came and stayed with me and she was staying in the guest room. And like, in, you know, typically when my mom comes, like I take a break from like fucking girls and I just like, you know, hang out with my mom. But Indian PE is a different man. He's just like going on, he's still rampaging. So like, <laughs> so like my mom was like getting like mildly annoyed because like, she, you know, she, she's like in her room and then like there's banging and shit. But then like <laughs> one time I come home and then my mom is like, She's got like a smile on her face, and I'm like, "Whoa, what is it?" She's like, "She's like, she's like, yo, in, uh, I don't want to say his name, but Indian P has a fucking hot girl." I was like, "Yeah," and she's like, "Yeah." So I'm like, "I'm curious myself." So then I kind of like hide down and I watch this girl leave. This girl's really hot. So my mom like looks at me and looks at Indian P. She's like, "If I was even a little bit of lesbian, I would bang that girl too." And we both like, "This is my mom." And we're like, "What the Whoa. fuck?" <laughs> Bruh. You know she's 
is how oh, we like, love a Based for. mom. Based mom. Damn. I, was like, I, did, I did not know you had it in you, mom. How <laughs> dickity. See, I feel like I would Damn. do that, mom. Because I, I pull for girls so much. Like, when a hot girl comes around, I'm like, damn, she's hot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he remembers the story. Yeah, that was funny. That was, that was a good one. We we were joking around about, about that for a while. Yeah. Wait, Sarah, your theory doesn't it actually does not make sense. Okay, so, go ahead. So what you're saying <laughs> is, Alex, what's going on? Anyway, Nothing. your the you okay. So you're saying that you enjoy chasing. So if I'm submissive, and you're not dominant enough then that's chasing so this has nothing to do with dominance dom sub relationship there's so a difference between always... leading and chasing so yes um and and the difference with that is i can handle a little bit of um being the dominant because there are times especially in bed that i prefer some dominance with certain things. Like I just want to do certain things to you. Um, that's where I remain dominant. However, comma, when it comes to the relationship and who is, oh shit, my earbud fell out. Got it. Um, when it comes to dominance and the relationship and, and like who is the leader of our unit, um, I want you to be the leader. I want you to be the man. I want you to tell me what the fuck I'm going to make you for dinner tonight. You know, and if you don't have that instilled in our relationship, then everything else is kind of out the window because the sex life isn't fun if you aren't the leader to begin with. So if you are the leader well, to, to begin with, yeah. go ahead. To, go ahead. to be fair, this will surprise you, but in some countries, you can actually go to jail for that now. No, you can't. What country is that? For what? Dude, Alex, you're so you're uh, you're so far in the left, dude. Like you have no idea. I'll tell you right now. Who's so talking? in the UK, in the UK, and uh, Scandinavia, if you were to tell your woman like, "Hey, uh, cook me fucking dinner right now," he could call the police on you for emotional abuse. All right, Lindbergh, you've lived in Scandinavia oh. for quite a while. I don't know. I, I no, don't no, know I'm, I'm not. Cool. I'm, I lived in Sweden for like 24 years. I have to question that. But honestly, if that happens anywhere, it is in Sweden. So. Yeah, dude, these <laughs> countries. These I just countries cannot are imagine so, someone these... going to jail for telling but, their wife to cook, cook them dinner. Dude, yeah, no, these countries. No, I, I agree. Also, I agree with Sarah. About... Hold on. But let, me, okay. have... let me clarify my position. Yeah, yeah. Let me. I agree with Sarah 100%. I agree with you. All I'm saying is, luckily, the U.S. is not at that point yet. But all these other secular far left countries, uh, they're getting so pussified and feminized. They will like that is the law. Now, Al Alexander, you're obviously an alpha guy that's good with women. So, yeah, if you're in Finland and you tell your girl, cook me some fucking dinner like she's yeah. most likely going to cook you dinner like she's not going to call but all i'm saying yeah. is the way the law is set up if she wanted to she technically could what what are you so, basing this information on? I don't, I don't know. Sure I don't no know i know what he's i know what he's law. talking about alex i i do know what he's talking about there is like I, I i was looking this up earlier like there's this whole new like you can claim like verbal abuse and blah 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 within the household yada 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 but is, um, is there actually so, like a case is there like a case dude, this is on the this is on the book so alex i can't this, think of anything off based, the top of my head like, he's not wrong. but i will tell you some yeah i will tell you something similar um there's actually a woman, two cases I know of is there's a woman in Scandinavia. I think it's either Sweden or Finland. I mean, whatever, one of them that she tweeted a Bible verse and they said the Bible verse was quote unquote homophobic. So now she's facing up to three years in prison. She's on trial right now for violating. Okay, there's gotta be that, that, there's that, not that, enough. That, dude, that, literally that, that, look, no, dude, true. look it up. Can you say yeah, no, dude, look it up. Right Any, I don't, I don't think you guys really understand in these countries, they have hate speech laws. So if you say something that violates a hate speech law, that's breaking the law. They will put you in jail. You're, you're telling me a woman is on trial for three years for, for tweeting a Bible verse. Yes, because she tweeted a Bible verse that the, 
that the the government considers to be uh, homophobic, which violates a hate speech law. So yeah, she's uh, going on trial. Uh, she's facing up to three years in prison. Can you can you share this with us, Brad? Okay, yeah. actually, I'll look it up right now. I think I found the one. Yeah, I actually found it. I can't pronounce her name. I need um, to. Uh... But she's a Finnish, um, a Finnish politician, I believe, government minister, um, and she's facing jail time after tweeting a Bible verse, and it said that her trial. Um, it was it was in early 2022 when this article was written. By the way, um, is going to be a test of religious freedom. People this have uh, yeah. so this is I think no it's based on a real this. thing. Yeah, yeah. That's why when Andrew Tate talks about the Matrix and about uh, how bad it's getting, people are like, "Oh, he's exaggerating or he's being whatever." Uh, no, these are like real examples. Mm. So I'm saying I yeah. agree with no. Sarah. Luckily, the United States is not at that point yet. But uh, yeah, in some he's, countries, he's a man is being a man. Yeah, he's he's not he's not at all. And also, she was acquitted out. on all charges, Brad. Yeah, but but see that that's the thing. Isn't the fact she went to trial already like a failed society? Yeah. So point, just just to like, just to be clear with the facts here. I'm, I'm just reading this. Uh, apparently, there was more than one statement. So the Bible verse was one of the statements, but apparently she came out with some other hate speech around homosexuality. So they've in the title, they've picked out like <laughs> it was just the Bible verse. I still think it's fucked up. I still think you should be allowed to say what you want. But just to be clear, it looks like there was other shit she said, not just the Bible Right. Verse. So what I'm saying is I'm just using that uh, because that's an example I could think of off the top of my head. But what I'm saying is in a lot of these countries, uh you know western europe scandinavia they're very strong into equality and feminism and toxic masculinity and social justice warrior so they definitely have these laws in the books that uh they consider a man to be quote unquote if he does emotional abuse or verbal abuse that's like domestic violence right okay so let me back right, you let's, up let's, 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 let's right. get back on, I mean, yeah, that, that is like super bizarre. Although I will say, I do think that like people really, I do, I do, no one hates the SJW shit more than me. It got me fucking deep platform on Facebook. I debate them all the time. They, they call me all kinds of things. So I, I don't like SJWs, but um, I think people over exaggerate quite often, like how bad like things are in other countries. Like, oh man, it's like full on tyranny over there. But then, like, the you woman go, went to trial. Right, but like it sounds like there's more to the story, and she also got to quit. I mean, I'm, I still think that's like really fucked up. I'm just saying, like, I personally been to Finland. I spent some time there, and like, I didn't feel like it was like so like it was like this fucking dystopian type of nightmare where I can. I know I'm not. I'm not talking yeah, about what. It, it, I'm not wait, talking wait, about what will. Hold on, Brad. Brad, hold on. I actually have a question. So, yeah. what is so we we see a shift in in society in. And you could say in the planetary civilization, we see this shift towards wokeism. So what do you think is actually driving this? Where is this coming from? A shift towards what's driving the shift towards wokeism? Yeah. Well, that's the I toxic mean, feminism, like sprouting about. I think it's Satan, anything. but that's just me. <laughs> the same thing. Same Satan, difference. So Satan is... <laughs> Satan is only effective. But if you want a more, uh, if you want a more secular answer, no, no I don't not know, man. more secular. Uh, your illness. theory, no, your your theory doesn't fit the data. The, the, there is a shift in the last decade or so to wokeism. You're saying Satan was created a decade ago. Your theory of Satan no, doesn't fit the data. You have to come up with a different theory. I'm sorry. Guys, Brad's obviously right. Theory. Can you not see the, the Antichrist and his work in the world? Well, uh, I'm not saying that. It's, uh, the data I mean, is that wokeism I'm not is sure a what, phenomenon. I'm not sure what answer you're looking an for. Old phenomenon. But you wokeism have... stops. Let's get back on track. Fuck this topic. Let's get back <laughs> into the interesting shit. Everyone yeah, can agree that wokeism you. sucks. Anyway, back to whatever the fuck Tara was saying about her mom being a MILF or whatever. Whose mom was a milk? Uh, you said your mom. Mom was a milk. Oh, my mom rides a motorcycle. She's a badass. Yeah, Damn. mother. She's badass. I like to. No, I don't. I, I don't know I if she's a milk, but she's definitely a badass, man. Definitely yeah. a badass. Um, uh -huh. I know I'm a milk because, well, for many reasons. But yes, I know I'm a milk. But my my mom, I wouldn't claim her as a milk. I just claim her as a badass. Okay. Yeah. Wait, okay. Did, did, Alex, did you know that there was a correlation between 
higher sexual promiscuity and being uh, religious, that actually liberal women and men are less sexually free than conservative men and women, meaning it's actually, it's a, I mean, if you want good sex, better sex, then you should seek a more religious, uh, more really? right wing. Where, 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 where's the study on Well, that? you yeah. know, I'm very Catholic, Mr. Slave, so fuck away, my friend. Let's go. <laughs> where's the study on that? I've never heard of that before in my life. Yeah, yeah as far as I remember, it's not just that, it's also uh, psychopathic. Uh, women also have much better sex. I mean, yeah, are much better women, sexual women, partner. Uh, you perhaps. Women have a higher sex drive because they've been more repressed. Oh, I can't hear you. What? Please speak louder. Uh, do you think that the religious women have a higher sex drive because they've been more repressed? I don't know. It's, uh, it's a good theory. I don't know what's the reason, but as far as I know, there is such a correlation. That is a really good theory because you have like the Catholic schoolgirls. I mean, that like one on one, like they get knocked down all day, every day with like keep your chastity, yada, 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 virgin, virgin, virgin. So, I mean, that would actually make sense because if you suppress something, especially urges, like sexual urges when you're in high school, like that's the one thing you don't want to suppress. Uh -huh. almost. So, Sarah, so wait, you, let me correct you. Hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Sorry, you, you say that you're. Wait, this is good. You've been talking for a while. Let, let, let Lindbergh make yeah. say his point. Yeah, Sarah, you, yeah. you say that you're Catholic as well. Did you? Are you like speaking from personal experience about these things now? So I I grew up very Catholic. Um, I was an altar server. Yeah. I was very into it um, up until I was about twelve when we moved out to the Midwest. Uh -huh. um out there um i got into the more non-denominational church um like being part of a youth group and all of those things um i really actually like missed catholicism like the routine the regiment things and so forth i did not go to a catholic high school but i was like i was supposed to go to um the institute of notre dame here in baltimore um like like I was set up, I was supposed to go there. I was signed up, like I was scholarship in, like everything was supposed to be great. I was supposed to be the like typical Catholic high school girl yeah. who played sports, had full ride, yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah. And then my parents moved me out Midwest and then I went to like the local public high school. My graduating class was 72, um, like 72 people. Um, so it was like quite a shift change. So I was mm -hmm. set up to be in that realm I was set up to be that girl that you're talking about that you, you know, but, um, like life changed and, and I adjusted obviously differently, but, um, I am actually like, I still go to church. I'm actually mm -hmm. in faith formation for my, um, uh, confirmation courses. Um, uh -huh. I am very Catholic. I do like take it very seriously. Um, but yeah, like I think that I'm sorry. You're, gonna, you're gonna you're gonna lose that wrench that I promised you. Oh my god, seriously, but I'm still a hoe at the end of the day. God damn All it. All right, fine, fine, Christ. fine. I'll give you the do, do you think uh what Mr. Slade is wrench. correct that uh, Catholic or religious women have a higher sex drive? Yes. 100% because you are suppressed. You are 100% suppressed. And the more suppression you get yeah. on something that's natural to you, the more you're like, mm, yeah, I'm going to go do that. Like, and mm -hmm. you just, okay. So what I like to describe the uh, Catholicism as is like a natural guilt trip that follows you everywhere. No matter what yeah. you do, you just naturally feel guilty no matter what you do. Cause you're always going to confession. You're always like feeling guilty. You're always saying your hail Mary's you're always praying to the rosary. Like you're yeah. always doing all of these things. So no matter what you do, you can never be right. You will always be wrong and you'll always be praying for forgiveness. So you Ooh. might as well enjoy it along the way. Right? Yes. I have a theory exactly. about uh, purity oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I, Alex I, I, is a black one, pillar. One more question I have I have uh, video this, footage. This Alex is a black pillar. So, what do you think is the what? best way for someone? Alex is a black pillar. Which I heard you. I'm just confused. Which Alex? There's two Alexes on the channel. No, yeah. Alex. Uh, the Alex. Uh, 
parentheses PWF. Okay, if you say so. Anyway, uh, because you, you wouldn't be with Natty if she wasn't attractive. Be be honest. Yeah, I thought my girlfriend attractive. Is that your whole point? Yeah, you pr- you admitted it. Thank you. You're you're logically. What the fuck wow. is this kind of clip? Wow. Dude, <laughs> have you watched? You my look, looks mind. looks matters. Thank you. Yeah, Thank of you. course, I, looks matter. No I never got shit. Thank you. Fucking... I've said that like twenty bazillion times. It looks matter. Hey, what, thank you, Alex. Did you think this was a gotcha? Aha! Uh-huh. You find your girlfriend attractive. I gotcha. Like, did you think you you got me there? By Yo, me hold on, hold on, hold on. Today it was like you really thought this was like an owning moment. Okay. Good no, you you've always been pretty uh, consistent. Whenever uh, we've disagreed. Yeah, dude, but... I find my girlfriend attractive. Is that your whole? Is that your whole uh, argument that I find my girlfriend attractive? No, it, the, my point is, if she wasn't attractive, she couldn't yeah, game would, you into liking her. That's my point. Yeah, I would not be dating a fat chick. Yeah, exactly. So, so game, yeah. it doesn't matter. No, it, it exists, but it doesn't. No. She could looks game matter. You. Looks matter. Game matters. There's two things can matter at the same time. That's like she a wouldn't date a fat chick. It just matters a lot less. That is, that is such a fucking stupid statement to make. That that's that's like saying, um, you know, well, you have to eat, you have to eat a lot in a calorie surplus to gain weight. So therefore, lifting weights doesn't work or doesn't matter. No, but Lindbergh, you have swag. Swag beats game. So swag is game. game. Yeah. No, that no, is, it's yeah. not. There are people it's with swag. Okay. Who have Look, great okay, so, so, so okay. what is game? What Today is game? was another brutal you, you, black belt. Uh, Lindbergh no, has uh, elite swag. I can't Lindbergh. believe we just found out Alex finds his girlfriend attractive. This yeah, is, I know. This is, yeah, yeah. kind of also, amazing. I have a question. Yeah. I finally admitted that. Lindbergh this, is top five. He got five you there, bro. Well, did you guys also know the only reason I find I'm with my girlfriend is because she's a woman? If she was a man, I would have to be with her. She has a vagina. Marcus. You're in. Oh, my God. Oh, therefore, Alex just, Alex just did hate speech. Paul Marcus, the police. Not you, you have to be a woman. five feet away. I would I would take Lindbergh over J A L. I would put money on it if they did a, a cold approach. Okay. Sure. Yeah, like Lindbergh is top know, five. That's not controversial to say. But I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Can I uh, ask? Okay. That's okay, not a controversial so, statement. Alex is black Can I ask? Who, <laughs> what? Lindbergh. Yeah, are you saying I'm Alex so Lindbergh's sorry. black pill? Yeah. No, I think he's saying Lindbergh, I'm black Who are you, by the way? Because you're attracted to your girlfriend. I mean, are yeah, you asking? Alex, you think she's cute? Admit it. Yes, yeah, for a minute. Are you like or something? Like, right, he's trolling. He's got to be trolling. That's Stefan. Yeah, like, no one, no, no one I don't know why you're like doing a... this, bro. Like, I just don't. So, uh, you're... so, so Lindbergh, I'm, I'm I do yeah, apologize no. because I have not heard of who you are yet, by the way. So, uh-huh. oh, you went bye bye. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, he, who am I in the sense? Like, spiritually, existentially? Well, like, I mean, are you a PUA? Are you red pill, black pill, blue pill? Like, who are you on YouTube? <laughs> uh, well, o- honestly, I, I don't know much about the pills. I don't fuck with that shit. All I teach guys is <laughs> Based. How, how, to, how to get more and hotter girls. Is it? Right. Or like how it? to get pussy. End of yeah. story. Yeah, fuck the bills. Yeah. So I'll answer the question very simply. <laughs> Lindbergh works with Marcus. They both have a company called yeah. Ultimate Project. Wait, yeah. what? Where oh, is he's, this with, hair, he's with Marcus. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I actually, I actually have a question for a completely different topic for uh, for Lindbergh and Marcus. Okay, I'm curious. I mean, this is a discussion me and the Indian P have had a lot. Do you guys feel like you've gotten to a point where like fucking random girls has lost this like dopamine high? So I remember like. When I was getting into game, I used to get this massive dopamine high. And I've gone to a point where, like, the dopamine high is, like, almost entirely gone. Have you found that you've gone to that point or no? Um, yeah, I mean, a bit. If you compare it to, to, to in the beginning, yes, for sure. But it's still fun. I still get dopamine. It's still, it's still fun. But it's not as fun as it used to be, right? It's, 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 it's not as fun. But it's still fun. Like, I'll, I don't think I'll ever get sick of it. It is always going to be fun. Okay. Alex is a special breed. I think he'll always. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, honestly, yeah. honestly, for me, I'm a, I'm like a nerd at heart, right? For me, it's not so much about fucking girls. Obviously, that's fine. That's a bonus. But for me, I get the dopamine hits from from running the game. The process you know? from like I the strategy. Like game. From the running like, like the like the cold, cold, like the cold, cold approach the game, or shit. what do you say? 
like cold approach game or like just a challenge thereof or like what's your yes there? exactly yeah exactly yeah all right Lindbergh, if i could wave a magic wand and from now on every single day there's a new girl who's a perfect 10 who shows up in your bed every morning every afternoon and every evening would you want me to wave that wand say that again I, I, you have the option i have the option of giving you a new girl like who's a perfect 10 to show up in your bed every morning every afternoon every evening all you have to do is Ooh. tell me to wave the magic wand. Would you tell me to press the button? Would you tell me to wave the magic wand? Well, what, what does that also entail? Does it entail that I can't game or what? Or do no, I just they're, have they're, <laughs> they're just literally, they're, they're just in your bed. Just a new hot girl in they're your bed every day. Super oh. Perfect. Well, yeah. They want to yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. okay. So, so you enjoyed the yeah. end result probably more than the process. Oh, yeah, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it too, but also the process because you can still do okay. both. Like I can still fuck her and I can go out and game afterwards. Okay. Win-win. Right. I have a question for Alex and Marcus and Alexander. Well, well, well let's let Marcus answer that question then you can ask her a question. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, no, I think, yeah, it, it does fade, right? It does fade. And then like I've been through this a few stages. So, it faded maybe two years ago. And then I was like, okay, I need to change this up. Or even like th three, four years ago, that's when I was like, all right, I got to start aim orienting, right? Let's start to steal some goals. We'll get a hit that way. Then I was like, all right, let's get into group sex. So I started doing a lot of like three sims, four sims. Then you start to lose the thrill there. So now like I've gone maybe the last year through like a sex phase where I'm like, all right, I want to explore and go deep into sex with the goals. And I find that, the hit, the same way Alex talks about game and like solving that puzzle, I find that hit now during sex, like solving the puzzle during sex of like what the girl really enjoys. So yeah, dude, I, I think it's just a matter of time when with anything that you really enjoy, I think over time it slowly becomes like a diminishing return and then yeah, you got to find something else to get the kick. You, you got to have agree a new hot girl. Some people are wired a little differently. Some people like almost never get bored. Well, that's yeah. Alex, I feel. I feel like yeah. Alex could, Limburg yeah. yeah, could just that, that, game that could be forever. Yeah. Well, it's not going to be boring. I think boring. EMP is that's another person like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I wouldn't mind. I could live, yeah. I could live like that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, you only well, need to no, no, I, 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 I honestly yeah. wish I still got the same dopamine highs. Like, I wish that didn't, yeah. like, diminish. Yeah. If I'll Alex, can Although, I ask it's okay, so good, it's made me a Brad has a question, Mr. Slade. Yeah, I want to ask this to Alex, Marcus, and Alexander. What would you guys do different in your 20s? And what are the biggest mistakes you see men making in their 20s? Um, who, who wants to go first? I didn't hear yeah, the question. Let us make into this. All right, I'll, I'll go and then you can think about it. I think for me, the, the biggest mistake is I, I just do everything earlier, essentially. <laughs> I, I understood that I needed to seek failure and seek feedback and improve too late in my 20s, right? If I started much earlier, I think I would have grown as a person and a man much earlier. So that's my biggest regret. But also it's hard because I look back on my life and I'm like, without all of this, I wouldn't be kind of where I am right now. But that's also my advice to a lot of guys. Now, it depends what your situation is. But if you're going to give some blanket advice to someone, then I, I would always say just fail a bunch. I, I think too many people are waiting for the perfect opportunity. They're waiting um, to figure out where they want to go in life. They're waiting for the career opportunity. Fuck that. Just pick something and fail at it a bunch. And then pick something else and fail at it a bunch. Because you're either going to learn or you're going to succeed. And both are going to propel you in life. So that would be my, my take on it. Um, yeah, I would say one is be careful which direction you go into. So follow the right sources because you can actually go in a negative direction. Um, you know, you can check out UMP or my channel or there's other good channels. Uh, but you want to make sure you're not following bad information. I would say that's the first thing. Because, um, yeah, you don't want to go in the wrong direction. Uh, number two is I feel like a lot of people don't put in nearly as much work as they should. Like they think that they think that they're like putting in massive amounts of work, but they're approaching like three girls a week or something like that. Uh, so you, I think like for a lot of problems, the solution is stepping up your volume. Um, I think also invest in like really maximizing your SMV as much as possible. Um, Yo, let's go, Alex. That's what I'm talking about, bro. I've always said that. I've been like so consistent. Yeah, but I just that. love hearing. I love hearing. I know you, you do. I know you do. <laughs> uh, so that includes things like going to the gym. 
So I think it looks for it all hasn't done in a while. <laughs> or leaning uh, out, leaning out more importantly. Yeah, leaning out to like Holocaust survivor <laughs> status. Exactly. But okay, yeah. So so going to the gym, putting on muscle, because that takes years. Um, I would say also like a good skincare routine, eating healthy so you don't look old. Um, you know, maybe getting some tattoos if you're into that, good fashion, like all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I'd say that's like another thing, like really invest in like, you know, doing that. Um, I think it's also good to like put yourself in a variety of situations, like, uh, get into a relationship at some point and see what that is, you know, uh, have a threesome, you know, have like, go out there and like fucking approach a girl who's like with four dudes, put yourself in a difficult situation. So try to experience a whole bunch of situations repeatedly and then be able to honestly analyze them, break them down. And also ideally, this is ideal. If you have someone who's better than you, who can guide you. That's something that I personally had uh, and that really tremendously helped and shortened my learning curve. If you have someone who's like, who can mentor you or guide you, that can really speed up the process a lot. Um, so, yeah. Are there any things you would do who's, different? In your who's point? got the beeping in the background? I think it's me, actually. Uh, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'm I'll like sitting here and I'm like, God, like somebody's either... Like so, somebody needs to replace the battery in there. Well, I let I let Lindbergh answer the question while I turn that shit off. Hang on. Okay. Uh, maybe someone's cooking Indian in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, Alex. Question was, uh, what would you change? Mm. What advice would you give? Mm, uh, what I would change in my own journey. Yeah, in your early twenties. Like, what would you change in your twenties? And what advice mm. would you give those in twenties? Okay, so. Yeah. I actually think I did a lot of things uh, right, at least now in retrospect, like when at the time I wasn't sure, to be honest. But one of the best decisions that I made was to travel and to travel early and to take a lot of risks. And that's what I did. And it turned out pretty fucking well, to be honest. So I'm pretty happy about that. And so from what I gathered, the other half of the question is like some advice that I would give to someone learning game, if I'm correct. In general, as a man. In general, as a man. Could be about game. Could be about other things. Okay, I will say the I will say the first thing then about game because that's sort of what I had pre-prepared in my head already. I liked uh, what, what both of they covered actually. It's, it's really good advice from both of them. I'm also going to say that you need to be very careful about uh, which wings that you pick. Don't hang out with guys who hold you back, especially when it comes to something such important as learning and mastering game, like mastering your fucking dating life, you can't yeah. afford fucking people holding you back. And I mean, that also applies to, to life in, in general. You know, don't, don't, don't stay around people who fucking hold you back. Yeah, don't hang around chats who are more attractive. And make sure, and make sure you're not that fucking guy to the people around you. True. Can yeah. I add on to that? Um, like don't hang don't around hang women around. that hold you back either because females can hold you back just the same as men can. Um, and if they're holding you back or, or not supportive or things of that nature, like you need to let that one go. Yeah, for sure. I think so. It's interesting how the red pill says men and women can never be friends. I don't agree with that, but I do think female friends are mostly a waste of time. Like if you do have a female friend, that's cool, but give her like one hour a week maximum because like otherwise it's just a waste of time. Why do you think they can't be friends? I mean, they could be good. Like if they give you social proof when you're out or hook you up with their friends or mm. like maybe they're in like college or something. But I mean, it's other than that, if it's just like, I mean, if you think about, like, if you spend too much time with them, uh, what's the return? Like, I don't, you okay, just can like, talk about their feelings. I, I think I was more thinking of, like, if you're dating a girl and she's holding you back or she's not supportive or she's not. Oh, I thought you, you were talking about, like, like friendship. No, not in, not necessarily in friendship, but, like, female companionship, um, dating, sexual partners, things of that nature. If, if she's not giving you some kind of benefit um even if it's just sex like just sex um if there's no benefit to gain from her being around then you need to drop her like you need to you need to be done with that shit and move on for sure 
Yeah, yeah, I think I think the answer is like a little bit more complex. I think it depends on the guy. For if you're like kind of like a simpy dude, then maybe it's a good idea to cut off female friends for a period of time. But if you're like a guy who's like not, you know, not as simpy and shit, then I think uh, well, having female even if you're not simping, even if you're not simping though, Alex, like even if she's just a girl you're boning, right, and and she's just kind of bringing like toxicity to just a casual fling kind of thing. Like you don't need that in your life. You need to, you need to get rid of it. You need to let it go. Um, if you're in like a, no, I, I agree with that. Yeah. If, yeah. If she's being yeah, like a Debbie. If you're, if you're in, yeah. And if you're in a relationship and she's not supportive of like a promotion that's coming up or something that, or a promotion you're striving for, or she's not supportive of your education or something like that. Um, or if she's like, you're trying to focus on something and she's not allowing you by saying like, no, like you need to give me all the attention. Like you need to drop that shit, like get rid of it, be done with it. She's not, she's not in it for, for the long haul. She's not in it for you. She's in it for her and you need to be done with it. End of story. Yeah. I was making a different point though. I agree with all of that, but the point I was trying to make is that like, I wouldn't make definitive statements like don't have female friends, like female friends in the right context can add value to your life. Like, yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's just, it's just you don't want to fall into the trap of like fucking starting to simp for them. Uh, but it also comes down to are you friends with her because you're secretly hoping to fuck her? Exactly. Or are you yeah. With her just like because you actually stars. want to be friends with her, and that's yeah, like it's the, just as simple. It's it's don't have female friends that you're attracted to. I think it's very yeah. simple. Yeah. Like if you're attracted to them, then the issues start. Yeah. Yeah, I was just making the point that I agree with Alex. Let's say you have a female friend that's in the right context. You're not a simp that's trying to sleep with her. You're like genuinely her friend. Then, okay, that's fine. But I would say still don't waste too much time with her. Because let's say like you spend 10 hours a week just hanging out with her for the sake of hanging out. Like, I mean, that could be considered a waste of time because that's like you 10 hours a week. Yeah. Well. well, and, yeah, and, and also if, if she's friend, if she has friend zoned you, like you're not coming out of that. You know what I mean? Like Brutal. she's yeah. Brutal. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, I think, you I think just a big maximize on the between, friendship. Yeah, I think there's a big difference between whether the girlfriend zones you or you legitimately decide that you just want to be friends with her. Yeah. There's only one way out of the friend zone, my brothers, and it's enhancing your appearance. That's oh, it. Boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my That's God. the only way. The difference between a friend and a boyfriend is your life. Okay, okay enough waste it. of time. Alex, I have a question. Can I ask I you a normal question? Yeah, yeah sure. Normal let's, question. let's wrap up in a few minutes. Let's wrap up in a few minutes, though. But yeah, you can okay, ask okay. me. Right, so, well. so I just read on Malik's YouTube page, she says she has brain damage. What? What, what's She's that open all about, about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've never asked her about it, so I'm not sure. Oh, look who we have to the party. Hey. Yo, what's up, Indian P? Hey. What's, up? what's up? Indian what's up? P, why did you call me delusional? Do you think that was nice? <laughs> oh, it's super nice. <laughs> oh, here we go. Add another, add another 30 minutes, Alex. You want to take it back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not getting any sleep tonight. It's going to be a dog. I, I am absolutely I'm gonna, not I'm going to text value payment and tell him I can't make it because it'll be up all night. Oh, you're getting on value payment money? That's sick. Yeah, I'm going to be – not money, but sauce cash. Oh, the but, second time. Yeah, cool, cool. Wait, in DNP, I mean, what's your problem? Why Why did you call me delusional? What do you just like, Because you Let are delusional. Let me ask you that. Bro. Let me ask you that. Let me ask you that. You want to Let's... ask me that? No, no, no. Uh, you ask me that. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let me answer? ask. Let me ask you why you think I'm delusional. I don't think you're delusional. You, you. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. I'm sorry. Why? Um, let me ask you. Why do you think? I think you're delusional. I don't think you think I'm delusional. I think you just. <laughs> you, you just. You just want to hurt my feelings. Nah. So I don't. I have no idea. I don't know. Well, you see what? No, it was straight up because of the of that uh, speed date with Malik. What about the speed date with Malik? You're like just like you are calling her psychopathic. Like I think she's a sweet girl. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but <laughs> no. But like she'll be sweet with with like the right kind of guy, right? But then just because she's not sweet to you doesn't hold mean on, hold on. Hold on. She's, hold on, she's, hold on. she's psychopathic, hold on. right? Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so wait. Oh, slave! We're... Slave is making me hold on. 
Wait, uh, Indian P, are, mm -hmm. are you intimidated by me? Yes, I'm super scared. I no, feel like you are Thanos. You, I feel like you just snap your fingers and half the population of Earth will just disappear. Okay, you're trolling. You, it's impossible to have a conversation with you. Do you want to have? No, a I'm actually not trolling. Like I, I, re, I really am uh, intimidated by no, you. You're, you're not. You're not. This you're like not convinced. Convers okay, let me put this retarded debate to rest. The reason you're delusional, <laughs> Mr. Slave, is because you believe you can beat Andrew Tate in, in a fight. Enough said. Uh, a lot okay. of reasons, I but happen, yeah, I one of them is one of them. Okay, okay, enough Indian P. So <laughs> Alex. Alex, I saw the only professional, semi-professional MMA fight that Andrew Tate had, and he was actually able to get to the ground, but he didn't. He had no idea what he was doing on the ground, so they ended up standing back up and going down again, up again, and he won in stand-up. So he has zero ground game. He's he's like a day one white belt. I'm going to you know Bro, if we get on the he's ground. He's a four time like kickboxing it. champion who weighs twice. Jesus Christ! You I don't think it's gonna, gonna, it's gonna, gonna make it to the ground. Fuck though. out, Dude, uh, Mr. Slave. I'll ask you this: uh, How many how many Dude, times have you been the, kick, the kickboxing champion? Let me ask you that. Like, let me just ask you that once: Have you been a kick, kickboxing champion champion for? Have I been a kickboxing champion before? Mm -hmm. But that's not the topic of discussion. We're that, discussing... is, that is because no, you are comparing not. yourself to Andrew no. Tate. It's like me comparing myself with Marx no. or no. Lindbergh's Cold Approach game. No. <laughs> no. It's like, no. it's, no. it's, it's, it's the same. You, ah, ah, you, ah, 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 I answered your question. I'm, I'm, I'm no, are you, are you, are you a one time or two time? Okay, right, fine. Not two time, just one time kickboxing champion. So I already answered that question. That's not, that's not. No, the I'm asking you a, a yes or no question. Yes no, no, you're question. not asking me a yes or no question. I am. Question. I literally oh, asked you. It is a yes or no question. It's a yes or no question. No, it's not. There's no such thing. Mr. Slave, no, no. what? Mr. You're, you're, Slave, no it is yes or no. Is a yes or no question? No, there's no such thing. Am I Indian? It's a yes or no. Yes. No. It's a yes. No. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm not Indian? Okay. All the cops. Finally, all my fucking... The topic of this All my identity has been exposed. Let me really quickly address this comment because I find this really flattering. Make okay. it happen. So do you guys think I have enough power to get Andrew Tate out of jail? Like I can pull some <laughs> with the remaining authorities. Like I can just like hit up like the fucking president of Romania and be like, yo, you know me, Alex from PWF, you know, channel with 100K. Yeah, yeah, I need, I need to get my boy Andrew out of jail. We got a fight. Oh yeah, no problem, Alex. All right, cool. No, I think he meant to fight you or Indian PE. I mean, this is like very flattering that you think I have the me? ability to like, make it happen. I mean, you're Russian. Russian you know, Andrew Tate, what the fuck? He didn't mean I, to fight. I'm getting a dude out of jail. I'm sorry. I'm just more <laughs> close to that level of like fucking whatever the so fuck. mr mr uh, slave you, you think you can take andrew tate to the ground apparently he can it it's not that difficult to go to the ground it's, i mean if one guy wants guy to go to the ground you don't think he'll hit you with a uppercut or a kick every time Wait, one at a time yeah it's always Finish a guy with a photo or showing his face that's always claiming this shit always yeah it's probably so fucking fascinating that's true. Uh, uh, it's the but, it's um, the guys um, who don't have the their fucking profile picture, or even like the no, webcam no, on. They're is, the ones who are like, is, "Hey, bro, like we are we are better than you at game." Okay, exactly. So might as well yeah. just show your yourself, right? Like, uh, okay, nobody does. Or they got like right. an anime photo. <laughs> okay, this is an this is a challenge. I mean. I'm challenging anyone in this forum if you want to enter a ring, an MMA ring, not kickboxing. You can can I ask a quick question, Mr. Slave? What uh, what belt are you, BGJ? I don't want to dox myself. <laughs> Just shut the oh, fuck yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah. aren't going to find out. That's not even <laughs> what, yeah. what, yeah. What, yeah. What, yeah. the yeah. actual red yeah. belt in the world. There's a total, oh there's a total of 43,000 or something who are black belts. So I might, by I might you telling, if I find if, out what let's say... Let's take an uh, let's let's assume that you're black belt. 
<laughs> or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> what is it? BJJ? Not a chance. He's blue. <laughs> Let's just assume. But like, He's in blue. <laughs> among 43,000 people, do you think you would really be top? Oh, wait, I don't understand the question. Can you repeat, please? You said you don't want to be doxxed. Just because we asked you a question, what kind of belt are you in BJJ? Right? And uh, okay. there's, there's, a, there's a lot of people who are in black belt in BJJ. And how is that going to, like, you know, dox you? Yeah. And also, I think, I think you actually disclosed other information that made you even more doxable than this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, New York is way more personable. Mm-hmm. Telling what city yeah. you live in is way more personable than telling what belt you are. Yeah. We no, could literally yeah, message, message you know. your ex owner. That's a boss that can be away who, who he is. I can't believe right. he has that. Wait, Lindbergh, Lindbergh, your audio <laughs> is shite. You gotta fix your mic. I can barely. Nice. No, it's pretty good. You can hear it. You can hear it. Now he's going out loud. Mr. Slave, Mr. Slave, what belt are you, bro? Are you gonna answer it or not? I'm sandbagged. So if you want to say I'm blue, then I'm blue. Uh, are you are you a You're BJJ blue. artist? Uh, I wouldn't call myself a BJJ artist. Artist? What? Wait. No, do you practice BJJ? That. I used to, but I used to do. I did like six, seven years of kickboxing. So before I got in the ring, I wanted to find out if you're actually any decent at BJJ. So <laughs> what? what if you're blue belt, you I'll jump in the ring. With I you. mean, I'm good at BJ, but I don't know about I've BJJ. Seen, oh, Sarah, I've seen, let's go. Uh, let's I've go. seen Mark. Right. I've seen Mark. Black belt. Black belt. Fuck people Disagree. over just from mind, like just they. Mark didn't even have to get physical. Mark didn't even have to get physical. He could have just like fucking uh, obliterated with his mind. Like he just hold on. Wait a minute, Marcus. What belt are you? Sorry, sorry, (laughs) Hound. Sorry. Can we ask Sarah what belt BJ she is? I want to know more about. She said fifth degree black belt. I said black belt fifth degree in BJ. Okay. All right. I'm I'm impressed. All right. We're gonna have to. I'm a big ball handler for sure. I, like I, I, think that's a, I think that's a pretty good note to wrap up on. Um, yeah, <laughs> we know that Sarah is really Ball handler Sarah. I think that's that should be her name. Sarah, you, you know, have just being on a panel yourself. with like being on a panel with all males, like I expect nothing less. This is this is this is good. This is good. I mean, Sarah, Sarah was the one who was like bull. Except for at least twenty to thirty dick pics in your DMs by the end of the day. <laughs> That's Balls. only if no, I not gave picks. out my Ball DM picks. info. Be peace. Um, okay. Anyway, fun stream. Uh, yeah. Thanks for coming on, UMB crew. Yeah. You guys want to plug your channel? Yeah, sure. You can check out. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Ladies first, Sorry, I'm the Raging Tomato. I do the news from the Manosphere. It's a funny channel. Um, go check it out if you want laughs and more laughs. Um, that's what I do. Or you can also find me on Not Sure Everyday Ashley, XOXO. Um, I'm over there streaming with her as well. Cool. Yeah, uh, I have a new channel. I already have almost 30 subscribers i think anyway it's mr slave 41 i put the link in the comments i'll put it again now maybe i think i I think when someone else posts your link it doesn't show up my likes don't show up really links bro links yeah somebody who somebody who um is a wrench who's not an admin or the owner of the channel. Uh, yeah, I can't the link. I'll put I'll put all the links in the description afterwards. Okay, uh, mm-hmm. Marcus, you want to plug your channel? Oh yeah, just Ultimate Man Project. You can check that on YouTube. Yeah, guys, check out Sarah's channel. She's got some pretty funny videos on there. I watched one of them. Check out uh, UMP. They have a lot of really good infields and text game breakdowns. A lot of good shit. Uh, and I guess you could check out Mr. Sleeve's channel if you're up for a little. Adventure uh, for uh, yeah. BJJ BJJ challenge. Yeah, I'm yeah, starting to upload more too. You can tutorial, if you want. Tutorial, and I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. All right, guys. Thanks for coming out, Limburg. Let's get you on a speed day one of these days. Let's make it happen. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to Dubai on Sunday. I'm going to Sydney right after. But when I get back, I'm out. 
Yeah, let's uh I think I sent you DM actually a while ago. So just check your DMs for me and then we can just get in contact and we can set it up one of these times. But yeah, dude, Marcus, right. I appreciate appreciate having you here. I think it's good to get another Thanks person. So, so I think there's a lot of value in that. It. So yeah, appreciate y'all. Have a good night, everybody. Look yes. out for me tomorrow on Value Team. We'll see what the fuck happens. I think it's gonna be spicy as fuck, but we'll see. Sweet. Right, have a good night. Have fun. See you guys. Thank you.